Welcome to Bitter Bits. Welcome to Bitter Bits.
Welcome to Bitter Bits. Welcome to this. Hope you all doing good. I gotta close this thing because I went to go unmute the mic and uh, it just didn't. And I was like, that's not good, which worries me because that makes me worry if the wavelength is not working either. Let me double check. As long as the mic sounds good, then the wavelength is definitely working. The nice part about the wavelength is it saves all these things locally on the hardware, which is good. Uh, I gotta wait for these plugins to load and make sure this is good. Well, I guess whatever the hook was for the Stream Deck and OBS just broke because I can't use my mute button right now. All right, that's good. It's a good thing. I don't know anything about technology though, so I can't fix it. I Welcome can't fix it. it. Ladies and gentlemen, I got some. Uh, I got some. I got some stuff that we're going to talk about really quick tonight. That's uh, that is important in my opinion. Uh, there was some stuff I saw on Twitter earlier, um, and I, and I thought to myself, I said, you know what? I was like, I think it's finally time to just say fuck it uh because like in the same way we try to avoid all these businesses and stuff that suck um i gotta fix i gotta fix that because it didn't do the spaces for that either because it never does that's a bug in night bottom i'm gonna talk about that in a second too which is actually really interesting because it makes me wonder how the hell it happens because it's been happening for like 18 years uh so um I don't like the person who runs that company, and I don't like the people that they've let back on that platform, and I think that it's extremely harmful, the garbage that's on that platform, and I think using it and supporting it is not good. So I'm gonna be personally, like, moving away from it proper now. I'm gonna leave it up, like I'm not good, but I'm just probably not really gonna be using it. Uh, I think that the dude that runs it sucks. I think that the platform itself has turned into something that's become, that went from, like, maybe kind of shitty to outright harmful, uh, especially with the people that they allow on that site. Um, cause you know, you can custom curate your, your feed all day, uh, to not see some of that stuff, but the problem I have with it is, like, I'm still using that platform, and I'm still kind of, like, contributing to that, and I think that the dude's a real shitter, and, uh, you know, with all of his shit-ass comments and stuff over the years, and, you know, I think about, like, uh, I, I think about, like, some of the shit I see there, like, the anti-trans rhetoric and racism and all this stuff, and how these people that, like, run the site, and how these people that, that, that run the site that, have, that allowed those people back in here, you know, I think of, like, all the folks in this community that are either, like, trans or, you know, whatever, and I, I, I just, it just feels weird. I, it's felt very weird ever since that man has bought that platform, and, like, these assholes were allowed back on there, and are allowed to just be hateful pieces of trash. I feel real weird, like, being on it, uh, because I feel like I'm doing a disservice to my, my friends who, you know, who go through shit. The, 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 I, I just, I just, I just don't like it. I don't like it. That, that's what I'm getting at, is I, I don't really want to support it anymore. Um, and there are, there are alternatives. While there may not be a gigantic communicable, or communicable, communal alter, alternative, uh, that works, not communicable, uh, that works, uh, I have kind of decided that Blue Sky and Threads seem to be the two that I like the most visually. Um, Threads is neat because it ties into Instagram, even though it's separate, kind of, which is weird. Uh, and then there's Blue Sky. I don't know which of these I'm going to be using. Uh, and the main reason I'm not just outright deleting Twitter is I still get messages from indie developers who use that site, which I understand because marketing is the most important thing for indie games, which I understand why they use it. I know it's a necessity. Um, I understand. I get it. Uh, I totally get it. So, and uh, I understand. Even every time Twitch makes a dumb decision, I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. I guess I got to deal with this because like I, I work here, right? And I could just make, I could just be loud about not enjoying things. So I'm going to try out Blue Sky and Threads. I'm trying not to overload people because I know that like this kind of shit is annoying. It's annoying to try to have to follow people on multiple things. I know it's irritating. We're, We're going to be trying Threads proper this time. Um, since my Threads is not immediately jumped on by all of my family members, uh, which was the problem last time because it was like an inf Why is this loud? I have no idea what's happening. Wait, what? With what? Oh, I just don't like Twitter. I don't like the guy who runs Twitter. I don't like the people that he let back on that site. I don't like the shit that I see. Um... Wait, what? 
Oh, anyway, yeah, no, so, no, I mean, it's, there's there's a lot of problems with, like, some of that, that, that site and the people that have been allowed to be back on it and the hateful garbage that they're allowed to, uh, allowed to spew. Um, I'm just sick of it. I'm fucking sick of it. So I'm sick of it and I don't want to, I, don't, I really don't want any part of it. So I'll leave my Twitter up and there'll be like a thing here that's like, hey, you can find me over here and here. And uh, it'll be there for PMs in case uh, indie developers need to message me. So, but uh, I don't know. I just, I, like it just boiled me up. Um, I just, I don't know. I just don't like the platform. I think it, I think it sucks. And I think it's gotten shittier. Uh, so I'm going to try out threads and I'm going to try out Blue Sky. I have no thread threads. Threads. I don't have any of those yet because I haven't posted there, but um, the little thing I've got will actually post to Blue Sky and Threads together. So either one of those that you like, maybe at the end of it all, if it's like one that is more, way more popular than the other, then I'll use that one instead or whatever. Um, but anyway, so uh, there's also a fun thing on Blue Sky's thing that I posted, which was uh, this hilarious thing that I saw in a doctor's office that we took to... Um, Wow, that's a really good link. You know what, though? Actually, it's not that bad compared to most of the Twitter links now. They're all pretty much the fucking same anyway. But uh, there you go. It's, uh, it's real stupid. So, uh, yeah, kind of. Uh, kind of. And I, I kind of laughed because there were a few people, I guess, that already follow on Blue Sky. And I like I, I miss having a place to just post stupid shit. Just stupid stuff that didn't work for, like, Instagram. I miss a place like that, and I feel like Blue Sky and Threads can be that. Anyway, that's my spiel. I'm not trying to, like, soapbox the whole thing. It's just that I personally don't want to support Twitter anymore. I really, really, really do not like Elon fucking Muskrat. Really, in, 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 in to a different degree, I don't like the people that are now allowed to be on that platform. Because there were a lot of people that got canned on that platform for being, like, fucking anti-trans or, like, these, these shitty racist assholes that are now back on there. They just let him back on there. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, this is fucking stupid. This is stupid. And like, I don't want to fucking, I don't want to partake in this crap, right? Like, I, I don't, I don't want to be here with this shit. Like, I, I don't want to be here. I don't want to support these people. I don't want to be around it. Yeah, you can curate it, whatever. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over. Cause I forgot, oh, right. My buttons, none of my, oh my God. Like none of my stream deck shit's working. That's great. Well, that sucks. Cause I literally just fixed our little zooms and stuff like that, but now they're broken. Well, that's kind of sad. Well, dang. That sucks. Well, I guess I guess it broke because OBS 30.1 OBS 30 came out. Oh, shoot. Yeah, 30.1 came out, and that was my fault. I shouldn't have updated that. Normally, the Stream Deck uh, catches up pretty quick. They're normally on top of it. That's kind of surprising, actually, that that's broken. Uh, well, let me, change, let me change the scene the old-fashioned way. With sticks. That's how I did it, with sticks. But anyway, yes, I will not be doing I will not be doing Twitter, I think, for the foreseeable future unless major, major changes happen to that platform or something. So I'm going to be trying out Blue Sky and I'll be trying out Threads. So I would love it if you guys like that kind of stuff. If you want to go follow over there, that would make me very happy. Uh, that way I can feel like I'm posting to at least like a couple people and maybe not just like none. Because uh, starting from complete scratch always feels like shit. So you're welcome to go follow over there. I actually really like Blue Sky's mobile app, too. It's very clean. I like it a lot, and that'd be pretty sick if they managed to not uh, fuck it. <laughs> that'd be pretty cool. So that'll be a little thing that pops up every now and again. It's going to say, hey, we'll be trying out Blue Sky and Threads as Twitter alternatives. If you like them, you can find it in Blue Sky, Threads, whatever. And um, I, 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 I muted the Twitter. I muted the Twitter thing, uh, but you can still pull the Twitter command if you need to get, it, get there for some reason. Uh, and there you go. So in other news... I have a theory, and this is a theory about something that I'm not going to go into too deeply, but there was something interesting about my Twitch account, and Twitch accounts have weird discoverability these days. I am very curious about a very particular setting that you guys probably won't even notice, but I'm going to run it, and I'm going to I'm gonna play along, I'm going to play by their little game, and I'm going to see if it works, and it involves ads. Now, if you're, if you're subbed, you will not see any of this. However, this is not me running ads being like, holy quacamole fuckaroli, we're out of money, I got to run ads to make money. That's not what this is. I am doing this specifically because there was something extremely weird about Twitch ads and discoverability, and I want to test it. I can opt out of it at any point, so if this ends up not doing anything that I thought it would do, then I'm just going to kill it because then there's no point. But so you may see ads if you're not currently subbed. I apologize. Whether or not you go off and find some magical way to get around those, I would never do that. So that's crazy. But if you see them or whatever, uh, and you do whatever. I, I, I just turned it on because, like I said the other day, there's some interesting UI stuff related to ads that I thought was pretty fascinating. That 
Ads are the only thing on Twitch that you cannot get rid of the new banner unless you actively opt into it. Which you have to sign like the little agreement for. It's, uh, it's weird. It's really weird, and I don't know exactly what's up with that. Uh, mods might see the ad manager inside their mod viewers. Uh, it's not a major change, so I didn't like let the mod chat know or anything like that. This is like some big fucking deal, but you might see it in your thing. I think you guys might be allowed to snooze ads and all that stuff. Um, if not, that's fine, because I'm not really going to fuck with it anyway. So, uh, but you might have access to that. I'm not sure you'd have to double check in your uh, your dashboard. You might have it. You might have it. I'll, do, you like, do you guys like the bitter bits patch notes that we're doing right at the beginning of the stream? Isn't that fun? There's about to be some Discord patch notes soon, because I think I'm going to change some stuff up on Discord, because it's about high time for a little refresh. Um, about a high time for a little refresh of Discord. I think I'm gonna change some stuff up. I'd like to change up our, uh, I'd like to change up some of our structure stuff. I'm not, like, deleting anything. I just wanna change up how a few things work. And, uh, I wanna change up, uh, some of the mod channel stuff and a few other things so it's a little bit easier to do whatever. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Just some neat stuff I wanna do. Nothing, like, crazy. Yeah, a little spring cleaning! Even though I hate spring. Even though my, my birthday is on the first day of spring, which is bullshit, because I hate it. I hate it so much. I like how, before we get rid of this bot, I like how it says discriminatory is the name of the bot. Like, wow. Discriminatory. What a name for a bot. You know what I named my robot? Lil Brittle. That's his name. I had a few different names, but our, our Kenshi robot in this roleplay-ish run of Kenshi, is, his name is Little Brittle. We're just gonna call him Brittle, but his full name is Little Brittle. So, it's cause he's a little rusty robot, so, yeah, there you go. There you go. Anyway, we can, we can bonk this discriminatory thing. Actually, I'll let one of the mods do it, cause they never get to do it, so, there you go. I know, the link was incomplete. Damn coffee from the fucking shadows. So, it's full title, Little Brittle, because it, it rhymes, but Little Brittle will also work. Brittle is also fine. Um, but anyway, let's see. Blue Sky Threads, I'm gonna be trying those both out. Uh, I'll be just like simul posting to both of them, so whichever platform you like, go for it. Love it. Cool. Awesome. Uh, because there's so many things that I take pictures of and shit that just would not work on Instagram and all that crap. So I'm like, God, I need a place to put this stuff. I was like, I'm, I'm about to blow up. I'm about to blow up because I got all this stupid garbage that I need to post. It's like, look how stupid this is. And I'm like, this doesn't work for Instagram. Um, Instagram's still gonna be getting used to, so that's a cool thing. It's gonna be there. It'll be fine. Uh, so you may see ads if you're not subbed. Just as a heads up, you might see those. I am not running those. They're just on a schedule. They're just going to run. run. I don't think that's going to affect most people here. However, if you're listening and you're not subbed, that's okay. You don't feel, do not, you do not feel, don't fucking sub just because of that. But like, I mean, if you want to dodge the ads, I guess, sure. But like, this is not like some call to action. This is not me being like fucking sub or watch the ads, peasants. This is not me being like, whatever. I'm just, I'm just letting people know that it's there i'm trying it and i'm mainly trying it from a discoverability standpoint i want to see if there's something on the back end when you enable this that because there's something weird going on and it's like it's really deep it's really deep for me to go into it there's something fucked with discoverability on our channel and i'm gonna tell you when it happened do you guys remember the very 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 brief window it's a very brief window for a couple months that they did this thing where you could do channel points to promote a streamer and then, like, it would show up in, like, a promoted tab. Does anybody remember that? Very brief. Ours never worked. It never worked. And here's what's weird. Ours was the exact same as everybody else's, and everyone else's worked. I tried submitting a ticket, and I tried getting it fixed because it just didn't... It was, like, two years ago. It didn't work. Ever. It would never work. Like, the options were enabled, and it would never pop up. Ever. It was super weird. Then on top of that, when it comes to the the sub uh, the ad thing, the ad thing also basically would never go away until you confirmed it. It was the only option that would never go away. Every other option, like animated emotes and stuff, when there's a new badge, would go away. It would go away when you clicked it. The ad thing would not go away until you opted in. And it's like opting in is optional. And it's like, that's interesting that it's optional because it won't go the fuck away. So what's up with that? Anyway, to bitter bitch. point being, no, this is not like some desperation, like, oh my God, we're going out of business. Cause I remember I said, 
if we're running ads, you should be worried. No, this is not like a we should be worried situation. I'm running this because I, I want to test something. I want to test it. I'm going to let it ride. I'm going to let it do its thing. It's cool. It's there. Don't worry about it. You know, if you're sub, you ain't going to see it anyway. Whatever. All right. That's it. That's all there is to it. But there, there's something fucked with discoverability on our channel. And it's been fucked for a long time. And I'm not talking about like, oh, boo hoo, woe is me. Nobody. No, no. We, we I suck at marketing myself. But also, I do think that there's something that happened at some point and I don't know what it is and I've never really gotten a straight answer about it about as far as our like discoverability shit goes because it's really strange because people in our size range normally have a bit more luck with like some discoverability who stream way less and who also stream like more either prominent stuff or like ob obscure stuff whatever it is so there's something funky that's going on there's always plenty to do on the back end of like work you could do to improve your channel or like discover yourself or market yourself or network there's always that stuff i'm not saying that's not there i'm just saying there's something fucky with our stuff like it's extremely rare that we get new followers and when we do it's like when we're offline and it's in these weird bursts it's very weird and it's nothing like what it used to be it's very strange um again that doesn't describe everything but I'm, i just like to be transparent with you guys so like i always try to tell you guys everything that's going on whether it's money whether it's ads, whether whatever the hell it is, I like to be transparent with you guys. That's just kind of where my brain's at. It's a little conspiracy theory on this right now because just there's just some weird shit with our channel that just doesn't make sense sometimes, and I have never been able to quite pin it down. So we're gonna try to pin it down. Yes, bitter tinfoil. <laughs> pin it down now. I feel like saying by saying bitter tinfoil, Roto has picked up the pin. I can already I can already see it coming. I can, I can, I can see it coming. Roto has picked up the pin. Kenshi crashed. It was on the title screen. Welcome to Bitter Bits. Wow. Anyway, so we're going to be playing Kenshi, uh, which we have not played in forever, and I've said that I wanted to get back to like a million times. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I told you I was going to do it, and I said I wanted to do it, and I want to do it. And we're going to do it, and it's going to be super fucking fun. I do plan on this being a more long-term series. This may not be like a run every night type deal uh like we may do like three times a week or something i don't really know i'm not sure yet sorry obs updated and everything's all fucky uh so like and i, I didn't check it because normally these sh these smaller updates don't small the smaller updates normally don't do stuff like this that's why I, like that's why i was really surprised to see like this the uh the stream deck just stopped working that's really really fucking weird anyway um i'm seeing sub stuff i'm gonna thank people for doing here in a minute uh but people seem to love Kenshi last time, and I, I really wanted to debate on what to do. Uh, I have some ideas for this, but here's the cool part. And I actually, this is another reason that I, w I waited a while. Welcome to Bitter Bits. I've lost a lot of my Kenshi knowledge, uh, which means that we got it. We get to kind of discover this again, not completely for the first time, but like I have forgotten a lot. I do remember a couple things, but we never did any of like the main story thread, really. We never did like any of that. And also... We didn't do a lot of the base building stuff. And Peggy was made as like a joke and then just kind of went. But there was a little bit of planning in my head for what Peggy was going to be. And Peggy ultimately panned out. Peggy was a short, chunky, weird person with a katana that would run around and stealth kill people. And would it was it was insanity. It was absolute insanity. And of course, we did viewers as which I need to add this to the thing. I need to put a little break and then say like uh, naming 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 characters after chat. But, um, so I came up with the idea because I really, really, really wanted to do a run where I was a skeleton. Uh, and in this case, I was like, shit, what's their name gonna be? And I came up with a couple different names. I came up with Bipple, which I thought Bipple was good. But I really, really, really like the name Brittle. Because, like, all the skeletons are super, like, rusted Welcome and all this shit. And, like, I thought that Brittle was a great name for just a little... Because I wanted to be, like, a little small skeleton. He's not gonna be, like, maybe, like, super tiny. He's gonna be small. But he's not like he ain't gonna be like a like this big. But I mean, he's gonna be he's gonna be small, and uh, he's gonna be brittle. Uh, I don't know what he's gonna be. I'm glad somebody thought of Aquatine because the minute I called him brittle and I was like he's small and he's brittle, I was like oh my god, it's little brittle, which little brittle was not that. He was just an old man who was a rapper that was reincarnated from a spider who was also reincarnated from a cow who was also MCP pants. It's a whole thing. So. Uh, but anyway, he is not a, he is not technically a reference to Lil Brittle, but I'm glad that Welcome Lil Brittle bitter comes into people's minds as that. He's not a direct reference to that, but I am very... Come visit me now, dog! I'm lonely! 
<laughs> god, that fucking show is the best. Peggy did become a god, and it is my hope that, like, at some point, uh, at some point, we're also gonna get to, maybe, maybe, maybe Brittle will ascend to godhood. I don't know if I want Brittle to be a punch master. I don't know if I want Brittle to beat people with, like, a gigantic stick. I have no idea what I want Brittle to do yet. Um, Brittle being a lean, mean punching machine sounds hilarious. Now, Kenshi is an unforgiving game. Uh, Br Brittle might have to get re-rolled once or twice. Because there are times where you you can just die. <laughs> like, not get captured, not get maimed. You, you can literally just die within the first, like, 20 minutes. So... Br Brittle might have to get rebooted a couple times. If that happens, we're going to stick with the same thing and we're just going to try again because I'm not going to make a whole different character arc or whatever uh, for that thing. Uh, I made maybe some jokes about that, but like that, whatever. We'll come up with some things that his machine brain was able to move into some whatever. It doesn't matter. Point being, Kenshi, Kenshi's a little brutal, so um, it's a little brutal. And uh, this game, this game will just shove it down your throat. So it's not really uh, it's. Not really, not really the best uh, at that with sometimes. So um, if you've never seen Kenshi, uh, this game is. I mean, something it, it is. It is insanity. Uh, I, I don't remember a lot about it, and this is very, very lightly modded. There were a couple things that I remembered working really well, and we may add more mods as we go on. None of them will be like dramatic gameplay changing, whatever. These will only be quality of life things, things to improve performance, because this poor engine is just, just sad. The default UI does not have a lot of options, so I installed dark UI, which is nice because it darkens the whole UI, which makes it a little bit easier on the eyes for people watching at night. And uh, it's also got a little bit more information in it. Uh, the compressed texture project was super good because that helped like the loading screens, because you're going to see what I'm talking about after a while. It gets real bad. And then the more character uh, sliders and all this stuff enhances the character creator a little bit so that you have more uh, control um, over whatever. The mod to remove the 10,000 decibel wind music, we're going to get that later because I want people to get the experience of Kenshi raw who were not here the first time. And that song rips, but it is funny as shit how loud it is. So, every reboot adds a number at the end of the Brittle's name, obviously. Is that a Dasani reference? I I don't know. Is it? <laughs> if you ever have a rough go at life, spare a thought for the poor, poor Kenshi engine. <laughs> engine. Not Enshin. Also, who's giving money? Like, I'm sitting here talking, and I'm y'all moneying. King Boo gives tonight a sub to Spy, who I've gotten to message here soon. I've not talked to him in, like, forever. I've got to talk to him. I am so bad at that. Welcome to ADHD and feeling worthless. Uh, Ish, with the 16 months, says, I've heard whispers of tales of Nick playing Kenshi. Can't wait. I uh, See, that's that's amazing right there. There you go. And then thank, thank you, Ish, for the resub. Zaris gives tonight a sub to Creatives. Thank you, Zaris, for doing that. We're I do appreciate it. Thank you for doing that out on the night that we try out ads. Not for the normal reason you try out ads, but because I need a, my tinfoil hat must be satisfied. Uh, I wait, get tonight a sub to Kramer, who I've not seen in a minute. I was actually thinking about you the other day, Kramer, because I was playing something and I remember, I, I, I don't remember what it was exactly, but it was something to do with AP. And I was like, I haven't seen Kramer in a minute. I hope Kramer's doing all right. So I hope you're doing okay. Thank you, I wait, for gifting out a sub to Kramer. Kramer's a good dude. Very sweet. Good to see you again. Literacy with the 74 months says next month is three quarters of a century. God. God. Dude, speaking of crazy, I have, I sat with Erica when she did like her like uh, her test for like this progressive job she applied for. And holy shit, some of the math they hit you with is wild. Sterk with the five gifted subs. Also amazing. Oh, hype train's about to run out. <laughs> yes, I win this round. No level five for you, chat. No level five for you. Better luck next time. Actually, no, it does say like better luck next time or some shit when the hype train starts and it doesn't get past one. And I'm like, dude, it's pretty bad. Erica made one small mistake and it was because they fucking swooped in on some gotcha bullshit. It was it was stupid. And like I was trying to tell her to do the thing and then I messed her up and then she hit the button and I was like, well, fuck. I was like, that's that. I don't think one mistake is going to change too much. I think most people who take those things, whatever. Uh, then I wait with the 79 months! Charizard with the resub for 51 months. Griggs with the 54 months. Zelda with the 78 months, tier 2. So six years and six months is a long time to be a bus passenger. Good thing the ride never ends. Because this show and this community are a joy in my life. Thank you. Thank you, Zelda, for being awesome. And for always being supportive. And Rogue with the 47 months says, Woo, big prime number on a paid sub. Thank you. 
And then Shadok21 Month says, hype for some brittle bits. I didn't even think of that. Wow. Wow. I forgot to open Epic last night. I'm updating Fortnite. Oh my god, Kimchi's going in. Dude, Kimchi's going in, and that's gonna be hilarious, because then Erica and Kimchi can bond over Fortnite, and then Erica can bitch about Taylor Swift again. Because I think that was who they yelled at about Taylor Swift that one time, and it was really fucking funny. Because I was, like, so out of my element. Um, it was funny as shit. Uh, but anyway, yes, we're gonna be doing Kenshi. We're gonna be playing as a metal man named Brittle. Little Brittle. Uh, this, this game's a hoot. If you've never seen this shit at any point, oh my god. Like, it's, it is something else. It's a lot. It's a lot to unpack, but, um, it's very, very, very involved. And I will say, if you end up with a character, and even if you don't end up with a character, you're gonna get invested in shit, like, darkest dungeon levels of invested in shit. I don't know about you guys, but in our first run, holy crap. Like, the actual heartbreak when we had the, that had to make, like, fucking the, the worst decision ever because two of our party members got taken and one was getting, like, blended up in a machine and the other one was, like, getting beaten to death and we were trying to figure out who the fuck to say. It was awful. Like, I legitimately, it was like some Batman shit. Like, if we couldn't say, we had to save one. It was just the saddest goddamn thing I have ever seen in my life. Like, I was like, oh my god, what game has ever hit me with this where it's like, well, you gotta save one. You gotta save one, good luck. Good luck. New Windows update also fucked up Windows Defender. I don't know what version of Windows you you guys run where you have so much trouble. It's wild. It's wild. Oh, good! Kenshi crashed again. Uh, that's really weird. Um... It was, it was apparently between Ezgorilla and Beep, and we had to save one of them. And I think we went for Ezgorilla because Ezgorilla was a named character, so... Naturally, that was, uh, that was the, that was the call. I can't wait for Brittle's choice. I d okay, here, really quick. I was gonna say Brittle's choice, right? Like, I was going to say that, but I'm, I'm a level with you. I couldn't remember what Sophie's choice was about, and I didn't want it to be, like, the most insensitive joke of all time. Uh, because I couldn't remember if that was, like, if that was, like, too dark, because I couldn't remember the exact context of Sophie's choice, so I was like, I should probably not make that joke, because I'm not sure if that one's, like, a little too dark. Like, a little too dark. We did, we did go to Subway earlier, and, um... I, I was, I was taken aback. There was this really cool dude that was making sandwiches because we needed to get one for Erica's mom, right? This shit, you want to talk about dark jokes? This guy, he was, a, he was a, like a young black dude. He was like 20, 29, maybe, like younger. He was a younger guy. Really fun, really, really cool, actually. The original owner of this subway was an Indian man. And Erica's mom asked him, do you know where he went? This man, without missing a fucking beat, again, some young, I don't know, like I said, 29-year-old black dude just says, I don't know, probably a gas station or something. And I'm like... And Erica was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> she was like, wow. And he was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He's like, I should have done that. He's like, I'm sorry. And he's like laughing, but he's like, I shouldn't have said that. He's like, I shouldn't have said that. That's wrong. He's like, that ain't cool. And I'm just like... I'm like, I was like, oh my God. I was like, I can't, I can't believe. I was like, I cannot believe that man just said that shit. Like, I was like, I was like, Jesus fuck, dude. I was like, okay. Uh, Detura, it's extremely stereotypical to assume that an Indian man works at a gas station. Do you remember like, uh, do you remember Apu from the Simpsons? Right. It's, yeah, that's a, that's a stereotype. So, uh, that, the fact that a fucking, like, it, I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was about a black dude ripping out, like, a fucking, like, a, just a ripe-ass stereotype in a subway that I was like, I, I was like, God, God damn, like, holy shit. I was like, what the fuck, man? He was a nice dude, and he apologized. He's like, oh, he's like, he's like, he's like I shouldn't have made that joke. I shouldn't have made that joke. I'm like, at least, at least you knew that you probably shouldn't have made it. I mean, there's at least you got something going on there. Otherwise, very nice dude. He was very sweet. But you know what? That he he that that red like guy who tries to be humorous all the time. 
who doesn't know where the line is sometimes. That kind of thing, where it's like, okay. And I was like, I just should. And you know what? Honestly, that's something that you hone over time. Dude, there's so many jokes I probably made when I was younger that I would slap the shit out of myself. Just being like a fucking idiot. Like, because anybody who grew up in like the early 2000s, like in Xbox Live Land, oh my God. Like the shit that got said on that goddamn platform. Holy fuck. Like, j what? What even? Nick, man, I'm just here for some food, not casual stereotype jokes. Oh, I thought you were telling me. I'm like, I didn't, I didn't make the joke, man. I was like, I was like, I didn't make the joke. I was like, this was not mine. This was my wild ass, wild ass, whatever. I, I would imagine most people probably would. We'd be like, okay, dumbass. Like, yeah I, yeah, I get it. Right? I can't switch the game source. God, that's going to be a bitch. Oh, it's going to be a, oh my God. This is like turbo fuck. What happened? Man, this got all kinds of screwed up. But anyway, yeah, if you're excited about, uh, if you're excited about Kenshi, then throw your hands in the air like you just don't care. Somebody asked about, uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We will be doing Rebirth periodically, uh, a couple times a week, maybe. Um, Rebirth, especially late at night, is a disaster, uh, viewership-wise and chat interaction-wise. Um, yeah, so we, we cannot do that, like, every night. I promise we'll keep doing it, and I promise we'll play through it, because I really want to. So, uh, yeah. I will, I will, I will be doing that, but just, uh, just, bear, just bear with me on that. I cannot do that every night, uh, cause yeah, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not the biggest like monetary game. It's not the biggest like viewership game. It's not the biggest chat engagement game. So like, it doesn't really have a lot going for it. It's like, normally like some games are really good viewership engagement. Some are like good money games. Some are good like viewership games. Some are... Some things, some just do better than others. Some I'm just enjoying. It just depends, right? Like, or the some are all three. Whatever. Uh, you know, so there you go. And, uh, it's just weird. It's weird, and, uh, th that's, that's why. So we're taking, we're not, like, done with it. I'm just taking, like, a little break here and there from it. You're making protein waffles tomorrow, suckers. Nice. Now, do you mean, like, you're just, like, taking, like, 18 pounds of pea protein and then squeezing it into a waffle iron? You're right, I got that ad money. Yeah, we're gonna be getting that 13 cents, bitch. You guys excited? Are you fucking pumped? Oh, no, you're, you're thinking, you're thinking, wow, Nick, you're going to be rolling in money. You should just donate it all with all that ad money, which, by the way, when it gave me my estimate, it no shit was like, you can make, you can make $123 a month with this. I was like, wow. Wow, 123 to disrupt my fucking ad view, my, my viewer experience completely. That was on the high end. I was like, hot damn, that's uh, that's good stuff. But anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, if you don't want to look at the ads, you can you can sub and shit or do Twitch Turbo, whatever you want to do. Uh, the ads may not be a thing forever. I am strictly just testing it for other purposes. For purposes, purposes not related to the actual ads. It's more of a discoverability algorithm thing. So I think Twitch is doing some uh, some shady on the back end. Phil, 13 cents, you rich snob. I know. I know. I flaunt my money in everyone's face. I'll have you know, I'll have you know that my creamer for my coffee is oat based. I'll have you know. I'll have you know my toilet paper is quarter ply. Just kidding, I really don't use toilet paper a lot because I spray my butt. <laughs> Y'all not at $5? 123 a month is like, what, two more takeout nights? Thankfully, most of the takeout nights we've been doing lately have been pretty cheap. So, like Taco Bell last night was cheap. Your coffee's oat-based, your creamer's nut-based. You just a big old nut. All right, gamers, who's ready by Shaw Dangles? Who's ready for some Kenshi? I gotta turn this, I gotta turn this reggae music off. Now, I know there was a running gag when we did this last time that I would play RuneScape music as Kenshi music. Um, Monetary I would like people assistance. to actually hear Monetary the assistance. Kenshi music. A little bit. Monetary assistance. Uh, before we do anything. Monetary um, So, yeah. I would like to, uh, I would like, I would like people to actually hear the Kenshi music. Because uh, I think it's, I think it's important. So. Do I, what do you, yeah, you're right, that is the Kenshi music. But I want to listen to the soundtrack that plays inside the game. 123 is like a solid date night. Yeah, depending on if like anybody gets alcohol. I remember, I remember there was this time where like recently... Uh, oh, it was when our friend's dog passed away, and these are the same friends that came to, like, 
support the shit out of us during our wedding, and they came to, uh, they, they were here when Erica's parents were going downhill. Um, they're just very sweet. Uh, the dog, when they when they had to put their dog down, we went to dinner at, a, like, a place. And, like, dude, I remember the tab for, like, the four of us. Like, it, back in the day, it would have been, like, 55, 60 bucks. Like, now it is, like, 90. Like, it, it was crazy. I was like, what the fuck, man? And the main reason I did that was because they got us the time before, so I was trying to return the return the favor. I don't like to, well, you know, there you go. Advice for Kenshi music is it has terrible loudness range and is barely adjustable in game. Many streamers play the OST from YouTube. Phil, that is actually what we did last time. I'm just going to let it play from the game this time. There's actually a mod that fixes the one song that is very annoying, too. Um, but anyway, this game is incredible. Like, if I, if I could legitimately say one of my favorite games ever, not even as a joke, like, not even as, like, not being, like, hyperbole or... No, like, actually blew me away. Um, insanely good. It is a little jank, but that's okay. That's what some of the UI stuff uh, is very helpful for, especially from a viewability standpoint. Like I said, we're not going to go crazy Welcome with mods. Just things that will be either quality of life or maybe add a little bit of more visual stuff or, like, you know, anything to improve the viewer experience, things like that uh, we will do. Like, last time, I think we did, like, um, a in-depth, like, prisoner recruitment mod, which was really nice for the stream because it let us recruit people a little bit easier um which was cool so stuff like that was really cool i remember we did that uh but anything basically to help with the viewer experience or do like fun stuff um that's what we'll end up using i'm not, I'm not gonna go fuck i'm not gonna go crazy with this and be like it's a play mod and play so i'm not even doing like a bang mods command right now because ain't shit on there it's just some quality of life crap the dark ui there's nothing so nothing in there uh nothing in there at all one part's getting shipped soonish. Nice, Ivan. Oh, I have to repair my snack box uh, elite controller. Unfortunately, you want to see what it looks like without a without the front plate. Front plate. I have to I have to replace the membrane on the buttons. I have to replace the front casing because when it comes off, if you make a mistake, it can break it. So that's broken. So I had to order a replacement front plate because I was like, well, I can buy a new controller, or I could just fix this one. So I found a replacement front plate that's translucent green because what I decided I'm going to do is replace the back and the front plate of the elite controller. And I'm going to make it look like an original Xbox, uh, an Xbox S controller. Um, that was only like 16 bucks. I'm going to try that because the back replacement was like 20. And then I think the replacement membrane was like 10. So I was like, that's way cheaper than buying a brand new uh, Elite controller. And I'm going to make it like that. And it's going to look like an original Xbox S controller. It'll have like the multicolored buttons and everything. And I was like, that should be really interesting. So I thought that'd be cool to make an Elite that looked like one of the original S controllers that was like uh, translucent. I thought that that was really cool. So that's what we're going to do. It'll be a cheap fix and maybe I'll stream myself fixing it. Welcome um, to Bitter Bits. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll stream myself fixing it. Now we've got, we got several Kenshoids in chat who are a lot more proficient at this than I am. Uh, I remember we changed a couple things here as far as the settings go because we've got hunger time, chance of death, production speed, research speed, building speed, number of nests, bandits loot the player, and easy prospecting. Um, I vaguely remember turning on easy prospecting just as a quality of life thing because it was just boring as shit. Otherwise, I vaguely remember that. Um, but I don't I don't know if that's needed. Uh, we're going to be playing on the default difficulty, of course. Uh, but we are going to we are going to change some stuff up here. Um, or I'm sorry, the difficulty will probably end up being like default ish somewhere in that area. Uh, I don't really know exactly which start I want to do yet. Um, like, I kind of want to do, like, rock bottom or something like that, but I'm not, I'm, again, I'm not really, I'm not really positive. Uh, not really positive what I want to do. Easy, pro easy, easy prospecting to go. I don't, do we need to change building speed, research speed, damage multiplier? To, did we turn, did we turn chance of death down a little bit, right? Didn't we ch turn it down to, like, like, 0.75 or something like that? And then I think maybe we, like, turned it back up later just because the original shit, uh, the original shit was, like, super like messy and like we had like really bad starts and we had to do something with that I think where we turned it down initially and then once we got a little bit of a footing we cranked it back up something like that it, we did something I'm just gonna leave it at one because again if we have to restart that's fine that's right get cozy Zelda this is big cozy time also ish thank you for the dollar seven sixty nine and ungodness with the ten tens that I heard someone say money dollars I didn't say give me money dollars I didn't say that I didn't say anything like that as a matter of fact I said this is not some call to arms to Well, looks like Sturgatron, the resident, uh, the resident. <sighs> oh, right. God damn it. Uh, sorry. This thing is the resident, uh, MMS paint artist has shown. This is me 
trying to figure out discoverability and growth for our channel after fucking 50 years. This is it. This is me when the stream fucking stops. I'm sitting in the corner being like, how the fuck do I get some new people in here? How the fuck do we make more things happen? Who is pe sacri sacrifice all mortal possessions to the advertisers? Look at the fucking name of this. Look at this. Sacrifice all mortal possessions to the advertisers. Monetary assistance. God, that's fucking powerful. Monetary assistance. Holy shit. It Monetary says mods, assistance. but it should say nudes. I, can, I can't get away with that, though. Like, that's not my sell. I can't sell feet cam, and I can't sell butt cam, because there's not a market for male butt and male feet on Twitch. I'm sorry, there just isn't. There just isn't. This is where, this is where the, the gender that I was at birth has betrayed me. Has betrayed me completely. 100% too small there's no there's no escaping it i have no way to exploit myself we tell us not to do things we take it as a challenge i'm not saying to take it as a challenge i'm saying don't worry about the ads this isn't me being like god give me money i'm dying it's me being like something's fucked up with our like algorithm and i want to see if this fixes it that's all it is pioneer the male button male feet market on twitch i don't think it would work i just don't i mean like I don't have an uggo butt, and I'm pretty sure my feet aren't the worst thing ever, but still, I don't think it would work very well. I don't think it would work very well. Also, thank you again, Ish, for the $1.69 twice? No, it was just once. I just did that weird duplicate thing. And then on Ghana, skipped out the sub to Phil. Damn, Phil's like new here, I think, or something, and you just slapped him back in the bus, straight up. Sturg with resub for 70 months, says, I got your prototype conspiracy fart hot off the MS Paint. Thank you, Sturg, for doing this. It's beautiful. If you want to get a closer look at that, it's in the Discord under fart. Uh, Ajax with the 21 months. It's wonderful to see you. Ajax showed up here a long time ago because of Erica. Uh, because they used to watch a couple people together. And Ajax has been around forever now. And they're really, really nice. And have just been the coolest. They always come in with nice, nice things to say. And then just slip into the shadows. They're just like the nicest dude. And I remember Erica specifically saying that. They were like, oh, Ajax is going to watch you or something. Because they're nice. And they're cool. And I told them to come watch you. And I'm like, all right. And then they did. And look at that. They were. They were very cool. And then thank you, Angonis, for the 1010 with the call to arms. It is not a call to arms. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it was the guy that was like, uh, yeah, there was like some guy that was like touching or something. Because that's just apparently too fucking hard to not do that. So it's apparently too hard to, uh, too hard. to. Yeah, there you go. Grooming. Yeah, it's apparently just too hard to not. It's so hard to just not. Apparently. Anyway. All right, so let's take a look at these beginnings. So we got the Wanderer, which is seeking to make your fortune. You spent the last of your savings on a backpack full of trade goods and a pack animal. We're about to start a new life. Uh, we've got Regular Wanderer, which is just a lone wanderer, but nothing but a few coins, a pair of pants, and a rusty sword ready to venture out in the world. Uh, we've got a group of five nobodies. We're not doing that. Uh, Freedom Seekers. This is some bitch fed up with whatever. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Fed up with uh, stifled city life and taxes. You gather a band to head out and found your own home base. You've assembled a group of five. No. Uh... Guy with a dog. <laughs> guy, with, guy with a dog. Holy Nation Citizen. The simple city citizen of the Holy Nation. You live in relative safety as long as you show obedience to Okran and his priest. The world outside is said to be barbaric and violent. There's Empire Citizen, who is a simple citizen of the United Cities. You lost your job and your house at the whim of a noble lord. Faced with poverty and starvation, which is a crime in, the place, in, this, in this place, you decide to head out of town and find some, some form of self-employment before you starve to death. Uh, rock bottom is you are alone, unarmed, naked, and hungry, lost in the middle of a harsh desert, teeming with slavers. You just lost an arm. Good luck. Uh, there's also the slave start, which is... The hint says get into a cage straight away to avoid a beating. God, I kind of... I kind of want Lil Brittle to start off in, in the life of slavery. Son of a captain? Your father was a respected captain? There's no way. No. Wait a minute. Your father was a respected captain in the United Cities Army. He was killed in action after burning through your meager savings looking for work. You find yourself penniless and hungry, with nothing left but your father's trusty katana and the shirt on your back. The United Cities are still your ally, but you will need them if you run into any. Uh, but you will need them if you run into any troops in the Holy Empire. Those guys hate you. Ideas, ideas are happening. What if, what if Brittle was the uh, like the adopted son? of a captain in the United States Army, right? And, like, he was mostly, like, held 
away in shame, right? Because he wasn't human. So they kept him like locked away. And then finally, his father had like a he'd like a like a flash of like I never did anything. I never did anything right by my adopted son, little brittle. Right? And so all he but all he has left, all he has left that he can give you is his katana and that's it. That's all he's got. So that's all at the last minute. The father had a change of heart before he was pat before he like was got killed in action. Maybe things were going to be looking up. And he gave him that as a keepsake because maybe maybe he knew. Maybe he knew something was going to happen. I'm kind of digging it. I'm kind of digging it. What do you guys think? Do you think Brittle, the weird adopted son of a captain in the United States Army who has now passed away, he has no family left, and now he's just out on his own? That's it? That's all he's got? I'm not saying he's going to use that katana, but I mean, it is important to him, obviously, because he, was, he got it from his dad, right? So, like... And I'm gonna be honest with you, I can already tell you Brittle's gonna hate the fucking Holy Nation. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. He's gonna hate the Holy Empire. I already, I already know that. He's gonna hate the shit out of him because he's not pure anyway, right? Because the Holy, the Holy Empire can't stand skeletons because they are, uh, you know, gross. Disgusting. The captain was being sent on a mission that was certain death and before leaving bestowed the katana to Brittle. Okay. Okay. I like that too. I like that too. Let's go, let's go with the general idea that Brittle received this katana either because the dad knew or because he had a change of heart that he was never able to love Brittle like a son like he should have because Brittle wasn't one of his own. Maybe he found Brittle somewhere a long time ago in the desert broken down or some shit. I don't know, man. I don't know. Who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? I certainly don't. But anyway, I like that. I like that start. You guys ready to go into the character creator? By a show of Dingley's. Let me know if you're ready. I'm glad the volume thing still works at least. That's good, I guess, because... Look, I'm not the best RPer or world builder, but, like, I have fun ideas sometimes that I can play. As long as I have, like, something to play off of, I can do fun things, I promise. I don't care, like, literally any dingly. Like, whatever that is, there's a person with a goosey goose head that's going on. I don't know what that means. I don't know. I don't know what any of those mean. Yaki, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? I was told I couldn't show dingly on Twitch anymore. Uh, that's actually true. I think you can wear like a skimpy underwear and like just stuff your wiener into like a like a sling. Uh, but I'm pretty sure you can't show actual dick. All right, so son of a captain, it is. I love it. I love I love the idea of it. Also, I man, I love love Kenji's concept art. I love it so much. Love it so much. It's so good. You need to eat to survive. Your character simply needs food in his inventory in order to stay fed. I don't remember the actual survival mechanics for skeletons because I don't think we really had that many skeletons in our group uh, last time. God damn, that is one drep looking bitch. All right, so naturally no humans. We are gonna be a skeleton, but just in case you guys haven't seen some of these guys, you got the hive, you've got the Sheck, and you've got doo doo humans. And of course you got Skeletron. Uh, so I'm thinking uh, <laughs> no gender, no sub race. It's all just skeleton. All just skeleton. Now, the tricky part about skeleton is that I do like a stealthier playstyle. Now, skeletons have a massive, massive penalty that at negative 20%. So they have to do a lot to catch up, uh, to catch up to just like some standard shit, right? So they gotta, they gotta do, they gotta do a lot. Um, same goes for their thievery and their dodging. So they're gonna, have, we're gonna have to level up a bit to, to get past that stuff. Now, I'm gonna read you guys for anybody who's new to Kenshi. Uh, the skeletons are a complete mystery. Nobody knows where they came from and how they were made, but they are suspected to be thousands of years old. Fully sentient and capable of feeling sadness, anger, excitement, compassion, thrill, and enjoyment, although they don't possess the ability to express anything visually. This combined with their dry sense of humor often confuses the other races, whom the skeletons see as somewhat volatile and unpredictable. They have no prejudice or fear of death and make for brutally effective warriors. Now, naturally, I'm thinking that, uh, I'm thinking that, uh, I'm thinking that, that brittle, which the full title is going to be Little Brittle, but of course we're going to go with just Brittle. Uh, Brittle for the name. We know it's Little Brittle, but Brittle's going to look much better in the, in the frame, trust me. Uh, so we're going to take off his clothes here so he can be nudie. And uh, we need to change, we're going to change up his idle stance. Now, these uh, this mod I, I got here gives them different idle stances. Uh, some of them are really stupid, but hey, you know, at least at least we have some options. Don't like that. Uh, I like him just kind of like casually. That's not bad. That's not bad, but that's not very, that's not very brittle. Also not very brittle. 
Not uh, not feeling it there. Not feeling that was a little bit too. That's a little bit too sassy. Oh, that's actually that's not bad for a brittle. What is that? Forty eight. Oh, that's actually that's a really nice one for brittle. Okay, so forty eight so far. I do I do like a sassy brittle though. That, that is that is pretty good. Sassy brittle is is pretty nice. But I think as far as things. Now, now, Peggy was a horribly misshapen creature, and I don't know if we're gonna go. I don't know if we're gonna go too deep into the horribly misshapen creature this round. Was it forty six or was it forty eight? Forty eight's good. I think forty eight's good because it looks like because he does like the little like wrist thing, which is neat. I like that. We can also change his skin tone. Uh, for for brittle, I wanted like I definitely want like a rusted, uh, kind of a rusted appearance. So like a darker, darker brown. Uh. Not like too dark though, because like yeah, he want I want him to look like weathered and like kind of whatever. But this is like that's a little too bright. I feel like that's probably that's probably a good one. Um, it's probably good. Now brittle is is pretty short. They're not like insanely short, but they are they are pretty short. They're not like we're not going we're not going like Peggy height. They're gonna be a little bit taller than uh than Peggy, but they are they are short. They're not they're not huge by any means. Uh, I don't think Brittle is going to be, like, yoked out. They will be somewhere in there. Now, their posture, they're a little crinkled down there. I gotta be careful with this. The posture actually might have messed up the, uh, might have messed up their idle stance. I'm not positive on that one. I'm not, I'm not positive how that works. No, he's good. Okay, that's just the animation that plays. If Brittle met an anus, what do you think the immediate response would be? Uh, Brittle would probably try to bond with them because, you know, he would probably, you know, Feel some kind of feel some kind of companionship towards them. All right, so we got that neck position, which I mean, there's not much I can really do with that. Probably I'll probably pull it back a little bit. Uh, leg length. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me make him a little bit taller and then bring that leg length down. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Then he's uh, we get his shoulders shoulders out a little bit. Arm bulk. Uh, eh, he's a robot, so you know, whatever. I'll give him some larger hands for grabbing. His ch <laughs> Don't worry, we're gonna get goofy with the character creator, I promise. But Brittle, I want to be at least a little bit more recognizable. Damn, Brittle got that fucking man. He got that jet engine gut. Damn girl, he been hitting the snacky cakes. All right, we got the waist. Give them, give them big hips, and blast those hips out. That actually, that actually doesn't look terrible. I thought that. That's <laughs> there. You go. All right, now his legs are his leg bulk. Okay. Again, brittle. Brittle's not a huge, not a huge creature. Leg shape. Okay, leg shape was probably fine. We give him them big honking feet. Oh, his feet do not change. Okay. All right, let's go to face here. I'm actually, I'm pretty happy. What do you guys think about Brittle's body? You think he's just short enough? But looks because he's supposed to like Brittle needs to look like he's like kind of frail but capable. Like he he's not like completely. He's not like completely like you know helpless. He needs to look like a little small. Kind of, kind of frail, but not, 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 not to be like 100% like, oh, we shouldn't fuck with this guy, right? All right, so we got a, we got a bunch of different heads here. I know that, uh, or at least I'm, I was pretty sure we did. Oh, that's the face, I think. I don't remember if, I don't remember if they actually, get, do they get different head types? I thought they did. Let me bring that, let me bring that head down a little bit. Don't forget your body will affect your attack animations. Hell yeah. Hell, hell yeah. His neck doesn't change much here. You can bit that bulbous neck. I do want to have a slightly longer neck, I guess. Uh, maybe, no, maybe a little bit shorter. I don't really know what the jaw does here. Yeah, I want the enemies to look at him and go, I could probably take him, which is a little scary at first. I definitely thought you could change the face of skeletons. Am I crazy? Because right here we just have stick people head. Am I nuts? I swear to God, there were options for skeleton heads. He 100% does not fuck. What? I'm pretty sure that's mo that's mod for sub races. Oh my God, seriously? Oh, maybe we'll change. Maybe we'll change up his his. Uh... Oh, skeleton head changes based off of sub race. But how do you? How does that work? Oh my god, I just realized that his pants are gonna look so stupid. Uh, actually, you know what? That actually looks pretty good. That's pretty good, man. 
It's uh, I'm not, I'm not hating it. I do want to Welcome bring the hips in a bit and drop the leg bulk just a little bit. Uh, and also the stomach bulk. I'm actually not sure what's making that look that weird. Is it the hips? There we go. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. I dig it. Like you've been spying on what game I've been playing the last two weeks. Looks like I got to come home and watch Kenshi tonight. Mm. Thank you, zombie, for the 72 months. Welcome back aboard the bus. Hope you enjoy the ride. Also, message Erica for me, if you would, because Erica wanted to talk to you about your job, I think, because uh, she was curious about something. Oh, never mind. Apparently, she already did. <laughs> apparently, apparently, this already happened. This was like days ago that she mentioned something about whatever. Okay, so that apparently that's sub races, and that's like a mod thing, which that sucks. Um, well, damn. Shit. That's so weird. I could have sworn you could change that normally. Can you link me the mod that we're talking about? Uh, because I guess we can save it and then we can character edit it. That's fine. I don't mind changing his face because I, I would want I do want a different face. I do want a different face for sure. Uh, can I save this as it is? OK, we exported it as character bodies export brittle bod. Uh, let's go grab. Um, hopefully, hopefully that saved it. No, we're using the we're using Steam's uh, Steam's thing. Uh, so let me back out really quick. This is kind of how we're going to have to do it. It's just things like uh, sub races. Uh, skeleton sub races. Play playable skeleton sub races. When you create a character, three additional skeleton sub races with different stats will be available. All look different than the middle of the game. I don't know if I want them to be like different than normal. Uh, I would. I do like the difference of heads, though. And this is pretty disappointing, actually. There's that's not a lot of heads. <laughs> it's not a it's not a lot of not a lot of heads. Um, Welcome to Bitter Bits. Uh, unlock sub races. I don't know which one of these is like the most popular. I guess when we sort. I guess there's one just called skeleton sub races that seems to add a bunch of head types. Never mind. That's the same thing. This is a plan to make a skeleton only play. So no head. I guess there is. I guess there is a no head one. Quick resub then sleep. Catch on VOD land. All right. Rock and roll it. Take it easy. Um, I guess I guess let me sub that and see if that works. I don't know if it does, but I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. Fuck it. Also, Pink earlier was like, when are we getting Kenshi too? That dude like never. <laughs> dude, like, that shit's never coming out ever, ever, ever. That shit is less real than Dragon's Dogma 2 was. And, uh, you know, that and that's pretty that's pretty unreal. Try this one. I think I just did uh, that. I think that but this one's specifically for skeletons. So, OK, so we did. Uh, what was it? Um, not Empire Citizen. Son of a captain, right? Son of a captain. And we did easy prospecting because fuck that. Look at all the different skeleton heads. What the fuck? Yeah, Kenshi 2 is as real as Silk Song. <sighs> This one is unlocking all sub races in game. I don't know if I need all sub races. Uh, OK. Wait, wait, wait. Does this have some of the Oh, I thought these had some of the ones from like back in the day that we made. OK, there's Brutal Bod 2 uh, sub race. Oh, there we go. Skeleton long head or log head. No head. That head, which I don't really know how I feel about that. There's a screamer head. E4 unit. Uh, I kind of I dig that. Soldier bot. Some of these look a little Roger Roger. All right, Griggs. You do not speak that accursed name. I've gotten overhyped for Silk Song and I'm less sad. Well, unfortunately, I don't have any any information for y'all. I'm very sorry. And even if I did, I couldn't share it anyway. I, all I can say is I'm sorry. I will say do you have I do have a meeting with Team Cherry here at some point in the near future? That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm saying. Um, I don't know. Uh, I think I, I think I actually like the. The skeletons of loading art or concept art. There is a mod that adds them as a new skeleton type. Cryptic, do you have the link to that? Yes, I do have a I do have a meeting with them tentatively scheduled soon. So 
I did. I did finally. I did finally hear from those guys, which is great. I was very excited to. Uh, it's called. It's called Lionhead. Okay, awesome. Okay, so we'll do. We'll do Lionhead. I guess. Let me go to the workshop. And nice concept art skeletons. Oh, sweet, perfect. This is it. Uh, does this conflict with the other mod, or can I just use this one on its own? I would assume that I no longer need the other one because I'm not trying to do like actual sub races. I just wanted different. I just wanted different appearances. So I guess let me uh, unsub from that one, and I'll just do this one. That's really cool. I do like the I do like the concept art skeletons. As a matter of fact, one of them I particularly was like, I kind of want Brittle to look like that. So thank you for linking that. That's perfect. How's everybody doing, by the way, while I reload this? Everybody hanging in there? Everybody's day going all right? Oh, I know it's not my fault. I was just, uh, the Silk Song is real, I promise. I think, I think, I've, I've had my, uh, I've had my, my theories on what's going on with that, uh, on my own. Uh, just, this just what happened with that game, but Silk Song will happen. I'm sure it will. We just gotta keep waiting. I think I'm finally starting to get better. I feel a little, uh, a little less sick today, so that's nice. Nice. That's always good. I go to the job hunt, Zarth. Same old, same old crap. I feel for everybody that's been looking for a job for so long, dude, because, like, this shit, this shit's nuts. The market is crazy. It is bonk. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, Skeleton, Lionhead, Mark 1. Uh, Mark 2, I guess. Okay, so not a lot of choices here, and I gotta be honest with you. Uh, I kind of like this one. How do you guys feel about that one? Or do you feel like, or did you like, did you like the default? I kind of like the default. There's a, there's a charm. There's a, there's a charm to him. The lion, the lion head's pretty cool, but at the same time, I do feel like there is a charm to uh, to our boy. I've already, I've already gotten, I've already gotten kind of attached to him, which is weird, because like nothing's happened, because <laughs> like, because like nothing's happened. So <laughs> I feel like I, I feel like I got attached to him, and like yeah, nothing, nothing's gone on. He also his pants fit really weird. Um. Oh, it's because he's got like a really weird ass crotch. Damn, I wish I could like just get regular skeleton and then just change his head. <laughs> I wish I could just like change his head. Maybe there are other mods that add some facial changes for our skeletons that we can look at later. But I think for right now, I actually do kind of like the default. I think his rust color is pretty good. I do like the I do like the skin tone. Maybe a little bit darker. I just kind of like that one. Like that's like a little bit more like weather worn. Oh, the new skeletons have two body types. Oh. Oh, is it the Mark One and the uh the Mark One and whatever over here? Oh, I do. Okay, I do see it. Yeah, because so I guess they, that was the Mark Two. That's the one that looks really weird, right? And then there was the Mark One, which I guess looks a little bit more, a little bit more conventional. Now let's give him like a let's give him like the darker like like rusted skin tone. He's on the right idle stance. We gotta bring him down some. Bring down his frame. This was posture some. Uh, and he needs his shoulders out a little bit and a little bit of an arm bulk. Uh, hands a little bit bigger. Chest can come down a little bit. Stomach can come down a little bit. Uh, waist can come down a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know, man. I kind of like the default. I think I think this is him. I think I think this is him. I think this is uh this is brittle. I think this is him. I'm gonna make his head slightly smaller though, because his head's a, his head's a little big for what it is. Bring it down just a just a scooch. And uh, but he looks he looks pretty good though, man. This is him. This is brittle. This is brittle. Gaze upon him, for he is gorgeous. And don't worry, because we will end up with other party members, and they will be named after you guys, and you can make them whatever kind of abomination you want. Because by God, I'm sure we'll end up with some of them. Because I don't think Brittle's gonna be some horrible racist Welcome who will only only bring mechanicals into his party. I don't see that happening personally. That's just me. But this is Brittle's this is Brittle's adventures. 
And uh, yeah. Oh, if you own Kenshi, yeah, you could make your own character file if you like hope to get a character, and then you could import that and we can change the person in game to that character. And uh, there you go. That would, that would be interesting. Uh, joke about 74, work big suck. Wish I was home doing Yugi Man stuff, playing Clumbo's Clum Big Adventure. What is Clumbo's Big Adventure? That's scary. Yeah, so this is definitely like a like a giveaway type situation where we do like Nightbot thingies and we, you know, whatever. Uh, so we will end up with party members. I don't know when that's going to be, uh, but it will happen at some point, guaranteed. So this <laughs> this is Kenshi. You're probably looking at this and you're like, oh, my fucking God, what is this? Right. It is a uh, <laughs> it's going to take me a minute to get used to the uh, get used to the controls. So and really everything, honestly, all of it, because there's so much stuff. Thankfully, this UI is a lot less uh, miserable uh, than some of the other ones. Um, I am going to uh, tab out of this really quick and I'm going to move myself because I am now seeing that this is going to obfuscate some things and we definitely do not want that. So let's bring that up here and there we go. That should be a lot better. Last time I did this was, uh, I don't know who Mr. WK is wrong. I don't know who that is. And I got uh, friendly fired by a harpoon turret and instantly died. Hell yeah, dude. It's good stuff. Nothing like, nothing like instant death. All right, so we got our basic controls here with the Waz stuff because it controls kind of like a, you know, um, stuff. Rotate your view, hold the middle mouse button, zoom to scroll. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Middle bottle panel shows your characters in the active squad. Okay, I know that. To move your order, click right click on the terrain. Yep. Uh, double click on your character icon to center the screen and follow their movement. Right click on characters interactable, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I remember that too. We got the GUI overview, select a character from your squad. Shows the current stats. Yep, okay, see so oil and all that stuff. So the skeletons use oil instead of blood, uh, which is interesting. The arrow buttons allow you to pause and fast forward the game's speed. Okay, here you'll find your character's current funds and in-game time. So we have no money. None. Okay, this is the build menu, which we ain't even, we're not even going, not even going there yet. So not even getting in there, but we do have some food. Uh, which they do not hunger ever, which is nice. So we can actually go ahead and sell that food, I guess, because that's uh, that's good. And, uh, you know, we also have some pants and we do have this katana, uh, which is which is quite valuable uh, now that I'm seeing it. Uh, it's a, it's kind of a keepsake from our father. Uh, but if push comes to shove, it may be the it may be the only way our father was ever able to do anything for us. So. That might be we may have we may it may come to pass that we have to sell it because, you know, like I said, it's it's the only thing that he was ever able to really give us. He <laughs> was the only thing he could give us. Let me double click on him. So it's following. So it's following Brittle on Brittle's adventures. And we can go check out some stuff here. We got the bar over here, which is like a God, dude, I barely remember anything. Oh, my God, dude, it, <laughs> it feels like it's been forever since we've done this. All right, let's talk to uh, the shopkeeper over here looking to buy. Show me what you got. OK, so he's got he's got some doo doo, some doo doo katanas, get some armor plating. He's got food cubes. He's got meat wraps. He's got repair kits, which. Wow. The pr look at the price on those. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's a first aid kit for skeletons, but holy shit. That's so much. Like what, four thousand for fucking this? But what we can do is we can drop the we can drop the first aid kit because we definitely don't need that. Um, so we can at least sell we can at least sell that get a little bit of money, and we can sell this to get a little bit of money. Oh my god, inventories! Oh my god, need your inventory. I like how we get to do this over here, which uh, I don't know how much we would make from that. I don't even know. We we made two hundred and twenty three dollars from this. Great. We don't, even, we, don't even, we don't even have a backpack. That's how that's how dark this shit is. I don't even have a backpack to do anything. Now, I'm not positive if like people are like, you know. Uh I'm not gonna name I'm not I don't know what to name our our band yet either. I feel like we'll probably name it like the I don't know, the crumblers or something. <laughs> the crumblers! Because we're all just crumbling out here. I love what do I do? There is no linear story or mission. Be a trader, a thief, a bounty hunter, a farmer, or even a warlord. You need to explore the world. Yeah. First things first, you'll need to get food and funds. Uh, you can scavenge the outlands for loot, mine valuable materials. You can even resort to thievery after nightfall. To cash in your loot, you'll need to find a store. Uh, surviving, wait a minute. Uh, surviving alone in the world of Kenshi won't be easy, but hiring new recruits, blah, blah, blah. 
Okay, we know that. How to steal. I remember how to do that. I remember how to do that too. Sorry about the yawn. It's I, I don't know. I don't know why that happens. Steal individual items on shelves. Uh, hold Alt and right click. Okay, yeah, I remember that. I remember that pretty well. You discovered your first town. Yep. Uh, to cash in your loot, you'll need to find a store. Hold Alt Alt to show nearby stores. Because yeah, Alt does like uh, it'll show like the actual like entrances and stuff. There we go. Oh, there's also like trash on the ground over there. Oh man, brittle, brittle. It's money. All you have is your father's katana, and you're probably not even going to be, you know. Oh, hey, man. Oh, do you like? Oh, do you like live here? Oh, shit. I was going to I was going to take some of that stuff. I didn't realize I didn't realize you lived here. <laughs> he does that man. That man has the hunger. I can't even talk to him. Weird. All right. So I guess Brittle is just going to have to I guess Brittle's, Brittle's just going to have to adventure out. So we're currently in the hub. Squin is nearby, uh, which I don't remember anywhere. I don't remember who's friendly to people. So this is basically like Brittle's going out on his first adventure anyway, because I have no idea who's friendly to who. I remember a couple of them vaguely, but not nearly enough. Not nearly enough to handle anything in particular. That is true. We don't have to worry about hunger on Skelly Man. We do not have to worry about that, which is nice. But there are a lot of people, I think, who hate, who hate skeletons. There's a lot of prejudice out there, so. I like how I didn't want him to be, like, too short, and he actually ended up being, like, kind of peggy height anyway. <laughs> he ended up being a little peggy height anyway. Well, if he does run through acid, he'll be mostly okay, because he doesn't have to worry about that. He doesn't have to worry about acid like the, like the organics do. But really, Brittle is still kind of coming to terms with the loss of his father. Because naturally... I'm going to take that empty rum bottle. I don't think anybody's going to mind, anybody's going to mind if that goes missing. Um, yeah, I think he's I think he's still he's still coming to terms with the loss of his father because his father was like the only one that ever probably showed him any affection at all. And that's to say that and that's pushing it because his dad, I don't think, really showed him much up until the very end, which is the whole reason he wanted him to have this like katana and everything, because he didn't have shit. So, you know, what are these, what are these guys up to? Talk to the boss. I don't know you. you mean, okay, fine. I'll talk to the boss. What is this place? What is this place? Who is the boss? Man, getting used to the controls again is gonna be something else. Look at that guy! Holy shit! What are these like? Some these like some ninjas? Oh, this is like some like weird ass like ninja academy, isn't it? This is the the the, the band the band of thieves. <gasps> Ooh, are those dummies. Are those dummies for to practice our punching and or stabbing? Is that the boss or is that the cleaning man? I'm pretty sure that's the cleaning man. I could be wrong though. Are these like free game? Oh god. Let me let me not do Oh dude, is that a cactus and also raw meat? My favorite. Leave that alone, that's for private use. Oh. Okay, I apologize. Who is this? Oh no! All I want to do is talk. Members only. If you want in, talk to the boss. Jesus Christ. I wouldn't mind joining your merry band. I just don't know what you guys do. What do you guys do for a living? Oh my god, the brittle bus. Perfect. I don't know who the boss is. I think he's dead. <laughs> I believe the boss might be dead. I could be wrong. Could be wrong about all this. Okay, so there's a couple locked, locked things up here. Um, I don't know if, like, I don't even remember how you, like, skunch. How do you skunch? What is the keybind? What is the keybind for skunching? We're also not going to save scum a bunch, by the way. Uh, I don't normally like doing that, so. Oh, dude, dismemberment? Oh, my God. I feel like I should turn that on to frequent, because that shit, that shit's hilarious. What did we, what did we have it on last time? Does anybody remember what we had dismemberment set to? Because, like. That could be funny as shit. That could be funny as shit. Uh, let's see. I think we had it on frequent because I'm pretty sure it was like it was just absolutely hilarious. So I love I love knocking off limbs. Oh, the sneak over here. Yeah, I can't remember if there's like a. I also don't remember like what the OK, by by toggling sneak, you enter stealth mode in this mode. You can perform stealth knockouts, kidnaps and steal stuff. Uh, the stealth cursor displays two icon. OK, I'm sorry. Hang on a second. Uh, displays two icons, uh, an eyeball and a sun. When the eyeball is red, it means that you're in view of nearby NPCs. When the eyeball is blue, it means you're currently out of view of anyone's line of sight. 
Sun icon shows light level. When the sun is shaded, you're at least visible. You're you're the least visible. Nightfall is prime time for sneaking. Perform a stealth knockout. Right click an NPC while sneaking. The percentage shows the chance of success. Did you know that bitter streamer Bitterbits is streaming the video game? Can she? What? All right, let's see. To kidnap? Oh, because Sanguine was like. <laughs> I think Sanguine was a famous, a famous party member. To kidnap a KO'd NPC, hold, hold right click on them and select kidnap on the menu. Okay, I do remember that. Here's the question. Do you get in trouble for just sneaking in general? I don't think you do, but I do think people bitch at you. Could be wrong on that, though. I also don't know where the boss is. I'm looking for the boss because I wouldn't mind joining this, uh... I wouldn't mind joining whatever this establishment is. But I don't know who that is. It's definitely not Floor... Floor Man, obviously. Uh, that person is just talk to boss if you want business. Okay. Fine. Fine. Well, our sneak, our sneak is like atrocious right now. So it's, it's so bad. Wait, are you the boss? Who the boss? For real though, is it, is it you? You seem like you could be spoken to. I don't know you. That's fine. I'm looking for the boss. Ah. Uh. You look like, you look boss-like, but you're also like a hive man, so like, I don't really know if... Look, are you the boss? Look, you're the merchant again. Oh my god, who owns this bitch? They obviously, they don't, they, don't even, they don't even work here. What about you? Oh, so you want in on the shinobi. The guards try to lay the crack down, but they ain't fooling nobody. There's, they're nothing, nothing a few cats can't handle. I want to join the shinobi thieves. I mean, Brittle, Brittle is probably desperate. Desperate for some type of, like, unity or interaction. You can join for free. That's it. I don't have to complete a test to prove something. Do I look like I've got time for handing out busy work? This, no, this is a business we're running, not a social club. Just a one-time membership fee of 10,000 cats. <sighs> thousand cats seems a little steep. You want to use our facilities? You got to pay for them. You can't afford it. You're obviously not a very good thief. What do I get in return for all that? You get yourself allies. We have hideouts like this one in major towns. We watch as it's back. It's a safe haven for, to rest and recover. We have special training equipment. You can sell your stolen items to our fence. And you also sell some hard-to-find specialist equipment at a huge discount. <sighs> Maybe some other time, because even, even Dad's keepsake katana is not enough to get us... Not enough to get us into the Shinobi Thieves. But it's worth... It's worth noting that Brittle has somewhere, if we can get the money, to go. I don't think he's going to get the money anytime soon, and I'm pretty sure Nightfall is coming, which is scary. But as long as we stay within city limits, we should be okay. Which should be all right. Should be in the operative word here. And I just, I don't know if that's actually going to be the case. I think that's that dude and a bunch of his empty rum garbage. Or maybe it was this one. I do want to, I do want to take, I do want to take a couple more things. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to fuck with that dude's shit. We're going to have to start a mining town. You're right. That is what we're going to have to do. The good part, though, is that we should, since we don't fatigue the same way as humans, uh, we I think we theoretically could do some mining. I don't remember if we need a mining pick to start mining. Uh, I don't remember if that's if that's a necessity. Uh, but I am going to head outside the city walls very, very, very briefly. We're not we're not going to be gone long because I uh, I. Brittle, like I said, they're not completely incapable by any stretch, but they are. I mean, they're, they're not like seasoned at it, at it by any by any stretch of the imagination. So where is music frequency? Dude, give me that shit like all the time. <laughs> give me that shit like all the time and crank that bitch. Up. I actually just noticed everything's like really quiet in this. Uh, It's really, really weird. I don't remember it being I don't remember it being that quiet by default. Unless I accidentally have it muted. No, I don't. To make sure not to be there Sunday. Oh, that's like the tithe day, isn't it? Let me see how much these jugs sell for. Probably, probably nothing. <laughs> probably a whole pound of nothing. Let's do business. All right, let's, uh, wow. Three? Man, what a good price that is for that. Man, that's good. Wow, I mean, we just made we made so much money. I don't think there's anything here that I could like. I mean, I mean, technically, we could technically let loose on dad's on dad's keepsake, but I, I don't know. 
I, I feel I feel like it's probably not worth it. I mean, I'm a little bit worried about like not having a skeleton repair kit. Because uh, like if we get in trouble out there, we're all alone right now. Can we sell our body? Wow. Um, no. I don't think so. I worry about this guy. He's so he's so naked looking and he's just going out here. All he has is a stick. Where are you going, dude? It's dangerous out there. I mean, we're going out too. On an adventure. Brittles. Adventure begins. Oh, yeah. What the hell is that up there? What is that? Oh. What are those? Oh, my God. Starving, starving bandits. Great. Now... I don't know what they can't eat us, which is nice. Yeah, they can't they can't eat us. I don't, I don't even think they notice us. I think I think we're probably safe. I'm at, I'm at brittle. I'm at brittle sneak at least because like brittle brittle needs to get. God, that is a dangerous group up there, man. That's a that's a scary. That's a scary gal. Ah! Wait, wait, wait. I think we're I think we're OK. I don't I don't think they've actually spotted us. Okay, I think I think we're fine. And I mean they're not gonna they're not gonna eat us at least because they can't because we're literally robot flesh. So that's good at least. I don't know how powerful dad's we should probably watch out. I don't know how powerful dad's katana is either, and like honestly, we probably don't have the strength to fight anybody. To do anything at the moment. Our run speed sucks, our attack sucks. We we suck. <laughs> we suck. We suck a lot. Well, we don't even have any food to steal, so I'm not really sure. I'm not really positive on like. like this is the character stats. Uh, I don't know if sneak is actively being. Leveled up. Our athletics is leveling up because we're running around. Our stealth is, in fact, leveling up. It's just not as much as I had hoped. I was just out here just looking for mining for mining properties. And I just, I haven't found shit. Just haven't found shit. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna... Zach, thank you for the raid. What were you up to tonight? Okay, so Brittle, Brittle is going to use their ingenuity and their, their rock hard, their rock hard robot hands to whack this. Anyway, y'all go follow Zach. They've been doing all kinds of fun stuff, cool stuff, awesome stuff. Been playing some Fortnite with Erica and Sugar and all kinds of fun things. So make sure you go check them out if you have not. While we do Kenji. Oh, nice. Perma jobs. You can organize your squad by assigning them jobs. Okay, that I know about, but we don't need to do anything about that yet. Because this is. Yeah, we don't we don't need to set this as a job. I think we could just do this manually. I don't know. If he'll like just f like ah, Brodo, I meant to say something. I I don't know what Jadon is. What is that? I'm so scared. I'm so on board with this whole get stealth high plan. How you want to do it? How long does this take though? Like I'll give it like some double speed, but I gotta be really careful because if those assholes come walking back. Brittle, brittle is in huge. Oh, you mine it into the veins inventory. Oh, that's right. How the fuck does that work? Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, that's right. Because you have to like double click it. Okay, so I'm assuming that this iron will probably sell pretty well. And it seems like we're we're safe ish right now. So I'm gonna let brittle. We're going to increase this speed. And I'm gonna let brittle bash this bash this bad boy in for a little bit there's also a bar over there hang on a second brittle brittle's name is a little confusing brittle is mostly named that because they were very rusted and they were found in the desert and they were adopted by a man in the united cities uh eventually look he he never got the love he deserved and he was basically hidden away but at the very end the dad had a change of heart and he entrusted him with his his katana which we don't know if he'll use this katana, but it's at least something of his father that may give him a chance at a better life than what he had. And he's going to he's going to try his best. 
We are. We're gonna let. We're gonna let Brittle cook uh, for a little bit here. Um, he's not taking damage to anything, so like I think he's fine. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, that the machines do not need to sleep, and they also uh, they don't get hungry and they don't need to sleep. But they do have detractors too. They're very loud, so they, their sneak sucks. They are uh, whatever. I don't think they have very good like speech with people too. You know, they, they're hated by a lot of people because they're scared of them. So. Oh, we're losing. Oh, we're losing labor skill because we're working in darkness. Oh, no. Working in darkness. You know, what the worst part is this shit ain't even worth that much money. It's just not. We should we should probably just we should probably get three and then just loot this and get out of here. Because it is it is nighttime now and. Uh, bad, bad things happen at night on the open road in Kenshi. I like how ten, I like how Tinfoil Nick brought out the farts. I'm, I'm really, really proud of you guys. You know me. I'm the Tinfoil Man. I have I have missed this game so much. There's something something about it, man. I, I don't know what it is exactly, but there's just it's, it's there's it's chill. It's insane, and it's just, it's just, it's all, all of the good. Okay, so he got, he got a pretty fat penalty working here at night on this. Um, where, where do we even see the, the job penalty there? I don't even know. Okay, maybe, maybe we'll get up to five. I don't know if this is actually building his, like, stamina or anything either. Uh, his athletics is not going up. Uh, his his strength is not going up. His laboring is going up, which is which is good. Uh, which that's nice. Um, so that'll that'll be good because the more his labor goes up, oh shit, oh shit, is that the is that the is that the is that the roving band? Oh god, out there in the distance. I can't tell. I can't see him. Shit. Oh fuck it is. Um My machine is full. Okay, right. So the, the we just just in time cuz we we got to get we got to get the fuck out of here. Uh All right, let's take this. What do you mean no workers? What the fuck does that mean? Oh wait, can, I don't even know if I can put all these in here. Oh my god. I thought you could like shift click and just transfer, but I guess not. Um Okay, Brittle Brittle's going to be pretty heavy here. It's going to be hard for them to run. Because their encumbrance, I'm pretty sure, is like... Ah! They're right on top of us. Oh, did they just ignore us? I think they ignored us. Maybe they, maybe they knew there was no meat. Do you think they knew there was no meat? No, nah, I don't know. They're running. Following leader. Their hunger keeps going, like... I wonder if we followed them, if they would just die. Because, like, they are actively starving. So, like... I, I, I wonder... Like, down here? Yeah, like, I wonder if, like... If they would just die. I don't remember if they would, though. Or if it just stays there for NPCs. But that would be hilarious if they just died. Now, I remember uh, athletics levels up faster when you're over encumbered and trying to run somewhere, right? Uh, or at least I think it does. I don't know if it levels up simultaneously with sneak. That's what, that's what I was thinking was waiting them out and looting them. But I'm not 100% positive on like whether or not whether or not that would actually work. Tell you what, they're, they're going to they're going to roam back through like we know it, right? And their hunger is technically going down even more uh so like i'm thinking what what the hell happened what we left for one day and there's like corpses and shit here what stealing chance oh my god these were prisoners what Oh my god. 
I'm afraid to take it though. I don't know if I don't know if that actually counts as like stealing proper to where they would like get angry. What is this? Justin with the 450 says we be indiligent. I too fell in a Kenshi hole. I've been playing it on the deck. You add any mods? Also, cannibals don't eat skellies. And my limbless stealth skelly hasn't died from hunger yet. You good? I like that I'm like sitting here. Oh, good. I'm glad bits are double alerting. There you go. You get double the alert for your money. Uh, I'm just going to kind of I'm just going to kind of take they don't really have any value, though. And it looks like no one fucking cares. You've stolen goods in your inventory. Yeah, but like, does anybody care? Oh, my God, they're like they're like that. Oh, wait, these these were hungry bandits. Maybe they attacked the town or something. And like this was this was what they got. Okay, these aren't these aren't worth a lot. Uh, I also don't know if I can smelt those bars. Dude, those pants fucking suck. I am not I'm not stealing those pants. I mean, yeah, they're, they're not hungry anymore. I thought maybe they have like a backpack on them or something. God, anything. What the hell is that? <laughs> backpack, literally anything. So I guess, yeah, I guess some of them got ballsy and decided to go after go after the city, which didn't seem like a bright, bright call. I mean, even Brittle can see that from a mile away. Question. Is there a forge in town that we can use? I don't remember if there is, but that's okay. I'm kind of treating this as like a new experience anyway, because I've forgotten a lot. I'm sorry, I'm so brain dead. I forgot to open the stream. That's okay. Thank you for the raid. I was just, I was just talking you up a little bit. Just a little bit of talk up. I don't think there's a forge. So I guess we're probably better off just selling this iron that we have currently. Um, I also don't want this disgusting shirt. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty nasty. Now we do play this game at a higher speed sometimes because like, especially early on, you got to kind of, you got to kind of increase speed because otherwise it's pretty nuts. You can do all kinds of shit in this, by the way, you can buy like houses and stuff. It, Kenshi is insane. It is legitimately like one of the most ambitious games I think I've ever seen. For better or worse. All right, so uh, stolen goods, no problem. He apparently, this guy apparently does not care. Um, so we can sell this disgusting shirt, these disgusting pants. We're not making a lot from them though. Uh, we can also sell this, these for ninety a pop. But I feel like I did not say that he smelled weird. I never said that. Um. Okay, that's good. All right. Uh, which we drop, we drop some weight there for sure. Uh, definitely want to keep my pants, and I'm still thinking about keeping Father's katana. So we're up to. Am I blocking the money? I'm not. Okay, we're up to eight hundred ninety-eight dollars, which is not a lot. Dad's katana is worth three thousand five hundred ninety-seven. Um. So, and I don't know, I don't know if I'm willing to let go of that just yet. Part of me wants to hang on to it, even if like we don't use it because it was it was our dad's keepsake. And, you know, it's all we really have to remember him by. I hope to God it doesn't turn out the dad was like a slaver because he probably was. Whoa. He wasn't dead. Holy. Cr None of them were. Whoa. I thought they were all dead. I mean, they're escaped slaves, so, like, I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna hate on them. Like, I'm not gonna, like, fuck that up. I will, however, uh, do this guy a favor, I guess, and I'll take these shackles off. This item's locked in place and cannot be removed. You can try to pick the lock, find a saw, or use brute strength. It's lock level 20. We might be able to use our strength. Uh, if I wonder if I try to unlock... Oh, he's in a he's in a recovery coma currently. I don't think I don't think it did much. Uh, use strength. Do I have to? Oh, here we go. Unlock shackles. Yeah, like maybe maybe I can maybe I can help this dude out. Okay, we're we're gonna fail this a bunch, I think. I don't know if being in stealth right here is like bad or if somebody's gonna get pissed at us. Doesn't appear to be. <gasps> we got it. Okay, well, we took his shackles off. All right. We helped him. 
Now, I will say, as payment, I'm, I'm taking his pants. That's all I'm saying. So... I'm out. I'm out. So that's what I that's what I that's what I'm doing. So but I did him I did him a, a favor. Right? I did him a favor. So we did we did steal his pants. But I mean like that, I think I think it's a free trade. I gave this man his freedom and all he had to pay was pants. Think about that for a second. That's incredible. Like fucking j that's it. Just pants. That's awesome. Okay, well great. So we made a little bit more money. Now, had I known that all of those guys were all not dead, I would have probably done a little bit more. Also, if you're just now joining us, this is the adventure of Brittle. His name is Little Brittle. Uh, he is a... <laughs> he is the adopted son of a United Empire's bigwig army man, whatever, captain. And uh, his dad died recently. He gave him a keepsake katana to remember him by. And uh, that's kind of where we're at right now. And he's kind of just finding his own way. So that's where that's what he's doing. He's he's a small robot. Not completely incapable. Do not be fooled by his name or his stature. But he's uh, he's I mean, he's weird. He's weird. But he's, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see if it ends up being the brittle bus. Yeah, we'll see if it we'll see if it ends up going uh, ends up going in that direction. Now, we are relatively unencumbered currently, but I am curious if we're going to run any bullshit out here because there's a there's a lot of crap. <laughs> There's a lot of crap in this game that can, uh, that can get you. Now... There's also another bar down here, uh, that's, like, worth checking out. You can be a weapon. Absolute weapon. There are training dummies in the ninja tower. They get pissed at you if you, if you hit them. Because they're like, hey, that's not yours. You have to get membership to hit the training dummies. Dustin's over here hit me with that hot tech. We have played Kenshi before. It's been a long time, though. So, like, I'm kind of going at this, like, fresh. Because I've forgotten a shitload of stuff, which is great. Because that actually makes me really, really happy. So. All right. We're going to hit this uh, hit this node up because this is a copper copper node. Uh, and we're going to increase speed here. But I've got to be very careful. Because things things out here in the wild can go south really quick. And we are considerably farther away than we were before. But I'm let Brittle bash the shit out of this. What's this game about? Kenshi is set in like some weird ass like world. Whoa! What the? Wait a minute. Are these those slaves? Oh shit. Do you think they'd be mind? Do you think they would mind if I like tried to lockpick for them? No, no. I don't. I don't want to do that. No, don't try to knock out. I'm I was going to see if, like, maybe you could try to, like, maybe pickpocket their inventory and try to lockpick them. We're two apocalypses deep on a tidal locked moon. There you go. That, that's, a, that's a good word. So Kenshi's kind of like a big-ass sandbox game. And it does... It does have, like, a story. We actually never got to the main story threat. Oh, fuck. What are those? Oh, those are goats. <sighs> okay. Just a pack of goats. Well, those are the slaves from earlier, but I didn't think that they were the ones, like... They're probably gonna pass out... ...from hunger. Check Discord real quick. Okay. Uh, let me tab out, because I think we're- I think we're safe. Maybe not. Let me- let me do this. The goats are fine, what are you talking about? They're okay? Taco Bell commercial 2010, beefy five layer. Got 89 cents. That bitch is 536 now. That is also the DoorDash price, though. But anyway, if you've never seen Kenshi before, dude, you I normally don't say this. I would say stick around for this playthrough because Kenshi gets stupid. Like, I mean, it gets you. There is base building in this game. There's like party management. There's like all kinds of different skills you can level up. There's like trade. You can be a merchant. There's like property ownership. I mean, it's no. Oh, God, it's slavers. Oh, shit. What do they have over there, though? Oh, my God, are they just, like, carrying us? Oh, my God, they... Is that the guy from town? No, we nuded him. Well, there's not much we can do against these guys. I mean, they're heavily armored. There's no way in hell I could take these guys on. 
I don't think I don't think Brittle's gonna be a big fan of slavers. I'm just damn. There's skin takers. There are robots that wear human skin and put it on their face. It's amazing. Truly amazing. We need to get a backpack for Brittle. I think that's like I think that's next up on the on the order of business is getting a backpack because like. Yeah, I'm glad the slaves went the other way. Thank God, because honestly, if the slavers see escape slaves, they basically beat them and just like take them. Oh, trust me, no, no affinity for the United Cities or citizens or whatever or United Cities, because uh, we're pretty sure that dad was probably a slave owner, but we're never we were never quite sure because we were kind of we were kind of kept in hiding. So because brittle brittle was a bit of a shame, but his father, I guess, like wanted it. He, he, he felt he felt, felt the need to save him. But, you know, naturally, it was probably frowned upon to have a son who is a skeleton. OK, uh, I think we're oh, God. Uh, copper resource. OK, there we go. There, oh, yeah, you can just right click it. Oh, man. He, oh, he's chunky now. Uh, actually, we just keep mining. We should have some more. Yeah, we can do we can do a few more rounds. OK. And you may be like, oh, this seems like really boring. Dude, you have to be super, super safe at the beginning of this game. Otherwise, you're dead. <laughs> like, you are dead. <laughs> there is shit out here that can just destroy us, too. Like, with no time, no time at all. There's, like, creatures out here that can just wander and just eat our face. We don't even have a face. Knock our limbs off. It's crazy. So we have to, be, we have to definitely be on the lookout. I'm very grateful that those, uh... Is it permadeath? Oh, oh, hell yeah, it's permadeath. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, it is. Now, the cool thing is, though, you can get your shit rocked and you can knock off damn near every limb on your body, be drained of blood and everything. You can still save somebody. You can put bionic limbs on them. You can augment them. Uh, you know, you can carry around their corpse and use it as a backpack. It's it's nuts. We were the basement slaves that made katanas. God. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Holy shit. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh man, I completely forgot about the goddamn the goddamn basement slaves that made katanas. We didn't have any slaves though. What uh Wait a minute, what the fuck? What is that? Hey, let me let me grab my uh Let me grab my copper and um I want to go check. I want to go check this out. It's like something. Something's over here. What is that? Oh, it's a it's a dead bone dog. What happened to it? What? What killed it though? I mean, we'll we'll loot it, but like. Yeah, what? Oh, maybe it was the... I don't know if it was the Slavers, but they didn't go in that... This is the one sound in the... This is the one song in the game that is so hilariously loud that we were talking about, and I want... I want people to hear it. Because it's a cool song, but for some reason, it is so much louder than everything else, and I have no idea why. Okay, we're moving really slow because we're over encumbered, so we're gonna speed up speed up time here. And uh try to get back uh to the hub. That is our that is our goal. But we do need it we do need to play it safe though, because while we are moving slow, nobody else is gonna be moving this slow at an increased speed. So we gotta we gotta be be very, very watchful here to make sure that we don't uh make sure we don't get screwed here. I might it might actually be worth it might actually be worth selling here uh, just for the sake of it. Because there is there is this bar here that we could sell out. Hey, 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 there's a bunch of gamers in here. Oh, over encumbered for future strength. Let's see, show me your goods. OK, man, he's got all kinds of stuff. They, he also has robo repair kits, but the problem is these robo repair kits are so expensive. So robots the skeletons cannot repair themselves with first aid kits and bandages and shit like that. They have to use skeleton repair kits. They are more durable, but they those things are extremely. Ex oh, God. Sorry, I thought I heard some. Um, they're very durable, but yeah, they they require a lot to, uh, you know, maintain because it is expensive. 
Uh, we can sell this copper for 180 a pop. Uh, I have no way to smelt this currently. Um, so I would say the best thing to do here would be to just dump any of these resources that we have. Um, I don't see any, like, backpack or anything like that that he has. He's got building materials, uh, no backpacks or anything of anything of the sort. We're kind of grinding out money to see if we can join the ninja gang, uh, because there is a, there's a ninja gang in town, and basically, uh, they have, like, resources and stuff. It costs 10,000. What the hell is that? Are those the Hungry Bandits? Oh, shit. They do have a pretty massive penalty, though, because they're hunger. Uh, well, maybe not that much. I'm just afraid to get close to them. I don't know if... I don't know if they're aggressive to Brittle. It doesn't appear to be. They may no they may also not know that they they're here yet. Now, dude, if they, if they see us, we have to, like, haul it into that bar. Because I think, and I think the more people that you're around when you're sneaking, the more your stealth goes up, if I remember correctly. Or something of the sort. I don't remember how it works. I think as long as you're sneaking near people. Damn, our knockout is 40%. That's not bad. Well, joke's on them. We don't have anything except for our weapon, which is... Oh, guy got separated. He is, I mean, he is a bandit. Like, I mean, I don't... I don't care that much, right? Okay. There's also, there's a great, uh, there's a great synthwave album that actually is like very Kenshi as well. We're going to probably listen to that at some point too. Dun dungeon synth, not synthwave. Uh, I don't remember if you get athletics while we're doing this. Um, okay, yeah, so stealth, stealth is going up. Our modifier for it is ass because. Okay, so it seems like maybe. Uh oh, what the fuck? Ah! Oh God, goats. Uh, I'm I'm really I'm afraid of those goats. I'm actually afraid for those goats too because I feel like the the hungry boys might go after them. But you'd think they would, being starving. But. Uh. I guess I guess not. I also don't know if these things are angry. No, they're not. They're just following. They're just following the leader currently. So we're safe there. Um, we could go mine some more copper. I think copper was a uh, copper seems like it was a pretty good source of money because it was what like 180 a pop. It just takes a while, and doing it at night is definitely not ideal. So, but I haven't seen anything else as far as like stuff that we could easily like manipulate or like steal over there. I mean, you know, Brittle, Brittle may not end up being the thieving, thieving McThieverson, but I mean, Brittle got to do what Brittle got to do at this moment. Brittle, Brittle was thrown out of this world with literally a keepsake from their father, and that's it. That's all they've got. They had some food on them for some godforsaken reason. I don't know what in the world. Maybe, I don't know, thinking a home. I have no clue. I don't know how that works. <laughs> Maybe he was thinking a home. Oh, hey, there's a uh, an iron deposit. Yeah, it's iron. Uh, iron does not sell for nearly as much. But, I mean, it is a little bit closer. We could also technically build, like, a campfire. So there's the build menu over here. Uh, which, do you, do you want to talk about this? This shit's crazy. So there's actual buildings. We can do camping, farming, lights, mining. Oh, my God, this stone mine. What does this even cost? It costs three building materials. Stone processor costs six iron plates. Uh... There's a small research bench. There's a little torch post. How much is that? What does that take? That takes that takes a building material. God. Uh, but we do have campfire, which requires nothing, uh, which we could we could use, uh, I think, to light a work area uh, at night. Um, maybe I don't I'm not positive if that actually works, though. But if that's the case, I'm probably going to head back to the copper vein because I feel like the copper it's definitely more worth our time uh, as far as like trying to make money because brittle brittle wants to buy his way into the ninja land because the ninja land would give him some some sense of camaraderie and also access to like fences and stuff in that case and just in case he needs them he doesn't know yet he might need them i don't know you know what i do need though is a hip lantern that's what i need and i can't remember if those exist in this game but by god if there's ever anything in games that i love it's a hip lantern that's why Dragon's Dogma is one of the greatest games of all time. Hip Lanterns. 
Okay, is there anybody anybody over the horizon here? No. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sneak and then run. And but again, I don't think I don't think just sneaking in general. Actually, I think there has to be someone nearby. Yeah, there have to be people nearby to get that. I think. Building materials get real cheap once you have the stone stuff running. Oh yeah, that's like when you have like a base going though. We don't have shit. <laughs> we we have literally nothing. You know where we don't have nothing though? Dollar money's on stream tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We've got 22 subs, which is amazing. Got a new follower tonight. We made $20. Oh god, here comes another loud song. We also made $12.38 in bids, which is per actually that's not true. These are wrong. Some of those are wrong because it's double reporting bids for some reason, and I don't know why. So, uh, never mind. But it's something like that. It was something, something along those lines. But thank you, Dustin, and everybody, and Zach, and Quasar, and everybody for being great. Whoa. Whoa, what is going on over there? Oh, shit. Hang, hang on. Why can, I, why can I not click that? What's happening over here? Oh, it's... Oh, they're part of the they're part of the pack. Oh, okay. There's a is that a little baby bone dog? Oh my god, it's a little baby bone dog that's with that pack. But that appears to be oh they, okay, they are just nomads. Alright. I thought for a second that they were like a like a like a slave band or something like that. I was like, oh god. A lot of, a lot of weird shit walking through this area, isn't there? Big calm mute tomorrow. Oh my god, commute, okay. They got a rad dog. I see that. They do have a rad dog. Do you have a rad dog? Brittle hitting that mine. Gonna get that money. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Ex slave. Starving. Oh. Oh, he's a hungry bandit. But he wasn't. He is an ex slave. But like. Was once a slave of slave traders, but has now escaped. The heat has died down, but he still needs to avoid getting found out. So, like... <gasps> what the hell's happening over here? What is this? Wacky float man! Hungry bandit unconscious? Does he also have shackles? Because I can, like... Ooh. Yeah, we can, we can work on that. No, don't taunt! Oh, my God. I'm stuck. I'm still remembering how to play the game. I'm sorry. Hang on. How do you get like the context menu for like the unlock shackles or whatever? Is it alt? No. He's God. I want to steal his stuff, though, if he's God. Now, the trick is use tools, use strength. OK. Apparently, I can't do it there. Uh. Oh, there it is. You just have the whole right click. Okay, there we go. So we're going to try to unlock it. Wait, can we not? Okay, there we go. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna practice our wow. That, I'm gonna be honest with you, our lock picking is way better than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> like, it was way better than I thought it was gonna be. Um, he is naked. Uh, I wonder if we could do like try like stealth knocking him out and get like maybe I can get that money for that. No. No stealth KO. No. Is it because he's already knocked out? Oh, it's because he's in he's in recovery. OK, we could also pick him up. Uh, and I'm thinking maybe. Oh, I know what we could do since he's in a recovery coma. What we could do while he while he's out, while he's out, of course, I'm not I'm not going to I'm not going to do anything crazy here, but while he's out, we could put some iron on him. And then use him as an iron backpack and take it home. Because we can actually mine with him on our shoulder. Now, I do think we're working at a penalty here. OK, we are. We're working at a 40 percent penalty. Now, if I were to drop. If I were to drop the man. Uh, no, do not forage animals. What, what the hell is that all about? Uh, let's see. OK, let me put him down for a second. He is. He's okay. He's all right. He's not. He's, he's still not dead. He is still very, very definitely unconscious, though. But what I'm thinking is I'm going to mine up a little bit right now. I don't know if my efficiency's down. Oh, my efficiency was the same carrying him. 
Do you think it was because of the... What's what's debuffing it? Uh, copper underground, damage okay, number of workers, max... Oh, so I can just hold on to him. Nice. Okay, yeah, I can just... Yeah, I can just... Uh, yeah, no, we can do this because we're a robot. He's he's strong, right? Okay. All right, so we're going we're gonna to mine this node up. We're going to mine this node up, and uh, then... We're gonna, we're, he's gonna help us because we freed him, right? He had shackles on. That's, that's, this is just a trade. That's all this is. This is just, a, this is a simple, simple exchange. I exchanged his freedom and removed his shackles. And he is going to, uh, he's gonna help us out uh, by carrying uh, copper for us, which is gonna be awesome. Like, it's gonna be really cool. That's gonna be great. Yeah, he'll definitely, but we're gonna tell him. We're gonna tell him, we're gonna tell him, hey, I'm, you're gonna help me carry some of this copper back. It's no big, right? Because like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like it's cool. Oh, as a matter of fact, let me put these. Let me put these things back. And oh, I don't want to put those on his inventory. Uh, let me let me make him heavier though. Yeah, because like if if he does look, I have this feel. If he does try to run away, I mean, we could put the shackles back on, but I don't have them anymore. They 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 got damaged when I removed them. So, all right, cool. This is this is gonna be good. This is good. We got, we got to make money somehow, okay? We're trying we're trying to find our way in this hell blasted world, all right? And all we have is two thousand cats right now. We can't afford anything. Yeah, if we had two thousand dogs on the other hand, that'd be a that'd be a different story. But we're just gonna be we're just gonna be bangalanging ar around to this and just kind of seeing what do. Speaking of bangalang, let me uh let me actually increase the audio here because this is very weird. That this is so quiet. Ambient volume, I definitely want up. Footsteps, up. Sound effects, uh, VO, which I don't even know if there is any VO. Music frequency, I don't know if you can like change it to like 0.5, because I would like it to just play more often, but it doesn't matter, it's fine. The hell is that? Wait, 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 wait. Who is this? That's Bla Bland from the Tech Hunters. I don't know what that means and tech hunters. I can't remember if that's scary or not. Don't tell me. I can't remember if tech hunters like hate robots or something. That is very frightening though. And I don't like that. Okay, it looks like we're, it looks like this is capped. So we need to, I need to select this and I want to, we unfortunately do not have a backpack, uh, but I can, can I open his inventory and then also Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna take I'm just gonna take this stuff and just jam it into my inventory and then we'll transfer it We'll transfer it to his there we go. Okay Okay, so he total weight 22 out of 19 weightless What do you fucking mean weightless? Oh because he's being carried Okay All right, well look we just, get, just keep we keep hacking away, dude. That's free money And when it gets dark, we're gonna build a fire He's not dead. We're not. He well, look, we don't hurt this guy. Okay. We don't hurt it. No, we're not naming him backpack. We're not hurting this dude. He's just helping us out because we took his shackles off. The man was out here in the sun dying. I helped him out. You know what I'm saying? So like, I need his help to get shit back home. So he's going to help me out. And he's doing okay on hunger. He's fine. He barely even has a barely even has a penalty on him. As a matter of fact, he's completely normal right now. Like, he's awake. So he could have left. He could have left. And guess what? He didn't. He didn't. He didn't leave. What the hell? Who is this guy? Oh, it's another dude. Oh, is he also shackled? He is also shackled. We should probably help him. We should probably get those shackles off him. But he's not... He's not gonna let us do that, I don't think. Let me pause this for a second. If I were to sneak on him... Maybe I could, like, try to knock him out and get those shackles off of him. Uh, let me try to... Let me just try to... Let me just try to, let me just try to unlock the shackles. Maybe he'll let us do it. Dude, where you going? Where you going? You idiot! I'm trying to help! Stop resisting! Damn it! Stop, dude, stop resisting! No! 
No, no, no. I'm not trying to fight you. No, it's cool. It's cool. What do you mean I'm under attack? I, I, I didn't do anything. All I did was tr try to knock him out. You stand and fight. I mean, I was just going to run away. Select more specific combat modes. Well, I mean... I'm thinking maybe we should just get our copper and leave. Because that guy, that guy does not say, I'm not doing any violence. All I did was try to get, okay. So I tried to help this man by getting his shackles off. And then he comes at me and starts throwing hands. And that's my fault. That's my fault now. Really? Like, that's my fault. Maybe, maybe we could just end cap this dude. I didn't, I tried to knock him out. I didn't try to fucking kill him. This dude's in a bad spot. And it's because he wouldn't let me do whatever. He wouldn't let me help. He wouldn't let me help. That's all I'm saying. Now, maybe. Maybe if I just. Okay, maybe if we just like punched him a couple times, he'll come to his senses. But I'm going to have to put this dude down, which sucks because that's like he's carrying a lot of shit. Uh, so like. Because he's like, I told him, I said, hang on, let me get them shackles. We tried to do the shackles and he ran away. All right, so here's the deal. I'm going to, oh my God, I am going to drop this man. Okay, I'm going to put him down. I'm going to put him down. All right. As an offering. Uh, and I'm going to, I'm going to go passive for a second here. Oh my God, just passive. Stop. Stop trying to go for him. What are you doing? Why are you so... Okay, fine. Take a swing. That's all you get. Oh! Okay, he's not dead. He's not dead. Everything's chill. All right, he's fine. He's fine. Okay, don't, 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 don't. Stop, stop, stop. Stop trying to kill him. How do I make him stop killing? How do we stop killing? Stop doing that. Stop doing the noodle thing. What, what, stop killing him. I said, in non-combat mode, character will not do... Where... How do I switch back from fucking combat mode? I don't even remember how this... I don't even remember how this goes anymore. Okay, I'm just gonna let me just put him in block mode, I guess, because at this point, I don't I don't remember how to get at combat mode. Oh, there's two of them. No, wait, guys, guys, it wasn't like this. It was ju I was just trying to. You're just a starving man. Just block it. Nice. Is that is that hurting us? Or are they hurting themselves? Okay. Okay, we're not we're not taking any damage currently. So I'm I'm just I'm just gonna let this happen. Because Oh! Oh shit, they're getting us though. Riddle, hold strong. You know you were just trying to help. These he's just he's misunderstood. He's so misunderstood. He never had a chance to socialize correctly. He never did. And this is what happens. This is the this is the thanks he gets. He tries to unlock some shackles. And look at what happens. Okay. Don't don't hurt, don't don't kill him though. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Oh! Okay, don't kill him. You got you got this brittle. Nice. Okay. Use your father's blade. Nice one, Brittle. Oh. Okay, okay, he's down, he's down. Okay. Block it, Brittle. Nice one, nice one. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, he's, he's playing dead. And he is unconscious. Uh, they both have their arms. So they're okay. They're okay. Now, who had the copper? Okay, I'm going to unlock these shackles for you. I'm going to do that. We're going to do this. We're going to do this correctly. It's, what are you doing, you fool? Why would you get back up? I'm just trying to help. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, we'll get a little training in. Okay. Okay. All right, let's let's go to sneak mode. Oh, he's oh, he, it's like he's oh, he thinks he's safe, dude. No, no, don't don't kill him. 
I mean, but also, like, we don't have the skills to just stand here and block. We can't do this forever. Maybe we can. Don't you passively, like, heal as a robot or something? Our parts might, our, like, limbs might get damaged. I have no idea exactly how that works. Uh. Okay, I mean, we can just sit here and block for a little while. I just, I don't want to hurt this guy. So I'm thinking, we're just going to stay in block mode. We're just we're just gonna stay in block mode, and I, and I think it'll be all right because he he really cannot cause enough damage to us to really hurt. So I'm just gonna stay in block because he he really he really ain't hurting us. Brittle, Brittle's okay. He can he can take a few hits. Oh no, his arm! Stop stop punching the katana, dude! What are you doing? Oh, is he is he done? Can I, can I unlock your, can I unlock your shackles now? He's letting me do it! He's letting me do- My man. What? Wait a minute, no, come back! Where are you going? I'm trying to help! Where are you going? Stop resisting! Wait, don't you have my stuff? You son of a bitch. He, that dude punched his arm broken. That's what he did. Oh, now that guy got the noodle arm too. I... Maybe if I just sneak. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. Okay, well, I don't want to attack him anymore, but like... Oh, God, he got the... Oh, my God, he got the easy flow elbow! Well, stop! We can't, don't don't hit him any. Oh oh oh! I guess I guess that's the sneak. I don't know exactly how that worked, but well, no, he got oh, he got flap limb. Oh oh, jeez. Oh man, I just want my copper. Look, you okay? Look, you can go home. Can I just have my copper back? That's all I want. Please don't, don't kill him, Brittle. Okay, he's low on, he's low on blood. He's low on blood. How do I fucking disengage combat? I do not remember how to do this. Uh, there's a way to, like, stop fighting. I don't remember the keybind for it, though. Uh, it's like toggle, it was like toggle, like, combat or some shit. I don't remember how this works, though. Because you can't just put it on passive. Uh... Okay, maybe there isn't. Maybe I've lost my mind. I, I thought that there was a way to stop that. Yeah, Brittle is learning hard lessons today. I feel really bad for Brittle because Brittle only wanted to help. Okay, he's fine. He's good. I don't think I think he's fine, right? He's just unconscious. He's just unconscious. Okay, so what I'm gonna do so I know which one had my uh has the stuff. I'm gonna take these off. Okay? And I do think I need a little bit more iron. So I'm gonna pick him up and we're gonna get him, we're gonna get this guy fixed. Now his friend, I, I can't carry two people. Um, but I think he's probably fine too. Yeah, he's fine. He's just in a recovery coma. He's fine. Now his head is broken, uh, but we're, we can fix this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the last few pieces of copper that we need. Did I get, we got it, we did get his shackles, we did. So we helped him out. We're gonna leave him be. Uh, we're gonna leave him, we're gonna leave him be. Uh, but we do need to get this last bit of copper. And, uh... Wait, the other dude's shackles? No, no, we got it. No, I think we... Oh, shit. Maybe we didn't. Damn. Uh, well... Fuck. I mean, it's fine. Cause I'm, I'm we gonna put we gonna put this copper into his skin butt, which is which is the best which is the best place for it. It's a good it's a good place it's a good place to have it. Now it does appear like sun is setting, uh, so really quick before we do anything else, I need to build a campfire because I need I need the light. So we're gonna build a we're gonna wait did that just like interrupt everything. We're gonna build a campfire, and uh, that way that way it can stay lit. Oh, nice. That just built. That's just great. Okay, so now this this can stay lit, so we can continue working at night. Now I do want to keep an eye on his friend who's he's dying. 
Um, shit. Do you think if we take them to the bar... I don't know. Okay, this dude's probably fine. Is he... Is he, like, bleeding out, like, currently? Yes. Okay. Well, was there anything left in this? Oh, here it comes. The loudest song who ever lived. Okay, so what all I'm, all I'm going to do, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this copper, put it on his butt, and I'm going to try to get these guys to safety. The bar is pretty close. I don't know if I can get his friend. And this is there for all I wanted to do was get rid of his shackles, and then he, like, did that. And I can't stop that. I can't stop these people from just, like, they, they're just hitting me. No, I didn't do the mod. But you hear how insane it is? God. I only needed it, one, like, one night. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna drop this dude, like, right here so that they don't think anything weird is going on. Because nothing... Woo! Because nothing weird's happened. Um... But I do need all of this. As much as much as I can. Okay, that's all I can carry for right now. I'm gonna go vendor this really quick. Welcome. Come and browse. Oh, do you? Okay, let's do business. Do you have any med kits by chance? For humans? I don't have any. Do you do you have any? He does have basic first aid kits, and they're actually pretty cheap. He also has fish. How much is the fish? The fish is really expensive. So I'm not doing that. However, the food cubes exp all of this shit's expensive. I can't waste my heart. Okay. Okay. Here here's the deal. I'm going to sell the copper, okay? I'm going to make the money. I am going to buy them a rice. That's too expensive. That is way too much. Uh I don't know. Okay, I don't know if I can do anything about their, their food situation. But I do think I can save them. Okay, so first and foremost... Oh. <gasps> Why did he lose his arms? What happened? I can't fix that. Oh, God. Hurry, first aid him. He lost arms? How'd that happen? Did his arms just blow up? It's cool. We can fix him. We didn't. But I will say, in our defense, we tried. Now this guy, okay, they attacked us. All right. Brittle, Brittle is not socially acclimated. Yes, he died because he decided that he was going to punch a robot 50 times. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to grab the rest of the ore. I'm, I'm going back for it. He's not going anywhere. He's dead. Is this dude dead? Son of a bitch. How does everybody keep... Oh, I can unlock those shackles now, though. I could do that, though. I could do that. I could do I could do that, though. I could definitely get rid of those shackles for him, though. That's, that, that's happening. One day. One day. One day, at least in death, he could be free. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Can we still use him as a backpack? Uh, technically, yes. But I like I prefer living backpacks because I feel like um, it adds to the thrill. But also, it's like they're doing me a favor, and I did them a favor because I was trying to like you know do them a favor. Look, all I'm saying is, like, these guys, they, they blew it. Like, they completely blew it. They had it made. They were, they were, they were good to go, and they decided... They decided to punch a robot with their bare hands on, on a blade, of all things. Like, they, they punched a blade, repeatedly. All because, oh, what's that? Some stupid shit where they were like, oh, I gotta, I gotta do this because of honor. I, I don't, I, I don't know, man. I don't know what humans think. I don't know what I don't know what they're thinking at any given moment. I have no I have no idea. So I don't know. The fact that neither of them had a backpack is also very concerning. But 
I believe he also had an arm. He did. He has an arm. What do you mean you can't pick that up? What do you mean you can't pick up the legs? Oh, we don't have the space. Okay. That's fair enough. Do you think this guy wants arm? Okay. Let me sell all of this garbage. Okay. First aid kits. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep one on me. I'll sell this one back to him. I'm keeping one on me. Uh, do you by chance take arm? As a, as a form of currency? Do you, uh, oh, okay, uh, hey, oh, well, you, you can open that back up, I, that's a little frightening. Do you, do you, excuse me, sir, do you, do you accept arm? They don't. Uh, well, he, he does, but he doesn't, you know what I'm saying? So, like, he does, but he doesn't. So, what I'm thinking is I'm probably, I would assume, since that is not worth anything, I'm just going to kind of, I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to kind of stack these down here for now. Uh, just, just for, just to, just to keep them, just to keep them somewhere uh, safe. So, uh, I'm going to go, I'm so sorry, guys. It never was supposed to be like this. I apologize. Just for anybody that might need them. Cause like somebody somebody could have used those. And like I I, mean, I can't I can't use them personally, but like somebody could use those. Now, how's our condition looking? Did we did we auto repair? We did our chest is like a little damaged, but it looks like we auto repaired the rest of it, I guess, because we just recovered. Um nothing to really do with that corpse over there. So I'm I'm just gonna mine I'm just gonna mine again. Cause I feel like I feel like this is this is this is good money. So it's, it is it is a little sad. You know what? Next time, next time, if that happens, if a uh, if a person that we're trying to help gets a wild hair to punch us, even after we told them what we were doing, uh, I would say let's unequip the katana and uh, just block, and maybe we can maybe we can level up our block a little bit, and also it would prevent them hopefully from breaking all of their limbs. What the hell is that? Ah! Who is it? Escaped servants. Hungry. Oh. Well, they're, they're, they're probably, they're probably chill. What about these guys? Oh, slave mongers. Oh. Uh, you guys, you guys might want to run but it doesn't seem like they are going after each other. Um, that bone dog is going to eat him. Oh. Oh. The circle of life. And it moves us so through skin and dog till we find our way on the path unwinding. Well, that's a, uh, that's a, damn. I do have to say, though, that means those people just left their bone dog. Do you think we could recruit the bone dog? Maybe we could befriend the bone dog. Is there an option for befriending the bone dog? I doubt it. There's like no way in hell that that's actually an option for bone dog. Oh, do you? Kenshi does not give a fuck. <laughs> like Kenshi does not give a shit. I'm pretty sure we watched a bone dog like eat one of our party members. Like I'm, I'm pretty like Kenshi does not. He does not care. Can I eat the bone dog? No, I cannot eat the bone dog, but uh, I can. We, I mean, we could kill it, but I'm not going to kill the bone dog. Brittle's not, Brittle's not just going to kill a bone dog. Brittle ain't, Brittle ain't going to do that. I, well, I, the only way I could befriend him is if I had meat, and unfortunately, I don't have meat. <gasps> oh my god, we had a leg! Wait a minute! Maybe Brittle... Wait right there! Wait right there, hang on! Hang on! I, there, I got, I got, no, go, go, go! No, no, stop doing that! No, no job, go! We could offer him, we could offer him a leg! And maybe he'd eat it! 
What do you mean I can't tame wild animals? I just want to offer. I just want to offer the meat. Look at that. That's good meat. Hang on a second. Do you guys mind if I take these back? Thank you. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go back out here. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can offer him. The bone dog is owned. He's not wild. So maybe maybe we can sway him to our cause. Okay. So let's head let's head up. Uh. Follow, bodyguard, attack unprovoked. Ah! Wait, no, 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 come back! Hang on, I have a... Hang on! I have a leg! You want this leg? How am I, how am I gonna give him this leg? Bone dog! <laughs> Who wants it? <gasps> there he is, he's coming! He wants it, he loves it! He's loving it! We got it, look at him! Not Get back here with that! You, you can't take the leg and run! Where are you going? You get back here with that. You can't just take the, the leg and leave. Well. There you go. There he goes. Where, where's he going? Well, I mean, I should probably just, I should probably just let him have it. Well, you know, I mean, I would like everyone to understand what's happened so far, okay? This is why I love this goddamn game. Within an hour, okay? Within like an hour, we have already gotten into a battle with escaped slaves because we tried to help them by unshackling them and they, they took that as, a, as a, an affront. Then a bone dog showed up and ate his corpse and we said, why don't we go grab the limbs from the other guy in a, in a, in a pitch to maybe have the bone dog join our cause. And then the bone dog took the leg and ran away like a real ass dog would. He was like, nice, see you later. And then he left. He's free, he's gone. So I mean, oh, was it the arm? Oh, excuse me. I thought, I thought over here that he grabbed the leg. That man just stole from us. And God, I wish I had a backpack so I could flipping flippity dippity makes some copper garbage or whatever. My efficiency is so bad, despite my laboring being like better than it was. But then again, I have no idea. I have no idea like what I have no idea what my labor actually is currently. Laboring is 23, which is pretty good. I don't remember what these cap out at. Oh, you oh, you capped. Damn. <laughs> Are you capping, bro? <laughs> I thought he had the leg, but it's cool. There's probably a clip of it, I would imagine. Maybe it'll be like RE4 dog, and he'll come out to help when you fight a giant. Call me crazy, but I don't think that's happening. I, I don't think I don't think that's happening. And uh, I, ju I just I just don't I don't think so. Is there any uh, is there anywhere nearby? Do you think Squin? Do you think Squin has a forge that we could borrow? Probably not, right? Squin probably does not have a forge. We could build our own forge, but we'd have to steal building materials, which would be like that's, that'd be like its own nightmare. And I don't really know if Brittle's ready to set up shop anywhere. Brittle's just trying to Brittle's just trying to make some damn money, dude. Like and it's it's hard out there. Copper's copper's like the only thing we got right now that's like good money that we can kind of work with. Now this place is a big thoroughfare for bullshit. Oh, there's a wandering assassin from the Shinobi Thieves. I sure hope he's not coming for us. Uh, oh. Okay, he's just, he's just wandering currently. What was that sound I just heard? You don't, you don't think he's coming over here, do you? Do you think someone would have put a hit out on Brit? Nah, I know what. Oh! I come too far to die, a girl's gotta eat. What? What the shit is happening? These people just walking by. What is this? What is it? We have to help them. But that's so many of them. I, we uh, we have to help. Okay, uh, how's he doing? He has a bucket on his head. He's in self-preservation mode currently. I mean, we we have to help, right? Chat. What do we do? Do we help? Quick poll. One minute. Help the man. Or no. Or woman. I'm actually not sure I didn't catch. 
I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a rapid fire poll because I gotta check I gotta check Discord anyway. You're gonna, you're gonna get a nice pan here because I just like tabbed out of this. All right, quick poll. I got it. Help. Ye. Knee. All right, you've got you've got a minute. You got a minute. Wait, was that a prediction? That was that was the wrong thing. I apologize. Hang on, don't predict on that. Dismiss and cancel. That was <laughs> that was that. This is deleted. Your points are going back to you. Don't worry about it. All ten of them. This is why this is why I should have just this is, I'm just gonna let the mods do it. I'm just gonna let the mods do it because there we go. I do but we gotta decide if Brittle's gonna help, man. Damn. D, that's those came out. Those came out good. Can you do me a solid and can you send that to Erica? Because I wanna hear I wanna hear the yell from the other room. Just say I just if you just shoot that to her really quick. I just wanna hear that that that's gonna be a good Gauge. Just shoot that over really quick. The question is, would Brittle help them? Me personally? Me personally, I would say yes, because Brittle is like trying to get in with the Shinobi Thieves. Um, I don't know where the poll is. Did somebody do a poll? Oh, nobody did a poll. Oh, I, I, I think the mods are dead. All right. So let's see. Uh, Help. And then Yi or Ni. No additional votes. Duration's one minute. Go vote. Do we help the Shinobi assassin against these escaped slaves? Or do we just wait until they're dead and then steal everything? Because ye or ni. Because there, there's positives to both of these. There's positives to both of these. Damn. There are, there are positives. Because if we, if we wait it out, if we wait it out, we get to loot them and they have some pretty good stuff. Which I'm sure Brittle could use. If we, if we just, if we just help them though, I don't know, dude, this is a tricky one. There's the, there's the, there's the poll. Go vote. This is just chat's decision as to whether or not I help this person. Your decision. I love that I just went for the role play answer. What are you talking about? Oh, what, what do you, do you feel like, do you feel like yes? Wait, is that the role play for you? You think like you go for it? Because because they're trying to join. I mean, that is that is a faction that we're trying to join. OK, so it looks like the answer is yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Pank. Absolutely. All right. Looks like we're helping, uh, which might be dangerous for Brittle because these guys do have weapons. So this is this is scary. Uh, we may have to run, but Brittle's going in. Good luck, Brittle. Try to take out. Try to take out one back. Uh, oh, shit. What do you mean attack unprovoked? What are you fucking talking about? All right. I just have to make sure I don't hit the Shinobi. 30 damage? Oh! Oh, that's rough. Oh! Where are you going? Bro, I'm helping you. What is this shit? Oh my God. I I'm getting out of here, man. Oh, I gotta I got go. Like, I'm getting beat up, dude. Dude, you fucking left me, you asshole. Is he bleeding at all? He is bleeding. We just need to kite him for a while. Holy shit, man. Thanks so much, Buckethead. I really appreciate it. Oh, fuck me. Wait, where the... What the fuck is going on? No! Oh, dude, this is, like, actually dangerous. Br Brittle is taking so much damage to their chest. Yeah, no, the slavers came flying in, stealing their, stealing the boys. No! Can you fucking help? Oh my god. So much for helping being the right call. They're not even injured. They're not even injured. I could, I should have just waited. Oh my god. Oh, oh! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh damn, oh they getting him! Wow. Well. No, if I had attacked Buckethead, we would have been in serious trouble. Okay, so this dude was committing crime, quote unquote. Uh, we are unfortunately injured and we have nothing to stop this. We do not have we do not have the money to buy a repair kit. Uh, I don't know what happens if we lose out on our chest they do have a shit weapon uh that's worth like nothing um they also have the shit armor and they also have like shit pants i guess i 
I slump down and die slowly. Well. He's definitely not... Oh, she's definitely not going to die. Uh, but they were definitely... Be Actually, they might. Um... I would go give them to the slavers, but like, I mean, that's pretty fucked up. So I'm going to leave them here. Uh, thought you could get away, sleep it off. You'll be fit. And I need you fit and healthy for tomorrow. Maybe we should. Yeah, I don't think I could do any repairs on myself, though. Can I? Yeah, I don't have a repair kit right now. Fuck. Oh, my God. We might have to sell dad's katana just to get a repair kit and hang in there. Son of a bitch. That's not good. Oh, yeah. What's up? Let me fucking solo her. D Thank you so much, by the way. Welcome, friend. Yeah. Welcome, indeed. Fucking wandering assassin over here. Didn't take, like, any damage. Unbelievable. This is out of control. All right, I'm going to sell our ore, these pants, the stupid, this stupid armor, which is worth. Well, technically, we should be wearing some armor, like even if it's just like crap, because I mean, yeah, we took so much damage to our chest. Uh, unfortunately, we still do not have enough money to buy a robo repair kit. And anyway, the robo repair kit was all the way back in town anyway. But I'm thinking if we want to fix ourselves, we're going to have to sell dad's prize katana. Because, unfortunately, we tried to help someone, and that didn't pay off at all. Like, at all. That was just the worst situation. Oh, shit. Dude, if I didn't have... If I didn't have a stat penalty... Oh, man. He was, he was, okay, so Brittle was found in the desert near death, and uh, his father saved him. Really, really upset uh, by this that's happening over here. Um, and I mean, like, the, ch I don't know what my, like, knockout chance is. <laughs> Zero is what it is. Uh, if we attack them, I don't know if the Shinobi gang is, like, I don't know if the Shinobi gang is going to like come after us. God, if our chest wasn't so damaged, I would go after him. Oh, what do you guys think? There's, there's really nothing. There's really nothing I can do. Really nothing I can do here. He's also got, oh, he's got backup up the wazoo. Holy shit. What if I, what if I just grabbed them? I mean, I mean, it sucks, but like, I, I can't, Brittle can't do anything. And honestly, they're the reasons that, there's a reason, there's the reason Brittle took damage in the first place. Also, I think our chest is getting slowly better. I don't know if like resting would actually fix this. Uh, it might. No, I, I think I, that's not how the robots work. So like, I don't think like resting in a bed is going to do fucking anything. Um, but here's the problem. If I try, if I try picking, yeah, we have to be in a robot bed. That's right. If we try picking them up, though, like, I'm pretty sure they get pissed. Who the hell is this? Is that person, like, already, like, in servitude? The, what, oh, my God. What is happening over here, dude? They took the whole gang out. Yep, there they go. Wow. Well, fuck all those dudes. What a bunch of shits. And we are definitely, we are definitely not in the best position over here either. Our chest is recovering, but we will definitely need a repair kit to get back to, uh, to get back to normal. Because it looks like it's, uh, 35. It's slowly getting worse. Your stats will be negatively affected. Okay. Well, we need to, we need to definitely figure out, we need to figure out what to do here. As far as, uh, as far as <laughs> saving ourselves currently, because that obviously went very poorly for us. This just inspires Brittle to become stronger and take out the slavers. Oh, Brittle's pissed. Brittle's pissed because all of that went down and it was so poor. Not only did we get our chest caved in by some asshole. Then on top of that, the slavers came in and just like decided, I guess, that they were going to 
take all of those people, which, I mean, frankly, like, they probably deserved it, but not slavers. Never the slavers. The slavers are assholes, so. <sighs> How much was it to get that thing? It was like 10 grand. And I'm pretty sure the robot repair kit with, I mean, he didn't, he didn't even sell it anymore. Oh, shit. Who the hell even had that? That's not good. I don't think there are two bars. I don't think there are two bars in this town. Oh, shit. It's not good. Well, I guess, uh, I guess somebody bought the... I guess somebody bought the repair kit. Yeah, who got, who got a robot bed up in this bitch? I don't know if anybody in here has one. Uh, we could try making the journey up to, uh, Squin. Um... To see if there's like anything up there that there's anything down there that might be worth doing. So even if we wanted to get a repair kit, we couldn't get it anyway. Damn, poor Brittle. Brittle went in for like the save to try to help, and just like they just got royally fucked for it. <laughs> like they got they got royally fucked for it. And I feel I feel so bad for them. I know I don't have a repair kit. I, I feel so stupid. I don't, I don't remember what type of town Squint is, but I feel like we probably need to go. I mean, we need to track down a repair kit. And I don't know if I don't know if Squint, I don't know if I don't know if Squint is friendly to robots. I have no clue. I can't tell if this is getting better. This it's going up. But I think if we don't like address it, then we're just going to end up with like a penalty on it until we do address it. So like I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that's how this works. We just have to be really careful running through like these areas, though. There's also a mining thing here. We could stop and mine for a little bit while we. I, that might be worth it. Like maybe like mine for a little while while we would get like repaired up. Cause it's a it's a copper resource, so I mean like we we could. You definitely. Mine. I'm sure our efficiency sucks. Oh, no, our max efficiency is forty percent anyway. So. That's what Brittle's gonna do. Brittle's gonna sit out here and mine for a little bit while their while their chest recuperates to some extent. Hey man, it levels up their laboring, which that's good. Yeah, it's definitely going up. I think it's just going to have like a little bit of a debuff on it. Uh, so we will need to find some way to repair ourselves. We should have bought the repair kit earlier, but we would have had to sell our katana and that still wouldn't have been enough. So we would have had to have lose, lost dad's keepsake katana. And again, still would not have been still would not have been enough. But I have a feeling we're gonna lose the katana at some point anyway. Like something, something just tells me that the way, the way of the fist is where Brittle's life is going, which is a hard road for a while. The great chest rests of smashing rocks. He's a robot. He's fine. Brittle's okay. He's got it. I mean, this is taking an eternity, but you know, I'm not gonna. Brittle can't resort to criminal activity. Brittle's a good boy. For now, but you know, shit, shit's hard out here on the rim. So you never know what you never know what's gonna happen, man. Also, just since we're uh, since we're here while we're mining, uh, I have decided that I think I am done with Twitter. Uh, I'm gonna leave it open for like DMs and stuff from like indie devs that send messages there, but I think I'm gonna stop posting there. I really, really do not like that platform. In the meantime, though, I'm gonna try out Blue Sky. You can actually uh, follow over there if you want to try that. And if that's not your jam, you want to try out like threads, I'm going to try that too. So if, uh, there you go. Pussy in bio. What? Oh, it might, it, it, it's time to switch the soundtrack on YouTube. I, I, I got, I got, people got to hear this offensive track. So there you go. You've now, you've now heard it. Also, thank you, Dustin, for the three dollars and the five dollars and all the things that have happened. I do appreciate it. Thank you for being a free. Thank you for being a free. Uh, I forgot what I was going to do. Oh, yeah. Kenji full soundtracks. Whatever. I don't actually know if the. Uh... I don't know if they, maybe they have one that's like not. Bucky. Who knows? I'm just gonna leave it on loop. There are a massive wave of bots on Twitter all saying things like that. Wow, that's really weird. That's weird. That was not why I decided to whatever. Okay. 
All right, we're gonna keep uh, we're gonna keep mining. This is also kind of dangerous because like we're out here in the middle of nowhere, and uh, we're gonna be really heavy from carrying all this copper. I'm gonna be so full of copper. Yum. Brittle had a pickaxe. They were ready to go. Oh, hey, look who it is! It's the fucking slavers again. God, there's a lot of them, dude. There's a there's definitely gonna be a vengeance chronicle against these assholes because realistically, when you look at it. It's their fault that our chest got caved in. Because they were pe they were like people who they were they enslaved those other people in the first place. So really, it's their fault. So that's all I'm saying. That whole thing is completely their fault. Because if those people hadn't been enslaved in the first place, I wouldn't have had to help them and free them. So like, you know what I'm saying? What do you mean working in darkness? There's there's light right here. You dumb dumb. It's not slowly getting worse. It's slowly getting better. My chest is my chest is pretty fucked up. It might slowly get worse. Uh, I don't think it's going to heal to full because I think it's going to end up being I think it's going to have this debuff basically until I repair. Yeah, I was about to say, when did fucking Elon doo -doo, doo doo diaper fucking ever, ever lie about anything? When did he ever not deliver? Oh, damn, our labor's up to 24. Do you see how much faster we started going? Yeah, it is, it is slowly degrading. So, like, it, it healed back up to full, but now it's going to slowly deteriorate. So we will, we will definitely need to, uh, we'll definitely need to get a, a repair thing at some point. Should have brought a skin, a skin man over here to help us out. Maybe one of those bodies. Uh, we could fit two more copper, but we already are very heavy. So the run to Squin might be a little dangerous. If Brittle dies and we have other people in the squad, does the story go on? Yeah, definitely. It will change. Uh, now, if Brittle dies like night one and we have nobody else, we're probably just going to restart. Because uh, that's just how Kenji goes sometimes. Okay, so two more copper, and then we can then we can jet. We have gotten I mean, we've gotten decent labor skills, so it's not like we've been. That's the cool thing about Kenshi is I feel like kind of like some of the older like Elder Scrolls games. I feel like everything you do kind of has like a purpose, which is nice. Um, it's nice to see like progression uh, at all. I think that that's I think that that's interesting just from even like minor things like that. Okay, so our chest is definitely going down for sure. Good old Kenji soundtrack. I fucking love this game, dude. All right, so we're going to, we're running all the way to Squin. We're leaving behind any safety, any safety that we had in those cities and we're heading to Squin and we're gonna hope, we're gonna hope that they're, they're friendly and maybe that we can find a repair kit somewhere that might drive Brittle to thievery. You got this, Brittle. On your journey. Brittle journey. No, this is Kenshi's this is Kenshi's main soundtrack. Also, thank you guys again for the 22 subs and the $20 and the question mark amount of bits, because that got like doubled, I think. So I think that was like actually $14 in bits. I'm not really sure. Either way, thank you guys so much for the support. I hope you guys are enjoying enjoying the Kenshi. I've been very excited to get back to this, so I hope you guys are having fun and excited and all that all that junk. I'm just trying to keep an eye out for anything in the distance that might want to eat us. Because if there is anything, we might want to dump all of our shit and just run. And, and just run. Well, it took me a long time to like come up with the character I wanted to do because like I didn't want it to be like too similar to like Peggy and also too close to Peggy because then I feel like I probably would end up doing the same thing So, And Peggy ended up being kind of unique in like the way that their whole thing worked out. So I would imagine that Brittle's journey, no matter what I plan, is going to be different in some way than what I expected in the first place. So yada yada. There you go. Guys, a hell of a run, dude. <gasps> I see it in the distance. We made it. All we got, all we got to do is physically get there now. There's all these like ruined parts and shit all over the place. 
Maybe I will. Maybe I will just change my name to Brittle Boots once I'm uh, once I'm old and still doing this. I'll I will just become the Brittle Boots. You got this, Brittle. Your chest is minorly caved in, but it did heal up for the most part, so you're all right. You are also encumbered to shit, which is okay because you're leveling up your strength, I think. I believe they're leveling up strength. Uh, they're, they're damn sure leveling up athletics. And yes, they are. They are leveling up strength. Okay, cool. So good. That's definitely definitely worth definitely worth doing. And there appears to be no dangers on the road to Squin, at least. So as long as there's no actual dangers in Squin, because I have a feeling there might be. They may just not be friendly to robots, and they may just throw me into fucking slavery immediately. We really don't have a lot of options, though. We, we do not have a lot of options. We come bearing gifts of copper. Uh, but I don't know if there's... Uh, there might be a forge in... Squ what the hell was that? Was that a, was that a trans... Was that a transaction that just happened? What was that? Now, if we do get, like, a weird, like, bugged out death or something like that, if something weird happens and, like, Brittle dies from, like, some shit that does not make any sense, of course we'll reload. That's, like, we're not going to be safe scumming, but if, like, some weird shit happens that doesn't seem, like, correct, uh, we'll just reload. Cats won't buy your power here, Desert Crawler. What? You, Tin Man, bag check. Smuggling check, remove your effects, Tin Man. Uh, how about we forget the check for 2,000... Uh, I guess we can show them our gear. We don't have anything, uh, stolen. Go? Like, like, leave? Or, like, go in? Are we chill? And they call Brittle Tin Man! Well, we, we got in, we got in, we're in to squim. That, that's pretty cool. No city has a forge, are you fucking serious? How stupid is that? What a stupid, stupid that is. There's a weapon shop up there. We we mainly need we need a we need repair kits because uh, I also don't think we're gonna have access to. This is how slow we are currently, by the way, from all that copper we're carrying. I still can't believe how insane this has been already. And all we did was hang out outside one city, and as the world just cascaded into oblivion before us, with like people getting thrown into slavery, getting our chest caved in because we tried to help somebody. It's been some bullshit already. Like they already they already fucked us up something solid. All right, what you got? What you got, man? Need something? <sighs> okay, no robot repair kits here either. Uh, so that's not good. There is a wanted thing for the red bandit for ten thousand ten ten thousand money, which is pretty good. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sell our copper though because we do need we do need that money. Which, with that copper that we just sold, I feel like we, we do have enough to get a robot repair kit if, if we can find one. Uh, I, that, that's gonna be the big, that's gonna be the big if, though, is if, if we can actually find one. Okay, so we have some shops over here. We got armor. We have, uh, we have weapons. Goddamn, brittle, brittle hauling it. Holy crap. Okay, so what's, uh, what's in here? Also, if I make like a, a hor horrible misclick or something like that, we'll probably also reload. Like if I do, if I accidentally do something I wasn't supposed to do, unless it's funny as shit. In that case, we're just gonna stick with it. Okay, so lots of uh, lots of weapons as we expected. Um, kind of makes me wonder if like I don't think our lock picking is high enough. Maybe maybe we could relieve them of some of their goods in the evening. We could relieve them to some of the uh, some of the goods in the evening. The armor I do want to check out though, because like we, I wouldn't mind some kind of chest piece. Wait a minute, what is this? Okay, Sh show me thine goods. Because okay, so they've got like high grade samurai armor and all this shit. Unfortunately, it's very expensive, like crazy, crazy expensive. So. Uh, some of this stuff is a little bit cheaper, like the Drifter's Leather Jacket, but it has, like, no protection for arms, really. Um, there is the... I don't, I can't, I don't know if, like, the ninjas would give us, like... Maybe, maybe they would give us, like, some kind of... Wow, the leather vest covers our stomach and chest, but doesn't do shit for our arms. 
uh, which is not the worst. They also have a repair kit, but it's four thousand three hundred and forty one dollars. Cats, I'm sorry, let's stay in the zone auto zone. I do wonder just by just by chance, maybe where they keep that. I do wonder I, I, this is oh shit, OK. We're going to call this one brittle check because I, I can't remember if you click on a box if you can see what's in it uh, without them being like, you're stealing. Well, I can't do that, obviously, because those are locked. Look, I'm just seeing if maybe that repair kit somehow ended up on a shelf somewhere because we're hurting. Cause we're, we're hurting pretty bad. And uh, at this point, wait. Isn't that a heavy armor? Oh, never mind. I was going to say this isn't even the this isn't even the thing I was thinking of. There's a large basket over here. I'm just browsing. I'm just browsing the wares. Yeah, so they've got like they got like armor all over the place here, as 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 they should. They've also got storage boxes, I think, over here. You're hurting for a squirting of oil. Please lubricate my joints. Hey, building materials. That's nice. Uh, what else they got over here? They got weapon, little weapon bench. They got these barrels over here. Which just have boots. Boots and also pants. Some pants. I would assume that most of his high dollar items... Uh, most of his high dollar items are locked back there. And I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't have faith in Brittle's sneak ability to pull this off. Uh, I don't think... I don't think the Brittle could do it. Like, they, they've, been, they've been sneaking around a little bit. They've been leveling that up some. But not enough. <laughs> not enough, as you can see, they're watching us right now. How much? How? What is the rate that this grows at? Pretty good when you walk through town. I mean, that's not like. <laughs> only problem is our racial bonus just fucks us up. Just it just fucks us up. And I also don't know if it works if you're just like walking past people and you're just like whatever. <laughs> you're just like whatever. One of these days, Brittle, Brittle's going to get better at sneaking. It's definitely something that they need to work on, because I mean, like, at this point, yeah, I mean, like, that's that's, that's obviously not great. We could go upstairs. <gasps> well, it was working, so I guess there's like some people who are low key hostile towards the robots here. But I'm glad I'm glad we didn't get like uh, I'm glad we didn't get like robot prejudice everywhere. That's that's nice. I mean, I did get called Tin Man as I walked in, which is pretty fucked up, but. Oh, they got a rusty chainmail uh, taggle must. There's also some pants. Drifter's leather pants, which protect against acid and also are worth jack nothing. There is, however, uh, a leather pant blueprint and. We could we could sneak it. I just don't know. Our stealing chance is only 47, but we also aren't in direct line of sight. We could definitely use the money for sure. Brittle, Brittle's getting a little desperate because we really need we really need that repair kit. What do you guys think? They see through the walls. Oh, that's that's right. They do, don't they? That's not good. Those bastards. We need I guess I guess we just need to wait until we have 100 percent steal chance and also might need to be night. Fucking supervision assholes. I just don't want to buy the repair kit. It's so much money. They can, they can smell your thievery. Oh, there's the, the backpack store. Oh shit, that might be worth it. The backpack could enable us to carry more goods and sell more goods and maybe get into the ninja brigade. Hello, backpack man. Let me sample your wares. Oh, we got large pack, large pack, large pack. Well, this music, this music really going. The Ken Kenji soundtrack just not holding back tonight. He go. Okay, so they have food rations, splint kits. They also have robo repair kits here. Um, the backpack is huge. Don't even think about fighting with this on your back. Oh, God, I forgot about the penalty. Oh, buddy. The medium pack, medium pack's not as bad. Oh my god, no, it's terrible. 
Large backpack feels like, uh, feels like I should... There's also the Thieves backpack, which is pretty cheap. It's only... 3,000. Oh my god. God, that's so expensive. That's just so spancy. I don't know. I don't know about a five finger discount. I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure. I feel like it's. I feel like it's, that's definitely. It's like a little bit of a gamble. It depends. Okay, there's, there's a splint kit. There's the scrap tent uh, blueprint. I would imagine any of the any of the more expensive stuff is either going to be up on this shelf over here or probably locked in those chests. Ears, wooden bowl, building materials. And he's got the first aid kit out here, but he doesn't have the damn robo repair kit. Come on, man, you couldn't like, you couldn't like just hook me up. Ah! Oh, that's right, you have to hold down alt. <laughs> the, no, I don't think any of these have the robot repair kit out. Holy crap, they don't. Oh, is that just a roll of cats? Oh, right, you can just, you can just highlight. That's right, I totally forgot you can do this. Okay, so, no, none of the, uh, none of this stuff. Unfortunately. But, I mean, it's got to be in here somewhere. I do wonder, like, if Brittle would attempted to maybe do this at night, if they could maybe have better luck or something. I don't know. I got arrows and stuff stocked up here. I think it's really cool, too, that most, like, pretty much all the inventory is actually in, like, the house itself or, like, wherever the, like, location is. I think that's really, really interesting. I'd be really careful that I don't get stuck in here, too, because, like, they'll be like, you're trespassing. I'm like, what are you talking about? I was trespassing. I'm just here. I'm just here living. Yeah, nothing as far as, uh, nothing as far as all this stuff goes. It is almost nighttime, so I think I need to get out. And, I mean, we can get, we can give it a go. We can try, like, sneaking in here. But, like, Brittle, Brittle's making a huge, huge gamble by doing that. I'm just browsing your ass. Like, dude, you were absolutely casing the joint. He's like, I am just browsing your ass. Your ass. Dude, the food I ate earlier was so disappointing. I might, I might risk the bell again. Wow, they have a lot of stuff just sitting out. Um... The cover of nightfall is ours. Because yeah, they'll they'll lock up shop here soon. Okay, so there they go. They locked up shop. Uh, pretty low chance of being picked. But I also don't know. It's it, it says there's no prying eyes, right? So when it's blue, that means no one can see you currently, right? Am I correct on this? Oh! I didn't commit a crime. Are we cool? Or is there something I pissed? I just kind of, I just kind of bonked on, I just bonked on that door a little bit. That's all, I, that's all I did. Just a little bonk. I think we're cool. Let me, I'm gonna try to pick this lock. I think we're cool. Oh, <gasps> oh my God, dude, brittle going, brittle going. They're not even good at this. They suck at this, as a matter of fact. Okay. Open the door, Brittle. Go in slow. Low and slow, low and slow. Low and slow. All right. Shut the door behind you. Nice one. Okay, Brittle. Stay smooth, stay smooth. We know, okay, we know for a fact that it's not in any of the regular containers. We know that know that that it has to be in one of these we have a zero percent chance to pick that 59 percent on this wooden chest oh we're in the light oh shit turn off that light turn off that fucking light i guess i can't fuck oh man that's a lot of that's a lot of aid kids now, I don't know, I don't remember if, like, 47% basically means, like, what happens if I try to pick a lock with zero? You just, you just don't. You do not. 
You just do not. Okay. But here's the thing. I don't know what happens at the 47% chance to steal. I don't know, like, if I do that, if they're going to be like, stop right there, criminal scum, or some shit. I have no idea. I have no clue. We also don't have forever. But I was mainly looking for one of their repair kits, and I have a feeling since it's one of their more expensive things, that it's like... It's like stuck or something. Oh, if you fuck it up, they hear you and come touching your butt. See, this is exactly what I'm worried about, dude. And a 47% chance to seal? That's not, that's not good. Like, we're gonna get, we're gonna, we're so gonna get caught. So whatever it is, we gotta make sure that it's like, it's worth it. I mean, there's, there's like the research artifacts, we could grab those. We're standing here in the light right now, which is not good, but... Well, okay, if we're gonna wing it, then we need to try to grab something that is expensive. The shop counter is eh, not the best. Uh, I would say I don't know what the value of like these like steel bars and shit are. I have no idea. There's also all of these, which I mean like yeah, this would be like huge if we could, if we could if we could just I mean naturally like maybe we'll pay him back at some point, but like we really need we really need help. We're we're in huge trouble. And for some reason, the damn robot repair shit is nowhere to be found anywhere. What do you, I mean, that's just, there's just strings of cats. Okay, I'm gonna wing it. And we are just gonna have to deal with the consequences. All right, you guys ready? Maybe they didn't hear us. Maybe, maybe they didn't hear us. Maybe it was chill. You think it's cool? It's probably cool, right? My consas have yet to quince. Oh, brittle. Oh, brittle's getting brittle's getting into a mess. Riddles get into a mess because they tried to help somebody and got hurt. That is quite literally what's happening here. Poor Brittle got hurt. Trying to help somebody. And now they are having to, to, to scrape. To try to, to try to get whatever. Come on, Brittle. What do we think? Is there anything over here? Brittle got bonked in the chest really bad. Because these are their food stores. Which naturally, we really don't, we don't need any of that. We don't eat. Uh... But not nah, in the chest. What are you talking about? You talking about this shit up here? It might be. I don't even. I don't know if I can lockpick that though. Twenty-five percent chance. Oh god! If we fail that, these fuckers are gonna wake up. We have zero chance to knock out. We have nothing. We're kind of in the light right here. Ooh. Oh, this, is, oh, this is sketchy. Oh. Maybe they won't know. Maybe they won't know. Maybe they won't know. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, this is sweaty. Very sweaty. Very sweaty. Okay. They haven't, they haven't noticed yet. Character's currently committing a burglary. Make sure nobody witnesses it. Okay. We're not really burgling so much as we are surviving. It's almost daylight, isn't it? No, it's not. Not quite yet. God, that's such a low chance. What is our lockpick? It ain't... It ain't great yet. Oh, I see it over here. 3 a.m. Okay. There's also this chest over here, but I'm not, I'm not sure what was in that. And yeah, we have zero chance to knock out anybody currently. Like, just none. And I don't know if that's from our chest damage or, like, the fact that we're just weak as shit. We have no chance to knock out. Which you'd think we would have a higher chance given that, you know, it's literally... They're they're literally asleep. So, I mean, like, holy shit. <laughs> like, oh, holy shit, how could it get any worse? I'm, I'm actually pretty proud of the guy on the right because he's sleeping at the foot of the bed. Like... What's he doing? I didn't even notice that he's at the foot of the bed. What is stupid? He's sleeping upside down, which... I mean, more power to him, I guess, because, like, they're really... <gasps> okay. 
uh, authentic skeleton repair kit. Um, I don't know if that's the one we need. And a 33% chance, man. That is, uh, that is... That is, that is, that is dangerous. Uh... I think repair kit of the highest quality. Maybe we'll just get lucky? Oh, out of trading range. Fuck. No, no, I, nope. Remember the whole, the whole thing with this. No, no, no saves coming. I know, I gotta steal it and then I gotta get it out of here. Whoa! Fuck, got caught. Uh. Damn it. What if, can it? Did I get it? It's cool. Oh my god. Uh, okay. We, but we have to, we have to leave. But I don't know. Maybe he doesn't like properly see us. I'll call the law. Okay. Uh, we were caught stealing, but I don't know. We have 20 seconds. Maybe he'll give up. Like maybe we, maybe we slinked. Oh my god, I can. Okay. Maybe we slinked around quick quick enough. I don't think he's following us. Character's been caught committing uh, looting. He might end up with a bounty on his head if he can't vanish. I mean, we we peeled. Oh shit! Do I have to? Do I have to unlock this again? Oh god. Oh no no we were repairing ourselves. Okay. Uh. Oh my god, is it sunrise? What the fuck is happening over there? Are we... Y'all, did we do it? Oh my god. Did, did Brittle pull it off? Oh my god. Brittle actually got away with it. We got a repair kit. Holy crap. Brittle, 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 brittle. Those little fingers aren't brittle, are they? Look at them go. Look at Brittle. See? And it all, it's all justified. Because Brittle only got into trouble in the first place because he tried to help somebody. So Brittle did the right thing. And we're proud of Brittle. I know I am. All right, Brittle. Time to, time to heal up, buddy. Nice. All right, we got that good stuff, too. Now, I don't know how much the... Uh, I don't know how much of this can this can repair us, but I'm hoping. I also need to I also need to get that. I'm gonna have to hang on to this thing too, because like it's gonna be our only repair kit, which it looks like we're getting it fixed up for. Might end up using like half of it. Not even a very high quality one, but hey, at least at least we're gonna be fixed up. Oh hallelujah. Oh. That shop will definitely recover. I don't think they're ever gonna miss it. I don't think they get many. Uh, I don't think they get many. Um. I don't think they get many brittles in here. Yeah, that's some good, like, escaping, stealing music. I do... Maybe... Maybe I should purchase a bag from him, though. Do you think I should? Like, as like a... As like a sign of peace? Maybe we purchase a bag? He probably won't... He probably won't remember, right? I think... I think that's what we should do. Let's do that. All right. Maybe he won't recognize us. Don't don't attack him. Can I even talk to this man? It appears that he is just angry with us. Um, I don't know if it will actually let me do that. So instead, buy the bag and immediately put the repair kit into it. Oh, he's hostile from seeing us touch. Oh shit, they're gonna check us for like stolen goods. Oh fuck. Um. Okay. That's not good. That's not good. Yeah, the fact that he remembers is stupid. Maybe we may have to like we may have to dump these goods. The item does say stolen. It says that it was uh it was stolen from Ethel. So it is definitely it's definitely stolen. Here to buy here to buy a tin man? Yeah. Yeah, def. Um what we could do, though, is we could sell the repair kit and then buy all this shit and then take it back somewhere else and sell all this. 
Like, we could buy all of his- basically buy as much as we can. And then... That way we can convert- we can convert the, uh... We can, we can convert the repair kit that's stolen. But we need it. But I'm pretty sure they're gonna check us for stolen goods on the way out. Which is not great. Um... So I do think- I do think we have to shed it and go find one by more legitimate means. Uh, so I think maybe just like, oh, right, there's a fencing chance on that, too. Ooh, buddy. Even if we stash it, though, they're going to check us, like, even if we put it, like, in a bag or something. Uh, we could technically set it on the ground and just leave. But then again, I'm not sure if they actually check us on the way out. <laughs> Throw it over the wall! Oh, God, I wish I could. Do they even- do they turn to look at us? We might be able to... We might- we, we might just be able to leave. I don't know. Um... Brit Brittle- Brittle's gonna wing it. Brittle is just gonna walk. Oh! You Tin Man! Oh! Smuggling checks. Remove your effects. Uh, can I ask you a question first? Looks like somebody's in a crabby mood. I thought maybe to work some out. This is not good. Um, I'm gonna say it looks like somebody's in a crabby mood. Uh, I wonder if I could like just drop it, just like throw it on the ground. Holy shit, what an idiot! What did he- he saw me do it, they're so stupid! What an- what a dumbass! Well, you dumb as hell! Oh, you dumb as hell! <laughs> Look at these idiots! Punk! I'm out of here, dude. I'm gone. Brittle, out. Brit Brittle gonna scoot on out of here. Scott free hot damn but look at that brittle made it on their first quest which was to go <sighs> whatever the hell we just did go and find a repair kit somewhere and somehow come out unscathed so we did we did it is stolen uh but that's fine we now have we now have the means so i'm thinking let's take a let's take a little victory lap back to the hub and i think i think it's time to do some celebratory copper mining and uh, sell that shit and maybe get enough money to join the join the boys. I don't know what the fuck that is. That's scary. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Did you steal anything? <laughs> no. <laughs> that whole thing just played out like a stupid comic strip. I'm really I'm really proud of Brittle for being like, throw it down. Be like, no. Like, is that a robot repair kit? Be like, no. Yes. No. Did you steal it? Yeah, no. Have a nice day. <laughs> Have a nice day. Have a good day. Oh shit, there's a lot of Discord stuff I gotta check. Hang on a second. Ooh, baby, I love you way. every day. Oh my god, I just noticed- I noticed that Roto did, uh, did the tinfoil hat as well. Oh wait, this is broken, I have to do it this way. So yeah, Roto did tinfoil hat in it, which this is me! That's me talking about just, you know, all the stuff, and how the ads and god knows whatever else. And it looks like Azuri, I believe, did one too. Damn, look at that. I love it. I love both of them, they're both fantastic. If you want to see these in full resolution, go check it out in Discord. There's a bit- there's a place called Bits Fan Art. Go check it out. It's fantastic. Also, if you take any clips tonight, make sure you put them in the old clip dump because Kenshi is quite clippable. So if you decide, oh, hey, there you go. Yeah, I appreciate that it's a tinfoil beanie, too. I feel like that really, really, really sells it. <laughs> that, that really, really, really sells it. That's some good stuff right there. And thank you guys again for all the support tonight. Thank you for keeping this little show in business. I hope you're all having a good time because I know I am. Celebratory copper mining. Which we're getting pretty good at, man. 
our labors, our labors up there now that we're now that we're robust and strong again. Do you remember earlier when I was like robots got a, you know, they got they got some perks because like, yeah, sure. They don't have to eat and they don't have to sleep. You see how expensive their med kits are? Like how insanely expensive that shit was. Look, look at what we like. We could like regular human could have just gotten a regular fucking first aid thing for like a hundred, a hundred whatever. And like the robots have to find a, a repair kit that costs like four thousand whatever. Yeah, yeah, more than more money than we like. Yeah, than we even had. So like, now that one in particular, I think we could have afforded. I think it was the advanced repair kit or whatever, like the big chunky one. Oh, skeleton needs figs. Time to scrap them. Oh yeah, it's time to scrap. Yes, thank you again, Dustin, for the twelve dollars in bits. Thank you, Ish, for the the, the monies. Thank you for the twenty dollars in donating. The twenty-two subs. All the things. These are these are great. These are great, Pink. I'm loving them. I'm in, I'm interested to see how people feel. I am very very interested. That is true. The kit was free. Good uh good good point. Thank you for thank you for uh, continuing this this thread of correctness. This this thread of many correct. Also, I think once we we're able to join the ninja gang, uh, I believe they sell ninja backpacks. Um, so that'll be interesting. Because uh, I guess, like, the ninja backpack will let us wear stuff and not get, like, screwed over in combat, I'm pretty sure. You fa That is true, I did find it on the ground after leaving the city. You got a good point. Like, that is 100% correct. So, you're right. <laughs> you're, you're right about all this. All of these things are correct. Do they sell skeleton repairs? Who? Oh, the, the boys? Mm, I don't think they do. Uh, maybe? I don't think they have any skeletons in the ninja gang that we saw. Maybe, maybe they did though, I'm not sure. I don't even remember, I don't even remember what the belt slot does, like, I, I don't even remember ever, like, what we equipped there. I really don't. I don't remember none. We also still have Dad's katana too! We haven't had to sell that. Which, that scared me, I was like, oh my god, we're gonna have to get rid of that. Now, in order, in order to, uh, Maybe I don't. Can you turn shit sideways? I don't remember if you can rotate stuff. Um, you might be able to. Uh, maybe you have to like. I don't. I don't remember a way to do that. But there, there might be. There might be a way to do that. I'm not sure. There may be. There may be a way. We mainly just need to get a a, a good backpack. Uh, is what we need. So we'll fill up. We'll fill up on big copper. Yum. And then we'll go back because these do, these do sell for 180 a pop, I think, or like 150, which is pretty good. I feel like there is two because I remember being able to turn weapons uh, or something like that, but I don't know. Also, check out that message. We're gonna be trying out Blue Sky and Threads because I finally decided to say fuck it to Twitter because I'm just really tired of the people that run that site. So, and all the weird, hateful shit they allowed to come back on that platform. So, if that's uh, if that's something, if you have Blue Sky and you want to give it a shot uh, with me, you're more than welcome to. And um, if you do Instagram and you want you want to try Threads, uh, or you all already follow the Bitstagram, um, you are more than welcome to go check that out. Come with me. Let's try out new thing and let's see if it's let's see if it's any good. Let us see if it is any good. I thought you were talking about a game for a second. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Blue Sky has a really good UI. It just has kind of a silly name and the way the links. Uh, work. Uh, it sucks. There's also an artist from South Carolina named Blue Sky. Oh. Oh, hey, hey, it auto-corrected itself. Nice. Uh, I don't know if you can do, I don't know if you can do videos yet. I'm not sure. Probably not. And I would assume, I would assume they will probably do that at some point. Uh, okay, we're gonna go sell this copper to the bar. And, um... God, I wish there was something we could do with this just to sell it for more. Come on in, have a browse. Let us do the business. I would sell this first aid kit too because I feel like, did I, I know one of these people had a robot repair kit? Like, what the hell happened to that? That's what I want to know, man. Dad's katana does sell very well. So I mean, if we needed, if we needed like a little bit more money to push us into. What do you guys think? Do you think we should sell Dad's katana to 
to get into the ninja gang, or do you think we should, like, hang on to it? I'm thinking at this point we should probably hang on to it. I, th I think we should hold on to it as long as possible, unless it's, like, an act of desperation. Because I feel like that one, that one keepsake, that one keepsake is definitely going to be pretty important to Brittle. So, I think that is uh, probably going to be the case. I do need to get a backpack somehow, and I don't know what I need to do. Unless I can find, like, we could use, we could carry around a dead body and use its skin as a backpack. Uh, we could, we could do that. Um... So yeah, we could use, we could, we could make a skin backpack. I would prefer to just get a regular backpack for right now, but I mean, if we have to use a skin pack to, to haul all this copper, I will shove it inside the corpse. Especially if it's like a slaver corpse. Oh, dude, those are, those are prime packing material because they're so fucking soulless and empty that you can fit so much into them. Know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna loot this, I guess. And by loot it, I mean use it. And we are just gonna have to keep an eye out for. I love that this, I love that this is so different than like Peggy's run so far, because Peggy's run was very much like run out in the wilderness, get the shit beat out of us. I'm pretty sure we got enslaved at one point. Whereas Brittle is playing it much safer than Peggy, which I think is hilarious. <laughs> I think it's hilarious that Brittle Brittle's playing it safe. Brittle is not a wow efficiency zero percent. Holy crap. I guess let's, uh, I guess let's build a... I don't know if the campfire actually counted as light last time, though. I'm not really positive. Did it? It did, yeah, okay. It, it actually counts. He also got super punished for trying to help other people. That is true, yeah, Brittle, Brittle got fucked over super hard. Which was not chat's fault. Chat made the right call. That was the, uh, that was the RP-friendly decision. It was. Because, like, Brittle, of course, is not a terrible person. And Brittle also wants to join these people, so naturally... Brittle sees person from faction they kind of want to join get beat up by a bunch of assholes. So, of course, Brittle goes in to help, and then the fucker just abandoned us. So we do know that unless you're unless you're a faction member from those for those people, they seem to... Stay still. Just stay still. They won't notice. They won't notice. Just stay still. Just stay still. Everything's fine. We don't have any food. They don't they don't know that, but we don't have any food. Okay, alright. Just keep mining your campfire, brutal man. Just keep mining <laughs> He is mining the campfire. <laughs> Look, it just speeds up the process, okay? That's how this works. You wouldn't you wouldn't understand. You're not you're not mine master. You just wouldn't understand. Also, did we go to that bar yet? Yeah, we did, because that's a rebel base or whatever. The nice part is, if we get attacked out here, we can't actually run. Oh shit, more escape servants. The last time we tried to help these guys out, we saw where that went. So. Last time I tried to help somebody out, dude, because oh my god. Look at escape servants over here. It's like, oh, here, let me help you. Let me get those shackles off you. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you, they fucking start wailing on you and caving your chest. And then you have to go and find a free robot repair kit in Squint. And that's just how it goes. I wonder if the bandit's aggro is based on if you're made of skin or not after seeing that. I, I do kind of wonder because like... Actually, wait a minute. I hope... I hope those two are alright. Because they just... Yeah, I hope they're okay because they're probably going to walk into those guys. Oh boy, I can't, I can't, I can't help him. I, I, I can't help him right now. We do have a way to repair ourselves now, which is good. Like we can definitely save ourselves, but like Brit Brittle is now a little, a little less likely to jump into the fray because Brittle went through some shit. So if you don't give up snacks, they will become the snack. Oh, hey, bone dogs or goats. God, you gotta be careful with those guys, man. They'll just headbutt you in the next week. They're scary. Scary stuff over there in Bone Dogville. And by Bone Dogs, I mean goats. How much? How much are we making per copper haul? It's like, what? Uh, was it about 150, 150 per? And so it's about how many are we taking? Eight at a time? Nine? 
Oh, so they're making like probably like a little over a thousand, depending on like if they're actually is if, if we're selling it for less than I that it actually sees on the that it actually says on the sell, sale value. I like how it's slave of none. Looks like slave none. We're only gonna mine copper faster as we get a uh, as we get better at laboring. God, the number of workers on this like that sucks. That like mining it alone apparently just makes it take forever. What happens if you hit a range? Uh, it just sorts where it can. So like you can't. I don't think you can rotate stuff, which which is weird though. I feel like we either had a mod or something that let us do that because I do vaguely remember being able to rotate shit. But I maybe maybe that wasn't the case. I, I have no idea. Oh my god, I forgot about the research tab. This game this game's insane. Like legitimately insane. Like the amount of crap you can do in this is just God, it's nuts. Like all this all this shit you can do here, like all this smithing stuff. It's just it's just crazy. I guess the dust bandits are not fans. Uh, the Holy Nation completely fucking hates us because we're impure. The starving bandits definitely hate us. The United Cities likes us. Um, which is not the greatest because they're pretty slavey, but that is where we're from, so I guess it makes sense. Oh, shoot. No, this, I don't remember the AI tab being there either. Okay. Unfortunately, we are out of we are out of room. Uh, but the cool part is this is really close to this bar up here, which means we can just zip zippity bippity up here. I don't need to, I don't need to do this. How to research? Come in, have a browse. Yeah, I know. You got you guys also look dangerous. You got like sticks and stuff. Sticks and stones gonna break my bones, but holy shit. These guys, they get loaded up on copper, though. Okay, so it's 7,758, which, like, I like the idea of stacking up money, but I will pay, I'll pay to get into the band of ninjas. I don't know if you get, like, I don't think you need, like, anything like starter equipment or anything like that if you pay to get in. We probably are going to have to, we're probably going to have to get even more money, which sucks. It <laughs> definitely sucks. Need a trader backpack? Oh, do we need like any backpack to hold shit? I don't. Did that dude didn't sell one, did he? You had one of the stacking backpacks. Oh, right. Yeah, that's what the trader one does, right? That's it. Yeah, because it has like a massive penalty to like everything, but it can like stack items or whatever. The project took like seven years. You'd have a few tabs too. Just a, just a casual, casual 75 years to get this game done. It's okay, it's worth it. Kenshi, Kenshi is so, so awesome. You may not notice it right now, because you're like, what, Nick, you're literally just smacking. You're just smacking an iron node. How is this interesting? Be like, trust me, as you saw earlier, shit goes, shit goes wild real quick. Like, it gets, it gets out of control. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna actually take a break. Uh, I, I'm not gonna leave this running though. We we are going to pause because God help you if you just <laughs> yeah. If I leave this, we're gonna come back and there's gonna be like a beak thing just eating my entire asshole. But I'm gonna figure out if I'm gonna do some food because I'm starving because uh, this stupid veggie sandwich I ate earlier was terrible. I mean it was good, but it was just not a lot. Uh, I'm gonna let it drift around like this too. So I'm gonna ponder that and I shall return. Don't die if you wanna watch more Kenji. Stick around. Yum.
All right. I got auto saves even when it paused. Yeah, thank God though, right? All right. So I'm pondering. I'm pondering. We have we have like some potatoes and stuff I can make. But I'm kind of thinking. I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm kind of thinking. I, I enjoyed doing the Taco Bell uh, gamble last night. That's always hilarious. <sighs> Question is, do I want to spend like 13, 14 bucks on Taco Bell? That is the that is the question. Which gets like earlier because we took Erica's mom to Subway and that, that and that whole thing happened and I was like, <laughs> I was like the Subway while the veggie sub was okay, it left a lot to be desired. <laughs> it, left, it left a lot to be desired. What do you guys think? You want to do another gamble on on the on the snacko? Probably the last time I'm doing that this week because like I, I can't I can't order fucking delivery every night. But cut into my damn profits, and by my profits I mean. <laughs> what the heck? You ever like word something and just hate it immediately? You're like, ugh, that sounds so gross. I'm gonna mine out. Uh, I'm gonna mine out the next five, I think, and we'll see. Squad, you missed, you missed a pretty beefy bet on last, last night's. I did realize after the fact, by the way, even though it was like 99% right, it was technically not 100% right because they left onions in the burrito and I asked for no onions, but like, I don't actually know if they were supposed to be in there, like, because it was so few of them that I feel like that was like oopsie poopsie, like some fell in there from something else. I don't think that I don't think it was like intended to have onions in it. I was I was very confused because like at the end of it, I was like, oh shit, it did have onions in it. But. Yeah. Buddy boots. All right, so I'm going to mine out the I'm gonna mine out five copper here. And uh, then once we have enough money, we're going back to the place and we're going to join the ninja gang. And uh, we're going to see what they give us because they might give us something cool. There might be stuff that we can buy from them for cheap. And uh, I don't know. The cool part, though, is uh, we've gotten our labor up pretty high. I mean, for this early in the game, we already have 41 labor. Like, that's that's pretty damn good. Like, they've been out here sweating. They've been, they've been out here sweating. Big sweat. All right, three's enough for right now. I'll come back. I'll come back and get the rest of it. I'll come back and get the rest of it. Because we definitely need something to protect our chest for sure. Um, whoa! Oh, he just opens it. Okay, that scared me. I was like, "Oh God!" Hey, man, it's it's me. It's your resident copper salesman, the man who just keeps bringing you copper over and over and over. That is somehow now out of your inventory, and I'm not sure how that happened. I also just realized the building materials and iron plates are not nearly as expensive as I thought they were. So, like, that ain't that ain't the worst thing ever, I guess. All right, we're up to y'all. We're up to nine thousand. We're about to get some hoop out as soon as we hit ten. You guys pumped? Who's pumped? Who's excited? I'm jazz. That means Brittle. Brittle's gonna get to join. Uh, like a, he's gonna have a family. Brittle never really got to have a family because his dad, his dad just never really loved him. But you know, up until that last bit, the last bit. All right, Brittle, start bashing, bro. You got this. Let's hope nothing bad happens to Brittle in the small time that he has just turned into Mind Man. Come on, Minecraft Brittle. Also, whenever we do get like a, a team of people, the only thing I'm going to ask normally for folks is like if if we do like rollouts for names is just make sure that like you feel like you could be at the streams for the most part, because. Uh, um, it's good to it's like half of the fun of Kenshi is like yelling at people in chat who are in the party, which is fucking hilarious. One of my favorite memories is yelling at Sanguine for continuing to run his ass into acid the entire fucking time and just wouldn't stop. Just forever. I know all it takes is 10,000 cats to get to get a family. That's all. That's all it is. Do you think maybe maybe one day we'll get a Kenshi Amazon original series? Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't you be excited? Also, what do you think? Yes or no on on order in the bell? It would it would technically be chat funded, I guess. Since with the donaties and the bits and stuff tonight. So there's a chat funded bell. What do you guys think? I'm give it a shot. Do you want to give it a shot? I love how safe this is. Ah! Ooh, 
Damn, you don't need it. Damn, just told me you don't fucking need it. Damn. You don't need it. <laughs> what? <laughs> fucking Christ. I can't wait for Kenshi Man to fuck a skeleton on TV. Yeah, I can't wait either. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be sick. Is he wrong? Uh, not quite. The only thing I ate today was a six inch sub that only had it was it was a wrap technically and it had just some spinach banana peppers and like a few other veggies like wrapped up and that's about it that's all i fucking need oh i don't have anywhere to order other than the bell no way <laughs> no way dude we have literally nothing i think the only other thing i could do would be like we could make i could make these like potatoes in there too i guess but like i'm not really feeling that didn't even get the footlong cookie Technically, I did get the footlong churro. It sucked. That thing was like rubber and like it had like no cinnamon on it. I was like, what the fuck is this? I was like, but then again, what did I really expect from a $2 churro from fucking Subway? And it's true. Betting on me making potatoes is way less fun because I can guarantee those are actually all right. Good night, Red. Take it easy. Take it easy. Also, thank you to everybody for hanging out and still chatting and chatting stuff as it gets to, gets to be later and later. I always appreciate the late night gang for saying the words and doing the thing. All right, more copper. Ladies and gentlemen, there's our 10K. Ha 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 ha. Brittle has done it. Brittle has done it. I'm still just shocked that places like Subway and shit don't have like some kind of like like tofu or anything like that. That's like really weird to me. Hot diggity dang, Brittle got that money, he gon' buy a family, and it's probably gonna go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Brittle's gonna be real poor in five seconds, but that's okay. Brittle earned this money legit. None of this was actually stolen, I don't think. But for the most part, I could say that Brittle, in fact, did earn this money on their own, which is really awesome. They did, like, steal a diaper from some guy at some point. Wait, what the hell's happening? What is this? Whoa, whoa, why are we... What? What the hell's... What's going on? Dust Bandit slightly injured? What? Oh, shit! They're the, hung they're the Hungry Bandit? Oh, well, he doesn't, he doesn't need these anymore, though. Are you? Wait, did that guy get like, oh, my, he was holding his arm. I. There might have been a raid, but I don't know what's happened. I don't know like what the fuck they're looking for. Is there like an enemy somewhere? Okay, we're, we're just going to leave them. We're just going to leave them be. Oh, God. Oh, God, they might have. You're right, the Dust Bandits could have raided the Ninja guys because they got into it. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. What if our family... Could you imagine a more brittle situation? He finally has, like, the means to join, like, this, like, super exclusive Ninja Club. And, like, he finally gets everything he needs. He goes out there and works for it. Does mostly honest work. Actually, pretty much all honest work. And then somehow, at the end of it all, just... Just loses out completely. Nope, they're fine. Damn, scary. What are you doing here? I'm here, and honestly, you guys should give me a discount for get, for helping your uh, for helping your friend out. By the way, that you then did nothing. You were like, "Oh, that sucks." That you uh, wait. Is this the merchant man? A merchant to the boss. Okay. Well, they out, they out here punching, dude. They get in shape. Once again, though, I don't know who the boss is. You find a man looking like Starvation Eminem, unconscious on the floor, you still have motherfucking clothes. Starvation Eminem. That, that version of Eminem is very scary. The, the version of Eminem that was never successful. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know who the boss is! Who the boss? Well, well, is that guy taking damage? Oh, no, he's not. 
Dude, I'm I'm trying to join the gang, and like no one will let me join the gang. Talk to the boss. Which one was the damn boss? I don't remember who that was. I'm trying to talk at all the all the all the, the splingies. And there's like none boss left beef. Oh, here we go. He's right outside. Okay, let's see. Uh, you want in on the shinobi? I want to join the shinobi thieves. You can join for a fee. That's it. I didn't have to complete a test. Looks like yeah. Uh, looks like it's time to busy work. This is a business we're running, not a social club. Just a one-time membership fee. Sign me up for 10,000. 10,000 seems steep. What do I get in return for all that money? You get yourself allies. We have hideouts like this one. It's a safe haven for you to rest and recover. We have specialist training equipment to use. You can sell your stolen items to our fence. And he also sells some hard to find specialist equipment at a huge discount. Uh, okay, that's fine. Sign me up for a family. Cause you gotta remember, Brutal's like a little ignorant, right? So he's just like, welcome brother to the Shinobi Thieves. We're poor again. Yay! Woo! All right! Hooray! We're, we're poor again! Great! Now, who was it that sold literally anything? Of course, we can't just, like, start accessing stuff. But there was a vet. There's, like, a vendor in here somewhere. I'm just hoping that, like, I'm sure we'll have to go mine more copper, as is, as is our life now. Uh, but... <laughs> literally everyone after paying bills. <laughs> I'm poor again. All right. Except for you rich salons out there being rich. Fun fact, if you pickpocket the money off of the boss, he gives you his fatherly love. New member, well, unless you actually enjoy the inside of a jail cell, knock that shifty look off your face. I can spot you a mile off. Anyway, down to business. What do you got for me? I'm a skeleton. This is my normal face. Well, ain't that unfortunate. Uh, what do you buy? Illegal goods that you can smuggle into cities, that kind of things. But if you got uh, stolen loot, you want you want a fence? Talk to my friend here. That's his territory. So he does. I mean, he does sell. He does have some stuff here. Uh, that is, we we do get it. We do get a discount on it, uh, like fifty percent off. So that is good. Uh, he does he does have a thieves backpack, and it's only it's only a, for us. It's gonna end up being, I guess, what, uh, two thousand five hundred, or I guess maybe one thousand two hundred fifty. There's the chunk, man. Hey, buddy. Also, what's up, dude? It's been a while, man. How you doing? How you doing? That's pretty good though. I mean, they didn't—they didn't give us—they didn't give us really anything like good. But oh, these are from the stu these are from the stolen the stolen bandit, or the hungry bandit. Yeah, you can take all that. You can take all this garbage. Uh, so wait, do we get any money for that? Very little. Did I order anything? No, I haven't. Why? Oh, you? Okay, yeah, I can. Yeah, we can do that if you want something. Working and doing. Well, it's great to see you, man. Hope working and doing's. Hope working and doing's been okay. If you try to pickpocket it off of him, he gives you his fatherly love. And now, now I got. Now I got to see what you're talking about. I don't believe you. <laughs> what? I don't believe you. Yeah, it's this, this is one of the few times I'm gonna say brittle check. I feel like brittle check can be saved over because nothing's really happened. I don't even know. I don't even know how you do the how you do the the pickpocket thing. I, I guess I think you have to be like because we just do stealth KO. What do you do for the for the the finger thieving? What? How does one finger thieve? Uh, brought anything good? Oh, hey, he's got shit, too, which he also sells at a discount. So we can easily get a thieves backpack, which would be good. Um, there's also a small thieves backpack, which is considerably cheaper. Uh, but I guess like what we would need to do is go and. I'm not I'm not going to sell I'm not going to sell dad's dad's katana. 
But we do have... Oh, you only steal from the sleeping and the unconscious. I don't know if these guys ever go to sleep. But I am, I am very curious about this whole, like, steal from him and he'll be like, good job. It's not the... I'm, Here's the problem, though. I don't remember who the who the father man is. That's, that's, that's the main problem. I've already lost him, I think. Oh, wait, there's also the training dummies. I forgot about that. Shit, we can go. We can actually use these now. Nice. Nice. Get them. Yeah, get all oh, hell. Yeah, is what I'm talking about. Maybe I am misinterpreting fatherly love. You also told me not to eat. So I just misinterpret you. Bitch. I'm gonna keep slapping this thing for a little bit. I don't know what the, uh, let's see. I don't, think it I don't think that levels up your strength, but it does, it just should level up your melee attack. But I think this only goes up to a certain point. Weirdly enough, oh, I guess it's like every time the, uh, every time the training bar goes up, I don't know if it just like spikes katanas up by one. No, Katana is just not moving. <laughs> that one may not move. Some of these don't like work, I think, when you have like the menu open or something like that. No, it's still just like 34%. I'm not sure why Katana's wouldn't be working. Maybe that one, maybe that one has to be like somewhere else. Because we also need to level up our martial arts too. Oh, because we're just leveling up melee attack skill. Okay. It says ways. <laughs> I love it says ways to train attack with this specific weapon, of which I'm attacking with a specific weapon, and it's like, nope. Nope. Look at these guys, like, cleaning and stuff. I'm really proud of them. That guy's, like, that guy's, like, whacking the hell out of that thing. Oh, I guess he's doing, like, the, the stealth takedowns, which is interesting. I didn't know you could train that here. That's pretty cool. I thought we were much more, uh, much more limited. Wait a minute. Oh, there's locksmith training over there, too. Damn, dude. I'm glad we, I'm glad we actually joined. These are some safe ways, safe ways to go about this. But I do think that this, like, caps out at some point. Um, has Brittle learned the way of the skin slave? What the fuck? No, Brittle has not learned the ways of the skin slave. Brittle was trying to help somebody by getting shackles off of them. And then, you know, they fucked him over. They, fu they fucked him over. It, was, it wasn't great. This is, this, is, this is big practice. This is also, like taking an eternity, which makes sense, but my god, we're gonna be here for like eight months. I will probably get like melee attack up to like five, and then maybe get a... maybe work on martial arts really quick. Is it dummy level none, two, or three? I don't know, these have these guys have? They are all just mark one, from the looks of it. Oh, there's a sad, there's the assassination dummy over there, so I, can, I guess you can try to assassinate that one. Go cook a nice dinner. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm gonna leave you guys for that long. Just go cook a nice dinner. Okay, so we do still level up melee attack. It is just agonizingly slow. Um, so it goes up to 10. Let me unequip this. And then, I guess move. And then start punching again. Oh, does that, does that count for unarmed? I don't know if it does. Oh, no, it probably still is melee attack. Yeah, so it's not going to do martial arts. Uh, let's see. Fighting unarmed, fighting encumbered for strength, using special training equipment, bonus from fighting opponents. Uh, okay. So the only thing melee... That's that's only melee attack, which, not bad. That uh, That's fine. We can also train on the lockpicking box, but I don't, know, I don't know how long... This feels like it's probably quicker just to do regular lockpicks out, out in the world, but as we saw, that's dangerous too. <laughs> that, that is also dangerous. Maybe it's because we weren't stealthed. Maybe I, need to be sneak. maybe I need to be sneak for this. Or maybe we need to do lockpick training box. Two. Because we did already get a lockpicking up to 13. That's what it was. Okay, so yeah, we can, uh, we can push through that. There, that's good. And then there's also assassination dummy. So we guess we could train the, the art of the assassinate. Wow, that one... That one goes up considerably faster. Oh, man. Oh, my God. 
I like that these guys over here are also just partaking. I'm really happy for them. I'm really, it's, it really it feels good to be part of a family, even though really nobody's talked to me yet, but I guess they're probably a little bit leery of, you know, the brittle. Which, I mean, I would be too. Like, I mean, it's, that's scary, right? Scary stuff, dude. Here, there. Wait, was the was our stealth skill going up? No, it wasn't. That was that was the assassination I was looking at. I think. This is thrilling content. This is what this is what we live for. What we live for right here. But I just want to get this up to like maybe ten, and then then we can because most of this we want to do organically anyway because I. I mean, Brittle's got to have his training arc. We have no clue what's going to happen to Brittle. Like, things could go south very quickly. <laughs> things could go south very quickly. But, you know, we got to be we got to be careful. Uh, makes it look like he's dancing the worm. That is true. He's always doing it, man. He, I'm proud of him. This is not how most skill ups work in this game, by the way. I'm 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 sorry to I'm sorry to break everybody's break everybody's hearts on this one. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is not how it works. I think his stealth did go up. Was it higher than 73? I have no idea. No idea. I do need to stealth around most places just so I can make sure to... Uh... I remember stealthing over encumbered was like a really good way. A really good way to level that uh, two things up at once. I, th I think we did that a lot with Peggy. The only problem is uh, we're naturally at a disadvantage um, because we have a uh, we have like a debuff on sneakiness and all that stuff. Until we get like better limbs and all that shit, and in that case, that's a whole different thing, so then we'll be able to actually uh, do the thing. Alright, I'm gonna get this to 12, and then I'm gonna get lockpicking to 14, and then we're gonna zippity-bippity on out of here. Yeah, I do remember that they, like, cap out. I just didn't remember what the actual number on them capping out was, so... <laughs> I love how these guys like this is like this is like our entire job. Like this is what this is what we do every day. Just sit here and train. All right. So when we do lock picking, we'll get that up to like fourteen. Just place flesh over the rattly bones. That's uh that will do it. That'll do it because that'll give it, that'll give it that nice squish. You know what I'm saying? That'll give that nice that nice squish every time you walk. Erica was asking if I was ordering something because she was like, she wanted to get something too, so... Might do that here in a second. Uh, alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna head back to the to the front of town. Um, I cannot afford a pack yet. But this first run of copper or whatever the hell we're doing... Um, the first run is going to be to get some copper for... Uh, words. Uh, it's going to be to get some copper to come back and buy a bag. Um, we're stealthing, by the way. That way we can <laughs> level up our stealth skills. We're just going to take our merry time. Uh, <laughs> the family now smack that dummy for 30 hours. Just smack him. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Junk with a $20 says eat. Thank you, Junk. That is very sweet of you. You did not need to do that. Did not need to do that. That was very kind of you. Junk over here just hit the anti karo He's like, <laughs> he's like, eat, do it, do it. But thank you so much, man. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for, uh, thank you for being great. No, no, no. It was Jiga Crow that said you don't need it. It was Junk that said eat. <laughs> that's. I'm just giving Jiga Crow shit because that's just, that is my entire life, or at least part of it, at least a major, major portion of it. Because what, what else are you, what else are you gonna do? What else are you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? What do you mean I wasn't wrong? What the hell is that shit? I like, I like how Jiga Crow can tell my natural hunger levels. Like I'm a damn Kenji character. All right, so we're gonna whack this out. Just blast it really quick, and we're gonna stack up this copper. We're gonna sell it a couple times. We need to get, uh, we need to get. I don't know. I don't know what all we need. We definitely need the. But just because you got it didn't mean you needed it. What are you are you doing like one of those like weird devil's advocate things or like what are you what are you doing right now? 
<laughs> like what? What's your what's your end game here? <laughs> what what is your fucking end game with your weird shit? Your weird nonsense. God, dude, this is aggressive music. This is scary. Scary copper copper mining music. I wonder if my efficiency is actually debuffed because I'm. No, it's not. We're good. It's all. It's all going to come down to number of workers. But the nice part is, since we have, since we have the brittle power of the labor, at least like that helps us go a little bit faster. We might need like you know, two people eventually, but that's going to be, that's going to be a thing for later, because we don't have we don't have the uh, we don't have the two. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna roll the fucking dice. I think Erica said she wanted a... Something small. <laughs> Something small while I mine. I'm discussing, I'm discussing something. <laughs> it's like, Yeah, fuck it. I'm not gonna do it because they I, they're like almost they're doing like this like oh we're closing super soon whatever. <laughs> that, that's gonna be that's gonna be a shit show. I'm sure. They also like one of the things that I normally get is just unavailable for some fucking reason. So hey, we'll maybe do that tomorrow or something. We'll figure out to just figure out something here. We'll have to just figure out something here. Unless it lets me do the the other one. For bet on potato. I don't know how I don't know how the potato bet would even work. Okay, let's go. Let's go run this. I like. I just love how how genuine Brittle's money making operation so far has been. It's just mine. Like it's just it's just mine copper. Ah, what's going on? Oh, it's because we set him as a job to mine the copper. I think you can also like set up the task to basically have him do the job and then. Uh, do the job and then basically like come over here and sell it, but I don't really know if that's like exactly how that works. I, I can't remember. Hey, he has a skeleton repair kit now. I don't know why he has it now. Ooh, they also want the Dust King. And yeah, those are some fat rewards for those, though. God. How many levels? I mean, levels, brutal. I feel like people who know this game would have a much stronger advantage on knowing how many levels, how many levels Brittle's gonna get. So. Let me check the thing. I, I, I feel like I, I feel like I need to do because Junk did the thing. Um, I'll check and see if the other one is, I can do this stuff from there. Which I might be able to. Why? Why does it seem like he's going so much slower now? Did his arm like fall off? He's weightless. Is it because it's nighttime? Nope. Oh, maybe it's the percentage of copper underground or something? I have no idea. I have no clue. We've kind of capped out at 40% efficiency, so I'm not exactly sure. I 
I feel like that there is no test. Just pay a slot. It's supposed to be a test of stealing that much money. So you getting it by honest work is extra funny. Well, Brittle, Brittle, look, Brittle's a good person. He's tried. Remember the shackle incident already? I mean, come on. He's tried so hard. Tried so hard to do his thing. But man, it's it's hard out there for a Brittle boy. Hot out there for a brittle boy. I definitely need to get a backpack though, like anything. Even though the small backpack is probably not going to do us a lot of favors. I would say some type of some type of armor. And we didn't murder the innocent escaped slaves. They attacked us for trying to help them and then punched their arms off on our swords. So like, what was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to do? You know? I mean, like, I can't, I can't help that. I can't help that they punch their arms off on my blade. Now, could I have maybe, like, I don't know, could I have maybe done something a little different? Maybe put my sword away? Maybe? But they started beating the shit out of us. It was insane. Yeah, the slaves started it. Little Brittle was just defending themselves. I mean, like, come on. You know what I'm saying? Don't you put this on me. <laughs> don't you... Put this on me. Mm, don't you put this on me. We acted with dignity and honor. The fault was theirs. Thank you. Thank you, Ford. Thank you, Ford, for the backup. I do appreciate it. How have you guys been enjoying Kenshi? You guys, you guys digging it? I'm having a great time with it. The beginning... The beginning is a little slow, uh, as it always is, and that's like the one thing I think one of the big things that was holding me back for like a long time um, was just like uh, just kind of like worrying that like the beginning would be like really dry compared to um, like because like I'm comparing it in my head. Uh, I think I can order this from the other one, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Then Whoa! Okay, this. This is problematic. Uh, I need to dump all of this because they are going to try and kill us because they are bitching about us not sharing anything, which means we may get mobbed by a bunch of garbage hungry bandits, which I thought we were safe from. And we may not be. So we're gonna have to. Oh! Oh! No, don't turn and fight! You're literally set to passive! What? Oh, dude, Brittle got them beat on speed, though. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, we're gonna retreat back to here. Go, Brittle. Go, 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 go. Don't let him catch up to you. Get out of here, Brittle! That's way too many of them. They take food, only food. They're still gonna beat the shit out of us. Brutal, Brutal got like expensive repair equipment on him. Help. Help. Go. Help. <gasps> They're helping us. Hot diggity damn. Woo! What's going, what is going on? Oh, oh, are we going? Oh my God. Brutal, you got blocked, dude. Brittle, what are you doing? Holy shit, it's a massacre. Brittle, just wait. Just wait, just hang in there. You don't have to do shit. Actually, actually, ooh, but I don't want to get... Wow, we, I mean, they, they're getting fucked up. Like, they got fucked up. What about this one over here? Attack the target. Get in there, Brittle. Get in there, get a swing. Nice. N nice, nice. Looking good, looking good. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. They're just pa they're picking this dude up. Holy crap. Um, I'm going to loot all of their shit because... Like, well, actually, they probably don't have, they don't have anything. They just have like a bunch of garbage. And this is literally worth, what, like two? It's worth 26. It is, it is quicker for me to just go mine copper. These guys are terrible. I mean, yeah, they're awful. Actually, how much... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I could use one. Okay, that one's dying. That one's also dying. 
I could use one for transportation. That one's lost a lot of blood. Uh, what about... What about that one? This this jerk this jerk seems to be doing okay, right? Also lost a lot of blood. Uh, their appendages are in pretty bad shape. I think we could, we could help them. We could try to be the better person. So I'm gonna pick them up really quick. There we go. Okay, and I'm gonna take him. Uh, I'm gonna take him over here. Yeah, I'm gonna take him over here, and uh, I do need to. I guess put him down. Well, hang on a second. He needs to be he needs to be naked. Uh he doesn't need these clothes anymore. They they forfeited. They forfeited all this shit. Like I they, they're what a bunch of assholes, right? Wait. Can I not Oh, I guess I need to like move it to my but Out of trading range? What? Out of trading range? Wow, I guess I do have to put him down. Uh okay. Oh, it's because we're setting him down. Woo! Alright, there we go. And uh let me loot him. I'm just gonna kind of throw his. There we go. Yeah, I'll just I'll just take his trash. That's fine. Um, oh, this is supposed to be in that slot, isn't it? Oops. Okay, I'm not making anything. I, I'm trying to help this person because you know what? I'm gonna show them the compassion that they did not show me. That's what I'm doing. I'm helping them out. Look at that. We're staunching the flow. You see this shit? This is amazing. Look at that. We're fixing their head. That's that's more than enough. Because now they'll regenerate the blood that they need. We've stopped. We've stopped what needed to happen. So there we go. All right. Now their arm, their arm looking a little loosey goosey. Their head not looking so good either. Maybe I should fix that head. Uh, yeah, let's do that really quick. Okay, there we go. Let, let's let's finish repairing their head. I'm gonna use the words repairing because we don't understand anything else. Okay, the head is repaired. All right. I want to stop there though. They're not dying. They're fine. Their head's good. Everything's good. What's what's wrong with them? They're looking good. All right. Now they can help me mine. Since they were so damn whatever. Since they thought that they could come over and bully me into giving them food that I didn't even have. They can help me out a little bit, which I think is fair, right? Did we all agree? Pretty fair. I think it's fair. I think, uh, I think all of this, I think everything happening right now is fair. So, is there any way to loot, like, all that copper? I'm not, who's talking about running away? Like, they don't, who needs to run away? They're good. They're in good shape. I've got them up on the, they're, they're, they're good. They're looking good. They are looking good. Okay, so I do need to transfer some of this copper to them. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna give him back the pants. Pants is that's just, that's just that's a whole that's a whole thing. That's a whole thing. Okay. Let me start mining again. They're fine. Their arms are good. Look, their blood's regenerate. I told you their blood's fine. See? Their blood's. It's totally cool. It is totally, totally cool. Everything's everything's great. This is good. Not worth holding on to these pants. That pant, those are terrible. Those are terrible. Those can just, those can just rot. They take up way too many inventory spots anyway. And we do, we do have this flesh now that we can also use. I'm a little bit worried though because I think their, I think their legs are gonna explode, and I'm not, I'm not really sure. I didn't create an abomination. What are you talking about? These people tried to kill me, and now I'm just asking for their help mining. I told you. Brittle's not the best in certain social situations. Okay? They're not. They're they're still feeling it out. That's all I, that's all I'm saying. It, oh. Oh. Um. Uh we can we can we can repair we can repair that. Uh oh oh. 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 Uh we, we could, we could fit that. We, we fit, we fix that. Yeah, we, we can fix that. Um, I got, I got band-aids. How many band-aids do I have? I got plenty. I can do this. We can fix this. We're, we're doing it right now. Look at that. We're stopping. Well, oh man, we're not really stopping the blood flow, but we're trying. Oh God. 
We're, we were doing it. It's okay. God, I hope we got a clip of that leg falling off. Although it's not prepared for it to just sadly fall off. It's not Brittle's fault. The people at the bar did it. The people at the bar did it. It, was, it wasn't us. You know it wasn't us. Like, it totally, totally wasn't us. Look at that. We're fixing their arm. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool of us to do that? That's cool of us to do that, right? Okay, we're out of bandages. Um... So, I'm going to, I'm going to grab them and go up to the bandage store and see if they can help with further repairs. Now, I don't know, I don't know if they can. They may not need any. Oh, they're dead. Oh, they're dead. Uh, so the repairs, unfortunately, uh, did not, did not go did not go as planned. What? Well, would look at this though. We tried. Hi, I have. Um, I tried to do repair. I like how it looks like he's wafting the butt into his face, which is really impressive. Uh, and only you know, in just insane. Okay, there we go. I do have some. <laughs> I, do, I do have. Some <laughs> I do have some copper on this bag of skin. Uh, would you by chance uh, be able to, to accept this, my good man? The, the, the skin. The skin. The skin copper. Okay, well, uh, that was that was pretty good. <gasps> ah! What? Why'd you? Why'd you? Why'd you? Why'd you take it? I. I needed that. Why would he just take the tr Why would you take the trash out like this? Okay. New fix. Two more first aid kits will do it because next time that a human decides to attack us, we're go we're, we're going to be ready and we're going to be able to help uh because like the hu they're idiots, right? The humans are idiots. They keep attacking us for some reason. I don't know why. Um it really hasn't worked out in their favor yet. Are any of these still alive? There might be someone out here we can still help. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. 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 Damn. Boy, they really, really did a number on these guys. Like, I mean, they... They they ruined their Christmas. But you know what, though? It's their fault. I, uh... I, 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 didn't, I didn't do anything. All I was was just an innocent robot man trying to earn an honest-to-God living. And uh, look at what happened. Look at this, man. Every fucking time. It's always some shit like this. Poor Brittle is getting into the shittiest situations. And they are just trying to get an honest day's work out of mining some copper. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's all all they're trying to do. All they're trying to do. And it's just, it's just sad. It's just sad. It's just, just sad. Mm, it's a sad day. All right, junk. I'm doing this one. I'm doing this one. Pouring one out for my homies because looks like it's let me do it. So we're doing it. <laughs> I'm pouring one out for the homies. God, Taco Bell is so fucking cheap, dude. Like, thank God. Thank God. How are we looking on copper? We're looking good. I'm so excited to get back to get back to camp land and, and do the thing. See, thank you, Zaris. Just doing honest work, and then they just jump me for no reason. It's, it's frankly, it's out of control. All right, so we're we're all mind we're all mined up. All right, thank you, Junk, for facilitating for facilitating the fod. Uh, you are the bomb. You are the bomb. Ooh, ooh, doo, doo. Now the thief pack, unfortunately, is not really going to do us uh, anything for like the copper because the thief pack, I think, if I remember correctly, is basically just a smaller like inventory thing. Like it doesn't stack or anything like that. Or at least I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Oh, let me talk about I littered dust. I didn't litter. That was a, that was a real human. We tried to save that human. Thank you very much. Speaking of saving a human, we're going to be trying out blue sky and threads. If you guys want to go follow us over there on the thing, you just click the links and do the thing. I like Blue Sky. It's actually it's actually pretty nice. 
Would you even approach Robo Skeleton after seeing pools of blood around it with no body? I, I think those guys are stupid enough that they would. Like, I, I think that they are. I think that they are damn well. Oh shit! What are you looking at? Oh shit! Uh, that's not good. Okay. <sighs> okay, so that's. Oh boy. Uh, so those are dust bandits, and uh, they they hate us a lot. Um, I don't know if we should just start backing away. Yep, they're coming. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to dump. We're gonna have to dump our stock again, and we are gonna have to haul it. Oh my god! Look at how aggressive this area has gotten. All we wanted to do was mine copper. And look what happened. They just called me nuthead! Holy shit! These guys are dangerous as fuck, too. So, like, yeah, these, these guys are super dangerous, because, like, the dust bandits are going to be way stronger than, like, random, random starving idiot. Oh, fuck. Run, Brittle, run, run, run! Go, Brittle, go! You gotta go! Is there anything else he can dump? Like, is he, like, is he, like, over-encumbered in any way? No. We're actually, we're actually weightless right now. I can technically drop this. Oh, shit. Go, 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 go. I'm running. That's where I'm going. That's what I'm doing, you idiot. I'm out of here, man. Oh, God. Run upstairs. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Upstairs where it's safe. What do you mean, welcome back? Whew. Okay. I think we're safe. Maybe they don't, maybe they don't know. Maybe they don't know what the hell happened. Oh, it looks like they got distracted, I guess, by... What? Oh, they wised up. Oh, yeah, bitch, you wised up, didn't you? Yeah, that's right. Oh, they're running because of the dust storm. What a bunch of chumps. Yeah, that's right, bitches. You afraid of a little dust? Afraid of a little dust? Yeah? Yeah? Look at these bitches. They're afraid of dust. <laughs> I do like that they saw the bodies and they left. Like that was that was basically that was basically what happened there. They, just, they were just like, mm -mm, I'm not doing that. Damn, dude, I could stealth KO that bitch for 40 percent. But if I if I start it though, they're coming after me for sure. They did. I mean, they did. They hit. They hit that nah. We gotta be really careful out here though. This is like ten times more dangerous over here than I expected it to be. But thankfully, it's super close to the bar, which is nice. Uh, cause like you know. Super close to the bar, and it's safe. So there you go. And uh, we only need like we only need like one more round, one more round of copper, I think, and then we can buy a few things. Uh, we can at least get the thief pack, which would be nice just to carry around. Um, we uh, we could maybe get like a, we shouldn't need like a new weapon or anything like that, but we definitely want like a better chess piece than what we have. Um, maybe some pants. Uh, but that's about all I can think of right now. That's all I can think of. And then, like, once we get a couple, uh, once we get a little, you know, once we get some, once we get some leeway over there and have, like, the space to do whatever, uh, we can, we can start, start off on our adventure again and fan outward because I have no clue what awaits, what awaits Brittle. I hope he doesn't damage his father's katana. I didn't even think about that. We probably need to be careful with that, I think about it. <laughs> yeah, I just love the idea of them seeing these bodies and just being like, Oh, hell no, dude. <laughs> oh, hell no, dude. I'm fucking out of here, man. <laughs> but like, I am not, I am not doing this. Well, the, the giant stack of copper was necessary. All right, let's, uh, let's zippity-bippity back up here. The bar, the bar is always open. We formed, we formed a pretty good relationship with these guys, too, man. We're, we're up here a good bit. All right, we're up on like floor. There we go. <laughs> Welcome back. Hey, man, let's let's do business again. OK, so there that's like three thousand four hundred and sixty one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the copper that's in here now. And I'm going to grab it. and We're going to go back. All right, so let's do yeah, the Kenshi soundtrack really does go hard as fuck. Okay, uh, I guess, yeah, let's head back to the hub. Um, here we go. 
All right, Brittle. Oh, sneak, just in case. Sneak for the maximum gains. And by gains, I mean whatever, because I don't really know if you're leveling up your sneak skill. You are leveling up your sneak skill. Nice. Keep pumping it. You're going to need it. Matter of fact, matter of fact Brittle, Brittle really needs it because that debuff, man. That shit sucks. That shit is butt. Those guys are still running back and forth, and it kind of worries me that they're going to, like, die of hunger or something. That is, that is a little concerning. I hope that doesn't happen. I have no ill will towards the city guards, so... They have not, they have been only kind to me. As a matter of fact, everybody here has been pretty nice. They've been, they've been pretty cool. Don't want to be punched in the shadow realm. I mean, there may be a point where that is, that is what we're doing. Okay, I do have some stuff to trade. Uh, I've got two copper. Um, so they have a small thieves backpack. They have the regular thieves backpack, which only gives us a negative two to combat skills. But if we're going to do that, I feel like we should probably just. There's also rusty chain mail, but that gives us like lower stealth effects and shit. Uh, there's the drifter leather pants, which are OK, too, but I don't know if they're better than what we have. Blood resistance, 5%. Oh, they are con considerably better. Uh, not even not even as heavy either. They also have some acid resistance, too. Uh, so, OK, we could get some. Uh, would Stealth KO reset the guard AI? I have no idea, actually. Um, yeah, because like the regular Thieves backpack, it, it at least doesn't hinder your stealth. Uh, but it does hinder our combat skills, so we would have to like drop the bag still if we wanted to get into like, an actual fight. Uh, the small one um, doesn't doesn't hinder anything. Um, so like, but I think the the actual size of it is pretty pathetic and wouldn't really help us much at all. So I think I'm just going to get I'm going to buy like the regular thieves pack so we can actually carry shit around because worst case scenario, we just drop it on the grounds and do what we need to do. Uh, the rag shirt also kind of sucks. The cool part about the rag shirt, though, is it does give us like head protection, which we normally can't do head protection because we can't wear helmets. Um, this is what cut resistance zero cut resistance efficiency, 80 percent. This has one percent cut resistance. <laughs> God, one big 1%, dude. Oh, this is the plastic surgeon. Okay. Uh, which we do not, we don't need to change up our look at the moment. Was this the guy we were just talking to? What you got for me, brother? There's something like two, there are like two vendors, right? Because there's like the, there's like sneaky, there's like sneaky me steely. What you got for me, brother? Small thief pack is 10 by 10. Pretty dang good. Damn. Check out the small thief pack. Should have gotten the small, but it's okay. Wumbo, Wumbo is fine for the moment anyway. The Wumbo, the Wumbo will do just fine. I don't know where the other, uh, where the other guild vendor is. Yeah, Cause that's, that's plastic surgery, man. Oh shit, we didn't do the bet. Uh, yeah, we need to do a bet on whether or not the thing is wrong. I just got some simple Bertangos this time. Uh, so, like, the likelihood of this being correct is pretty fucking high. Uh, I will say these Drifter Leather Pants also probably worth picking up, because they seem to be way better than the ones we do have, which means I can also dump our old Samurai Cloth Pants. Uh, because these have better blunt resistance, better cut resistance, harpoon resistance, they're, they're lighter. Uh, they don't have quite as much right and left leg coverage, and this one also had 50% stomach coverage. Thank you to whoever did the bet, I really appreciate it. Um... But the actual coverage, I mean, like, it's not very good. So, like, yeah. Now, whatever our armor is, is going to have to have some stomach coverage, because uh, there's the black and chain shirt, which this does. Uh, it's expensive. Uh, but that does have it. Oh, massive debuff to stealth. Fuck. Um, I can't wear the ninja mask, unfortunately. Can't wear the armored hood. I kind of want these back, though, because, like, shit, that stomach resistance is pretty good. I mean, this is this is slightly better than what we have, and it's pretty cheap, and it would probably look better. Uh, technically. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not good, but it would look cool. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I guess like I guess we could do I guess we could do that. Um, we could also just sell back this and buy the other thief pack, but I feel like that's probably too much. There, at least we can, at least we can look look better for the time being. Look at that! We got pants and a shirt. I'm so proud of Brittle. Brittle's come so far in such a short amount of time. Look at them. Their head is still really big. Their head was never supposed to be that big. I should probably fix that. <laughs> Their head was supposed to be smaller. It's definitely definitely pretty large. And since we have this over here, let me let me fix that. Like their head was supposed to be kind of big, but not not that big. Well, I don't really think we're gonna get much further. <laughs> I think this is just kind of what we get. So. I'm so proud of Brittle, man. What a great what a great day it is. Good for you, Brittle. Wait a minute. I oh, never mind. You do the same guy. I was like I was like fuck. This guy's got something different. Okay, so we have a backpack. Uh, we have a shitty armor. I mean, it's terrible. It is absolutely horrible. Uh, it does increase your stealth, which is good. That'll offset some of our garbage. Um, we did get good pants, and we have a repair kit. I don't know about you guys, but I think I think it might be. Ah! I didn't mean to do that. Oh, okay, we didn't lose out on money. Whew. What do you guys think? You think it's time for Brittle to Brittle to head head back out? He's I mean, he, he's equipped, but he's not well equipped. <laughs> like he is definitely he's equipped, just not 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 well equipped. You have eight points of wear damage. This detracts from your max health and can be fixed at a skeleton bed. Oh, that's right. They wear down. Oh my god. Oh, that's gonna be scary. Which means that this is this is frightening. This is frightening for uh, this is frightening for Brittle. Brittle was unaware of their own degradation. They lived kind of in the kind of in a pretty uh, pretty chill situation. I know we got to use a robot bed. Holy hell! Holy hell! Whatever happened over here? Oh, this dude finally sat down. Oh, that's a that's a dust bandit. What would that bitch think he doing over here, though? Wait a minute! Oh, it's a it's a dust bandit that's dead. But this guy is also like, he's just relaxing. Why does this look like a mess over here? This is why they were. This is what they were running after. But I, I can't start a fight. I can't start a fight here against the Dust Bandit. Because if I do, like, it's gonna be a whole, it's gonna be a whole fucking thing. I can shit, but I can't start, I, I can't. I can't start a fight against the Dust Bandit. Can't start a fight! The, the forbidden toilet. I am curious though, like, again, I'm not, I'm not safe scumming this or anything. We are, to, we, we do have a chance to knock him out. Like, and I mean, like, fuck the dust bandits. Like, they're assholes, right? Oh, is his stomach just, like, slowly, like, falling apart? It is, actually. He will die. Like, eventually, he will die. Interesting. It's gonna, I mean, it's gonna take a long, long, long time. And I don't want to... I don't want to, uh, I don't know. I don't want to risk the knockout. Oh, but I mean, Brittle is upset. Brittle was almost killed by these guys. What, two times? Brittle, Brittle's also a robot. They could just play the long game and just watch as his stomach slowly becomes crippled. I mean, it's going to take a while, but it will. It will take some time. You know what we could do? We could go practice lockpicking while we wait on this man to deteriorate. Now our stealth KO percentage is not is not getting any better. I just don't know what happens if I try to whack him. Whoa! Oh. He has fallen into a recovery coma. 
Interesting. Interesting. He also is full of... He's also full of cigarettes. His friend was also full of cigarettes. Oh, yes. For, I mean, free money. Uh, I'm going to leave him there for right now. And I'm going to... I'm going to squidge back over here. Just really quick. Uh, I'm going to squidge in stealth, of course, just so I get those free points. Um, I don't want him to die. He is critical. But, like... I don't want him to die. We could also use him as, like, a punching bag of sorts. We would just have to, we would just have to punch him. We have to put him in a bed and then just start punching him. Because, I mean, that we do need a, we do need a training dummy for that. And if, any, if anybody earned it, it's a dust bandit. Like, come on. Like, they're fucking asshole. They've tried to kill us so many times. They would just be doing us a favor. Oh, no, I don't, I don't need phase change. I need, I need to sell this man's trash so I can get, become the treasure. The hell did I just do? Oh, my God. Is it because they're not in the building? Where is the fence man? Oh, backpack man. I am here for goods to sell. There you are. I just hope he's not dead uh, by the time we get back. Um, okay, here, you can take... Uh, these are these are all no probalo from the looks of it. He does not give a shit about any of this. That's a decent... That's a decent little haul for not doing anything. I'll take it, man. That's... I mean, shit, we didn't have to do anything. Out of the kindness of my heart, though, I do think I want to sa try to save the man. Whether or not he ends up being used as an actual living, breathing punching bag is a whole different story. But he's dying. But we, we can fix him. We can fix him. If I can get to him fast enough. He has plenty of blood. It's just his stomach. I guess he just took like a puncture wound to the stomach. OK, there we go now. Oh, yeah. Now he's in recovery. Come OK. So, if I were to theoretically take this man, the living one, of course, if I were to, like, theoretically take this guy, and we go out here, like, maybe we can get paid. What the shit is happening out here? What? The dust, the dust boss? Who is the d the dust boss? What? What? Hang on, I gotta put this dude down for a second. Is he like? I mean, do you think we could? Do you think we could like? He does. Look, he looks like he's stuck. I'm a little afraid, but you know what? Is it illegal to stealth KO him? He's out, okay. He's outside of the city. Your honor, <laughs> he wasn't in the city. Okay, there we go. So this save is your honor, he wasn't in the city. I don't know what happened to him, uh, but I'm going for it. Okay, so that failed immediately. But I'm not sure. I'm not positive what's going on. It it did. It didn't fail. What? Wait, what? What is going on? Now I'm just really confused. And honestly, all the shit he has is just garbage, too. But like. Oh. Okay, well now we have now we have two. So like I'm going to walk these guys over here. Now unfortunately, I don't know if I can just attack these people cuz I was thinking like Oh, he's unconscious. He's always oh, going to fall over in a second. I don't know if I can like just attack these people. 
Like, even if it's just like a punch? Because I... <laughs> I mean, I feel like they've earned it. They've earned, they've earned a little beat. Uh, I don't, I don't think we can. I don't think, I don't think we can actually attack them. Uh, but we can, I guess, like, first aid him. We can, we can fix him. Oh, there we go. So now he's back to normal. Oh, now he's unconscious again. <laughs> oh, now he's, now he's unconscious. Damn. They've, I mean, they've earned this, right? They've, they've tried to kill us. Not, oh, here we go, here we go. Damn, he got me good on that one. Holy shit. He's got, he's got some hits. Maybe if I just, maybe if I just block. Yeah, maybe, I mean, we're not blocking. Oh, it's probably because he's set to passive, maybe? I mean, we're, we're juking and jiving, though, I'll tell you that much. Slightly injured. I mean, we, are, we, are we gaining anything from doing this? Melee defense, maybe? No. Dodge? We, I think we are, we are gaining dodge. I, not, not, not a lot of it, but we're gaining some. Whoa! Holy shit, they better not be coming for me, dude. Uh-oh. Oh, no, no, they're going, oh, wait a minute. It's because it's the trade ninjas. Holy shit. Wait a minute. That's a that's a dust bandit. Holy shit. He was coming for me. What is going on, dude? What is oh, dude, I'll, I'll go toe to toe with this bitch. Oh, this is this is a bad idea, though. Oh, this is a bad idea. Uh, oh, we're, we're just setting to block. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get some combat training. Go, go. Wow. Is he dead? No, he's just a little unconscious. Uh, wow, they have, they, they get, I mean, these are, these are some chest wounds over here, dude. Well, we could loot him. Uh, nobody will care. Uh, what? I still don't know what to do with these guys. I feel like, I feel like we've got some prime, I got some prime real estate over here. And I'm not really sure what to do with the dustoids, because, like, what do you do with them, right? Kyle with a C. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that. Welcome to this. Welcome to this. Uh, I mean, like, I could, like, I could fix that dude's, like... I could fix that dude's, like, chest injury. Oh, I need to go grab my shit. I need to go grab my shit and see if this is wrong. Dust boss becomes the dust dust pack. <sighs> Maybe. I the only problem is here, I can't like uh I can't like attack these guys while they're downed. Um his chest is in terrible shape. I also think don't you get the first aid uh training from doing this too? Maybe. Something like that. Also, let's see let's see if this is correct. Uh so we have the drink, which I got another bot I just have I feel the need to get a fucking Baja blast lately, I don't know why. Um I'm not even that big a fan of them, I've just been feeling it. Uh 
is like the most I've, these, these three days are the most I've fucking ordered out in a while. Um, let's see what we got. So there's some sauces. That is interesting. Okay, that's correct. Uh, we got some Bertangos. There should be three of them. Okay. There are indeed three Bertangos. But here's the question. Here's the question. Is the Bertangos correct? There are some sauces. Yep, they're in there. The Bertangos can have a high chance to not be correct sometimes because they like to just throw random shit in there. It is supposed to be rice, beans, and cheese on these, and it appears to be correct. But holy shit. Well, holy guacamole. I can't believe it. Look at that. Correct again. Son of a gun. I'm gonna go grab something. I'll be right back. But yep, they're correct again. Let's get some hoop. They did it. I do have to say, they, I mean, they didn't give me a lot of sauce, but they did actually do sauce. So there you go. I hope you all. Sh oh, I. Oh yeah, it was brave. I knew what I was doing, and by I knew what I was doing, I mean I didn't. Uh, okay, so he's playing dead. So I'm just gonna pick him up because he thinks he's fucking slick, uh, and he's not, and that's just ridiculous. So he thinks he's slick, he's not. Um, I don't know if I could like possibly like just put him down now, and maybe go toe to toe with this bitch. No, I'm going to take him. I'm going to. I think the thieves hate these guys, if I remember correctly. So I'm going to take him up to thief land to go sell all this shit. And uh, I'm going to let I'm going to let the thieves handle him. I, I, I don't know what they're going to do, but like because the, they hate the dust bandits, obviously, because like I, I don't know if it's like because of my affiliation and like they're coming to my aid or what. Or, or maybe like faction wise, they just hate him now, which is which is completely fair. Uh, now, what I am going to do is I'm going to take him up here with the target dummies uh, because I feel like this is where he belongs. So. Actually, I could just put him in a bed. Yeah, let's put him, let's put him in a bed. Let's just see what happens. Let's just let's let this bad boy play out. Cats are going fucking nuts. Whoa! Did you see that? She just started shit with me just because I put him in a bed. John Cena looking motherfucker over here just like. Oh, I'll just start some shit. Thanks so much for putting me in bed. Wow. Like a like a petulant four year old. I don't want to go to bed yet. Why are we using why are we using that ass stick? This thing is terrible. I'm not gonna drop it though, because then he's gonna end up using it. Oh he's in oh he's in oh he's in huge trouble. Oh. Oh he's in trouble. Oh. Oh uh, uh, no, don't tell what are you doing? Where are you taking him? That's mine! Where are you? Where's he go? Where's he going? I. I mean, I, I. He's taking him. He's definitely taking him somewhere. I. But where? Oh God. Where are they running to? I mean, I am a little pissed, but like, I mean, I get it, right? Like, I did drop the body, so like, it is his, technically. I'm just curious where he's going with it. Wow. He walked the trash outside. He walked the trash outside and threw it on the ground. I'm going to heal him back up. I'm going to heal him back up because what we're going to do is we're going to heal him up and then take him back inside because I think he's going to be good. I think he's going to be good. We're training up our first aid skill because you never know. Brittle may end up being a fantastic flesh doctor, even though that's not really what I intended him to be. But like, you know, things happen. All right, I'm going to take I'm going to take the skin man back in for a minute. Because I feel like uh, I feel like I feel like this will be cool. I'm gonna put him in this bed up here, just so there's like a little bit more of a distance to get to. Well, yeah, regular doctors for his people are like people who you know do mechanical repairs. Oh, they oh they chill now. Okay, yeah, this no, this is good. This is good. Okay, so yeah, they're they're chilling. Um. Okay, 
All right, and uh, he, he's cool. Uh, his, his leg may fall off at some point, but... I don't know where the hell these guys are going. There ain't nothing that pressing going on. Jeez. He's Louise. Um, and they came down here to train, man. They're like, oh, it's time. I'm gonna go, let me go talk to the Shinobi trader over here because I, I gotta dump all this garbage. Yes, I, I, have a, I have a plethora of garbage that I just got from all these idiots. Uh, I think one of those was pretty high quality, wasn't it? Wow, we're back up to 2,500 already, man. That's awesome. Hot diggity dang. Was there anything else we wanted to pick up? Because uh, I know the rusty chainmail screws us up on dodge and stealth effect and stuff like that. And we already we already suck on dodge and stealth anyway, so we should probably not do that. <laughs> we should probably just not do that. Uh, the mercenary armor actually seems like it's pretty good. Uh, it has chest coverage, uh, stomach coverage, right arm, left arm. It does have a debuff to stealth, uh, it does have a debuff to dodge, and it does have a debuff to martial arts. Uh, but I mean, like... L that's right, Little Brittle is- thank you so much. Little Brittle's trying to save like he was saved. He is. That's all he's trying to do, dude. That's all Brittle's trying to do, man. That's it. That's all he's trying to do. Now, we do- we do need to get Brittle some armor that's, like, decent. Uh... <laughs> we need to get Brittle some armor that's decent. Um, what I am gonna do, though, is I'm going to train, uh, my wax stick while- I don't know, is this the best thing we could train while I eat? What do you guys think? Cause this bitch, this bitch takes a minute. Oh, I don't even think I don't think that one's gonna work anymore. Is that, is that even moving the fucking progress bar? It, it is. And I like I like the slapping. We could we'd have to have a back out for that. I think I'd rather. Uh, oh, max skill level five. Okay, uh, never mind. Okay, so these guys these guys suck. There's no point in doing these. Uh, max skill level for the knockout dude is 19. Uh, we could do that. There we go. That's better. All right, cool. So we'll do that while we wait. Um, we're safe here. I just, I just realized whenever, <laughs> whenever that dude wakes up, they're just gonna go beat the shit out of him. <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> He's gonna come out of a recovery coma. And they are going to go beat the ever living shit out of me. Oh my god. Okay, hang on a second. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. Okay, so this is gonna go up to 19, right? Okay, that's moving that's moving pretty slow. So there we go. Uh no, I mean I that was kinda like the plan, but I, I I'm just waiting to I'm gonna try to eat before that happens because I'm probably gonna spit my fucking food out. Also, thank you, Junk, for sponsoring this. And being like, <laughs> order the food. I appreciate it. Oh, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if Jigakuro can do the payout. I know I can do it. Just give me a second. Because I didn't, I didn't. What? Did they just steal him and then take him outside with the garbage? Okay, hang on. But let's follow, let's follow this chronicle. Because I think they're just going to leave him outside, which might be even funnier. Please tell me that someone grabbed him and he's literally just going to put it. They're doing it again. <laughs> Man, his legs is gonna fall off too, cause like his leg is looking real slim, and it's gonna start spiraling here in a minute. Oh, he's playing dead. <laughs> he's like, he's gonna try to play dead, and his his leg is just gonna fall off. Oh man, I, I fucking yeah. It's like it's just gonna fall off. Homeboy chose to be a dusty bandit. Now he gets to experience the consequences. They have tried to kill me. They've tried to kill poor, poor Brittle, like, what, like, three times now? Four? Dude, if he stands up... I don't know if he's going to get his ass beat, though. I will say, though, I am going to run down there. If his leg pops off, I'm going to run down there and bandage him real quick and then throw him back in bed. Like, I am... I'm, we're going to... Uh, Brittle... Brittle's do... Brittle is, again, socially awkward and is trying to do the right thing. So that's what Brittle... Oh, oh that leg, that leg about to fly, dude. <laughs> that, that leg looking rough, man. <laughs> you won't be able to kick. Yeah, he ain't gonna be able... He ain't gonna be able to kick. That's for damn sure. Okay. Oh, man, here comes, here comes the leg. Oh, jeez. 
Oh no, oh, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, let's slow it down a little bit. Oh, 99. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> oh no. I just love playing dead. Be like, yeah, is that what's happening? Don't worry, man, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. He's good, he probably won't even lose all the blood from that. I'm coming. Look at me fixing him up. I, be Dude, Brittle's such a good person. Brittle is such a good person. Look at that leg all healed up, ready to go. And you know what? I think it's time to pick him up and uh, take him back upstairs where he belongs. Cause that's, this is where he lives. Maybe eventually they'll be like, oh, this must be like Brittle's pet or something. Yeah, he's fine. Look at that, he's looking good. There he is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Wait, since he, since he has no leg, will he just not fight back? Like, could I theoretically just, can I just punch this man? I mean, I could, we could put like crappy armor on him and then just punch him. Like, I mean, Brittle needs, Brittle needs like a, he needs a good beat bag. Oh my God. Like actually attack unprovoked. What? Uh, I'm just gonna call this one Rocky, Rocky six. Okay. Cause I don't, I don't know how this works. All right, let me, let me see what happens here. So... Is it... Is it working? <laughs> is, it, is it working? I don't, I, don't, I don't know if it's helping. I don't, I don't think it is anymore because he's unconscious now, but like, maybe if I pick him up and then put him back in bed. No, he's still unconscious. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go lockpick and I'm gonna eat my food and we're gonna, we're gonna keep an eye on him. I had, I have a strong feeling, call me crazy. I have a strong feeling that uh, that he is going to get thrown outside again. But he's safe now. So he's safe, uh, which is really great. Um, that's cool. I mean, he's, we know he's safe. He, he's good. He's just unconscious. Like, he's fine. He's just, he just, he just sleeping. He's good. This is good. And God, I hope we got a clip of that. Just beating this man, beating this man in bed as he woke up. Hmm. Oh. All reasonable things that have happened in Kenshi at two o'clock in the morning. I kind of wonder if like, so we knocked him out and it stopped working. I wonder if I put him, if I put like good armor on him, if I could just sit there and punch him since the armor would mitigate. And like the dust bandits have become the skin punching bags. Like that's 100% what they are. And they, they deserved it. They tried to kill me like 50 times. I mean, they did. They tried to kill me like so much. I wonder what he's going to do. Like since he doesn't have a leg, will he even like move? Like, wouldn't technically, wouldn't they, like, crawl? This is healthy, right? Like, what we're doing? All of it. I don't, I don't actually know the ways to, uh, the ways to, like, turbo train stuff. I know there's, like, weird shit you can do, but, uh, I mean, I don't know if this is one of them. I'm debating on grabbing that, that shitty armor or going outside and seeing if there's a dustoid that has some shitty armor. Uh, 
Because, like, if they have shitty armor, I can put that on him. And then that way I can punch him, punch him and it won't hurt him. But I can level up my punch. So, like, while we may not be able to punch here past level 5... Finney, Finney's being a weirdo. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you can, like, mod in a skin peeler. Like, I'm, I'm sure that that's real. Technically, you have to mod the skin peeler into this, because, like, you can't make one by default. And I, I would never, I would never do that anyway. Wait, you can? Oh, but you're talking about the mod. Okay. He looks, uh, he looks pretty good, doesn't he? His leg is healing up. Dude, I have no idea if that was a mod or not. Like, I, I legitimately have no clue. Oh, no, Peggy, Peggy had a couple mods, yeah. Okay, so I think... No, we're not we're not quite we're not quite capped up on uh all that yet. Right, he's got about he's got a little bit left on his unconsciousness. Uh, the wee bit a wee bit left on the unconsciousness. Are we sure you can buy the blueprints to make him? Oh. See, that's I I swear to god we downloaded a mod for that. Oh, I'm not running really anything. I'm running dark UI and like uh, the thing that fixes, like, the texture loading shit that, like, causes it to jitter really bad. We're not doing anything. Oh, we also added more character animations, so, like, we were able to add, like, a sweet lean. Yeah, we were able to add, like, a sweet lean to our boy. To Brittle. Because he needed it. He needed it to look, like, fucking awesome. Okay, so he's almost awake. Uh... And we are still working on that lock picking, which we need anyway, because like if we try, if we break in anywhere else, like my god, we we need the help because of our debuff. Okay, so buying and researching peeler is indeed a mod. All right, so that was that was modded, which means I sought that out. Oh my god, there's so much. Oh, the head of Skin Bandits dropped a peeler blueprint. Okay, never mind. So much misinformation. I'm, I'm really... I'm really curious to see what happens when he gets up. Like, I'm kind of curious if they're just going to give him, like, the royal ass beating, or if he's even going to move. That thing, by the way, that posts like every like 15 minutes is going to be way lower. I'm just doing that because it's the first night I'm talking about it. Here we go. 60 seconds. Well, technically longer than 60 seconds, but you get what I'm saying. That was substantially less funny than I thought it was going to be. I love how instead of being anything, it's just like crippled. I'm like, wow. That's it. That's it. That's what we got. Wait, is he going to... Oh my god. Okay, I, I thought he was coming up here to like, chuck him out the window or something. Okay, I do want to grab... I kind of wanted to buy the armored rags back from him. But I'm looking for like something that would give him, like, any type of resistance. Which I suppose, like, the Rusty Chain shirt would. Because I want to see if punching... Like, if I throw some crap on him, right? If I throw some crap on him... If I can then do the punch. I don't know what's going on with Finn. Hang on a second. I know you're 
the bird right now. All right. So I'm guessing since he's since he's chill over there. I don't know. This is expensive though. Uh, but we could try. We could try like throwing the armored rags on him. But it doesn't really cover his stomach and chest. But it does cover his arms. Let's just give it a shot. Um, that sucks to spend that kind of money, but like it's worth it. I mean, we made free money off the bandits anyway, so like we may as well try it. So let me walk over here and let me see if I don armor upon him. I give him if I give him the protection, right? So now he's protected. And if I remove my blade, right? So we got to pay close attention here. So I'm going to start. I'm going to attack unprovoked. OK. All right. So he's not other than the stomach, which, of course, we're hitting like every time. Uh, is it increasing our melee attack? No. Is it increasing our martial arts? Hell yes, it is. Oh, oh my God. Yes, we made a human punching bag. All right. Ha diggity dang. So the better armor, the better it would work. Wow. Eric was asking from the other room if Robo is in the chat. So if we got it, if we got a better armor, we could punch, we could human, we could human skin bag punch even better. Damn. So now I know what to look out for. So we, like, we want to find like the best armor we possibly can. Like the best. And then just get it for him. Because like technically... If I, okay, so he's like screwed up right now, right? But we got several martial arts points from that, and we didn't even have to do anything, which is great. Is he dead? No, he's not. Okay, uh, let me let me let me let me break off from this, and let me try to. I, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, oh, I guess I was gonna. Oh, I think I could pick him up and then put him back down. Am I, am I just, like, ultimately scamming the system here? Like, what is happening? Or oh, I guess if we just wait now, he'll heal. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna heal up good. All right. That's not an atrocity, right? Brittle is a good boy. Brittle has been trying... Look, they tried to kill him, like, 50 times. Okay? Like, they have tried to kill Brittle a million times. They can at least help him by being punching bags. Okay? Like, that's all, that's all I'm saying. All right? Like, they could at least... Give him the courtesy of this, right? Like, come on. Let's see assassinations can get us up to 19. Okay, I'm gonna let that bad boy heal up. He's looking good, dude. Now we we gotta we gotta get him something for his stomach though, cause like that uh that armor, <clears throat> that shit, that's terrible. Cause like that armor is just it's so good. Well, look, I'm not gonna sit here and punch this man all day. I was just trying. I'm just trying to eat. Okay, I was trying to come up with something that we could do while we eat. And in this case. It was armoring a man who lost his leg and then uh, beating him uh, to level up his martial arts skill because they tried to kill him. Check the HP on your hands. Low level martial arts damage damages yourself when punched. Oh, shit. I think we're OK. Oh, yeah, we're good. We are a OK. He's healing up nice, man. Yep, that's true. Brill saved the person's life. Could have let him bleed out. Didn't. That's the least they can do. It is the least they can do to help out. <laughs> All I gotta do, man. All I gotta do. But now I know. Which is good, so... How's that assassination looking? It is taking, it's taking forever, predictably. So if I go up there right now and I go... Just punch again. What happens if his stomach... He's probably, he's probably cool, right? Oh, yeah, he didn't, he didn't even need the stomach. He probably didn't need the chest either. Oh, he working, he working that leg now. 
Okay, so now that he's in the recovery coma, now we have to now we have to fix him. Right? Okay, so good chance to doctor. Alright, nice. Nice. Looking good. Alright. Now I, what here's what here's what I am gonna do. I'm gonna take this armor back. Uh, and I'm going to resell this because I am now, I am now, we're, we're finished. We're finished with this. We now know that there is, there is some tech. There is some tech and I'm going to let, uh, I'm going to let the gang handle it, I think. So like, I'm going to let everybody here just kind of handle him. Um, well, I was going to sell some stuff. I don't know where the, I was going to sell this armor back and be like, oh, are you done with the armor? Yes. The beatings are complete. <laughs> yes, the beatings are complete. The mechanics are being game. Nick is back in the group. I'm not, I'm not going to look. I could totally see how if you like fully armored somebody and you just sat there and punched that you could easily level up your martial arts to like a bit. That is not, that's not fun. We're not going to do that. So now if we catch ourselves doing that periodically throughout the game to people that have wronged us, that's fine. I just don't want to do that the entire game. So <clears throat> um, that, that is, there's not, not a lot of fun in that. Also, is the ninja... Oh my god, I think the ninja blade is better than dad's heirloom. No, it is not, actually. I think this, one, this one's much better. Okay, so we're gonna leave him... Uh, we're gonna leave him to it. Uh, this guy right here, we're gonna leave him to it. Um, I don't know... I don't know what's gonna become of him, because... They're definitely gonna move him, I guess, at some point, but I don't know... We could just... We could just take him with us. As like a as like a as like a skin man and put a backpack on him. I mean like he could be he could be really helpful. Uh at like carrying stuff. Like the oh god, the imagine the amount of copper we could get. But you know what? I don't think Br Brittle Brittle has done pretty well at staying uh staying clean. And in this case, you know, it's just a little, it's a little payback for them trying to murder him, right? You know what I'm saying? If somebody tried to murder you and you knew you could like, you know, get a degree from it, would you not do it? You know what I'm saying? So like somebody tries to kill you, right? Like on the street. And then like you save them. And as payment, they're like, okay, you're going to get a master's degree, right? And would you would you be like, oh, that's sweet. Yeah, definitely. You do it, right? Because that's exactly what just happened. Like, basically, what was happening there is he was giving us a master's degree in Kung Fu. And that's pretty sick. I think that's pretty good. So, I do need to finish, I do need to finish munching on this. Oh, I gotta take a look at the thing? Okay. I will, hang, hang on one second. I'm almost, I'm almost done with this and I can move all this shit. And we can get back to Kenshi. Also, how's everybody doing? By a show of danglies, who's still alive? <laughs> who's still alive at 2 a.m.? While I eat Taco Bell, this is, I literally was just beating a man that was trapped in a bed while I ate Taco Bell, and yet there are still probably people here watching this. What level I get my martial artist to? Oh, not high. It's like ten. And there's a big, big fat solid ten. A big old ten, which is nothing. <laughs> so. Oh. Nice, Doris. You get you some rest, buddy. Thank you guys again for all the support tonight. Thank you, Junk, for financing some FOD. I really appreciate that. That was very sweet of you. And everybody for this, for all the support tonight and for keeping this little show in business. Like I said, we are running the ad things right now because I'm testing to see what happens with the, uh, especially tomorrow because it takes like 24 hours for it to like kick in. I'm curious to see if uh, if the recommendation algorithm plays a little bit more favorably to us when that is on, if it doesn't, I'm turning that shit off because there's I'm, I'm not doing that. But <clears throat> if it does, whatever, yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be interesting. So, OK, do we have anything to sell right now? No, we actually still have some first aid in case we need to help out more humans, because that is that's what Brittle does. Brittle's very helpful. Uh, Brittle has a little bit of armor now, but nothing too good, especially our chest piece is pretty bad. Uh, we might really, really, really need to get a good chest piece at some point. Um, I'm fighting off the wilding hours of uh, one gray house cat and about to have to resort to kitty jail. We almost, we had to put, we have to, we still have to put Finn in kitty jail some nights, which kitty jail is literally a, a, one of the bigger rooms, bigger rooms in the house. And there's this little zip up like curtain thing that's in there. It's just where, 
It's where he goes, which is funny because when he fucks up, he walks in there sometimes. Why is this guy Naruto running? What is this? It's a dust bandit. Why are they in pieces? What is going on? Oh my god, these guys are hobbling. Oh, what? That one's like crippled and crawling on the ground. What is going on? Holy shit. The dust bandit bowman? Oh my god. This is insane. I wonder if Brittle... You think Brittle should do something about this? I think Brittle should. Brittle, Brittle, has, Brittle has had to go up against these guys so much. And uh, I, I, think, I think Brittle should take a crack at him. I really do. Oh, he's running. Oh, they're getting up. Oh, my God. Does that guy have a bow? Oh, shit. He has a bow. That's not good. That's really not good. Fuck. Okay, so that guy, they're probably not going to be able to hit me for shit, but I'm really worried about this dude, mostly. Go, go, go. Brittle. Oh, my God. You just took a nasty hit to the chest. Come on, man. What's going on? Okay, good hit. Good hit. Good hit, Brittle. Oh, oh, we're going to get surrounded here in a second, and it's not going to be good. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, this is getting bad. <clears throat> um, okay, maybe maybe take this dude out first. Oh, God. He just shot his own friend! What an idiot! Oh, bro, that club! Holy shit! Oh, God. Brittle, flex that dodge. Come on, baby. Brittle, Brittle, look at this dude! <laughs> look at this dude running around and just flapping. Holy crap! I'm gonna peel out for a second and uh, I'm gonna heal. <laughs> I can't. What is that bone dog? What's the bone dog doing? What's the bone dog doing? What is it? Holy shit! Oh my god, I think he's about to go eat somebody. Holy crap the bone dog's about to eat somebody the bone dog coming to how do, how do we how do we befriend him oh you idiot how are you even blocking anything how is this man's swordsmanship somehow better than ours this is unbelievable this is unbelievable thank you do i need to drop my pack i, do, I need it i need to bro oh my god our chest is so damaged Holy shit. This is nuts. Do I need to drop the sack? Is it really debuffing us that bad? Oh. My God. Oh my God. And there goes Flappy McLemonson's. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. These guys are... Where are they going? They're just gonna die. Like, they're bleeding to death. We're rebooting currently. Oh, yeah, we got... Oh! Bone Dog got an arm! Whose arm did he steal? He's playing limb! What? What? Dude, what is happening? This guy is slowly crawling over to me, and frankly, if he kills me or something, I'm gonna lose it. Oh, no. They are currently following the leader. Look, man, you gotta, you gotta level it up somehow, right? Come on, reboot. Reboot, reboot and heal. You got this. No, do not play dead. Get up. No, get up. It's time. Bring yourself back from the brink. Brittle. Oh, Br we're just dying. Well then. That was, uh, that was interesting. Well, given that we're deep in, like, so-and-so amount of hours, I might just roll back whatever our last autosave was. I'm still going to do the fight, but, like, that's weird. It's really strange that that just fell straight into dying. Huh. There's nothing I can do about those. Because they're just going to, I guess they're just going to go until whatever. If we had another party member, I'd say, yeah. What's our autosave look like? <laughs> Normally, not into the autosave, but let's see here. Was this, was this before or after we got knocked down? 
Okay, this is like this is like during this fight. Okay, so as much as I do not want to do this, for the sake of this playthrough, it's probably smart. I'll let I'll let this go down. But like, yeah, we got we gotta like peel and fucking heal. Like, cause there's this is just not working. Look at that guy coming for me. Oh, there's no passive healing, so if you're gonna Oh, I, I didn't know that. That's another that's another downside of the Skelly Bros. Alright. <laughs> Dude, I still can't get over Flappy McLim. Like, I cannot get over his ass. Also, that guy's right arm is still in pretty good shape, which I guess is why he was able to do whatever. I do want to go loot those guys, though. Like I said, I'm definitely sticking with the permadeath quality of this, but like that, that felt like I was stupid. That would have sucked. <laughs> All right, he's coming in. Just keep moving. Keep moving and repairing. Uh, if we get close enough, the, the town will help us. <laughs> I cannot get over that guy with the double broken lip. I cannot I get over him just flapping like... That's like, that is like the most Kenshi shit ever. That man just flapping in the wind. What, actually, that guy hobbling away is also pretty, pretty damn Kenshi. His legs are in huge trouble. All I got this guy is just doesn't care, I guess. Ooh, we're actually in, still in bad shape because I don't know how much our repair kit can actually handle. Okay, it can, it can fix most of our chest, it looks like. Okay, that's that's all we got, which means it's time we have to get another uh, we have to get another repair kit, or find a or find a skele bed. I'm kind of curious where those jackasses went, but for the time being, while our while our condition is deteriorating, unfortunately, I think all of the corpses were either picked clean. Oh no, no, they haven't been. Okay, I'm gonna try to gather whatever I can from these guys uh, and then take it back and sell it. Whoa, look at this dude. Holy crap. He's in a bad state. Wow. Oh, he's in. Oh, he's in a real bad state. Holy cannoli. <laughs> Holy cannoli. Who is this? Oh, it's another hungry bandit. We should probably not get into any fights. But I mean, like, holy crap, like. Holy. Oh, hey, <laughs> we can just steal their shit. <laughs> I love got caught stealing and as it comes out it's just their body ragdolling down. <laughs> Fucking got caught stealing we're like yeah did we <laughs> did we get caught stealing that's crazy man Oh my god that is the funniest shit Fucking <laughs> I got stealing it. They just racked all. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Okay, yeah, we definitely want to definitely want to loot these guys for sure. And then then we gotta figure out our our chest situation. Ooh, damn, he got that spiked Ungo Bungo. He also got junk bow Ungo. They got all kinds of they got all kinds of trash. Uh, let's take let's see what this guy's trash is. The Bowman, the Bowman actually seemed to have some pretty good, I mean, relatively pretty good stuff. Okay, I don't think if I arrange that, anything's going to be different, so I might just be out of room. Son of a bitch. Maybe I can get the helmet? Yes. Okay, I'm going to cram, I'm going to cram all this in here. This is all I can really do. Uh. Okay, so I'm thinking we should also, there was that one guy who was like, 0% chance on stealth KO, huh? What the hell just happened there? What was that? Um, seeing if there's anywhere else I can snoodle doodle something like maybe another helm. Nice. Uh, no, nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, let's uh, let's take. Oh, there he goes. He's scrunching. What's he doing? What the dog doing? Look at that flat foot. Damn. Go for that stealth KO. <laughs> oh, 
my god. How, is he doing okay, you think? He I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna aid him. I think I think that he earned it. Oh. Uh oh. He just lost a limb. He's probably he's probably fine. Oh well I'm out of first aid. Well, buddy. I'm gonna say uh good i I'll tell you what, I'm bring you back with me because I got an idea. Let me pick up his skin. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to these guys and I'm going to loot them and then use, want to use his skin as a bag. Okay, so we got him, right? And then I just need to, oh, that's going to be like so much work because I can't like drop stuff on the ground. Ah, it's too much. Here, we can just, we just chuck him down. Good luck, buddy. <clears throat> I tried my best. Hopefully you don't bleed to death. I don't, I don't think you're going to. But, you know, every time you repair someone, I swear he loses a leg. What the hell's happening out? Oh, it's the bone dog. Oh, no. Bone dog's unconscious. Oh, no. We, we have to help him. Oh, shit. Where are we? Get out, are we in stealth? Get get out of here. Go. We gotta go help him. Oh, he's got ma major, major damage to his head. Yeah, he's a wild animal, but like... Maybe we can befriend him. If I catch him and give him the meat. Maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get a bandage and hopefully maybe, maybe I can fix him. I told you, Brittle has a penchant for helping. Misguided as he may be sometimes. I'm gonna get a repair kit, okay? I'm, look at- hang on a second! Is this my Kenshi playthrough where I get to save the bone dog? That's what I thought. I'm saving the- I'm saving this wild ass bone dog, dude. He deserves it. He didn't do anything wrong. Hey. My chest is accumulating cinder. It's gonna be fine. Everything's good, dude. I'm gonna get two Band-Aid. Uh, and I am going to fix this bone dog. Also, I'm gonna sell all this shit because fuck all this stuff. Oh my god, look at all that money. Look at all that sweet, sweet cash. Which is good because I need to buy a fancy repair kit. Uh, and I'm gonna need that. <laughs> I'm gonna need that money. So I might have to go out there and go loot them once again. Uh, but we do have Band-Aid. So don't no what are you doing? Okay, there we go. No! Give me that bone dog! You fucking jerk! I'm gonna fix him. Look at me, I'm fixing his head. Got him. He's in a recovery coma. He's gonna be okay. He's gonna be okay. We're gonna take him, we're gonna take him back to Thief Central. Actually, that's stupid. Because. I'm waiting Bone Dog's leg for him to fly off and run off with. It. Oh my god. Our chest, our chest is in bad shape. But to get it, to get a repair kit, I mean, we're gonna have to go. I, I don't know where the hell we're gonna have to go. I'm gonna leave Bone Dog here because I think Bone Dog will be safe here. I don't think we can recruit Bone Dog, unfortunately. But I, I think. Well, that's just rude. That's just rude. You just, you know what though? He's fine. He'll be, he'll be cool. Uh, because he is, he is better. He, he's gonna get better. So, he's fine, and I trust him. Uh, Bone Dog's gonna be good. <sighs> now we have to find, we have to find Robot Repair Kit sixty nine. Uh, but before we do that, we should probably go grab some more loot off of these assholes. Um, we should probably grab some more loot off of those assholes so we have the ability to, like, actually do anything here, so. There was some other dead person over there, and I'm not sure what was up with that. But yeah, I definitely need to grab the rest of their trash. Or as much of the trash as I can. Uh, namely, their weapons, I think, are worth the most, so... No, that's 705. Eh, 303. Whatever. Uh, definitely, definitely, get, definitely getting the Wii Upons. The the, oh, the armor's worth the most, easily. Well, maybe not all of it. Let me let me try to be like a little bit more choosy with some of these, I guess, because like some of these I think 
Uh, that's only worth 99. That's only worth 180. Uh, 243, 356. Uh, that's not terrible. This is not terrible. This can go. There we go. Uh, I'm just see if there's any other if there's any other corpses. Oh, these are just hungry bandits. They don't they're not anything. <laughs> the other shit sucks. Yeah, they're garbage. Uh oh, oh my god, there's like way more. God damn, there was a huge fight up here. Holy shit. Okay, that's worth trash. Uh not trash. Eh. I guess we'll just like fill up with whatever we have now. I I guess we'll run to uh Shit, I don't know, man. I, I suppose. Did, I'm wondering, did the did the rebel base have a repair kit? I feel like it did. So I'm gonna have brittle. I'm gonna have brittle just haul it up there. Which they're moving pretty slow because we are encumbered, but it's fine. Hey, ghost, what's up, man? Is that no bone dog for you? Yep, they did. I don't know if you can actually, like, do anything with wild animals. Like, if you, like, give them meat or something like that. You can, like, tame them. I don't really remember. Okay. Uh. Oh, hey, it's that dude. Yeah. Wow. Um. I remember you. I remember you, wandering assassin. I have kind of a bone to pick with you because I tried to help your ass and you didn't do anything. God. Uh, let's do business. Okay. So let's dump all of this refuse. All of the refuse gonna look like Exxon. Um, but they do not. Oh, they do have. They have a regular skeleton repair kit. Um, did we not have like the advanced one last time or something? I don't know what we had. I don't know. Wanted L's fat is a bug house. Okay. There's also the pacifier guidance for. Oh my god, there's so much there in there. There's also the building materials we can pick up some too, but I mean, we need this money for. I mean, we may as well buy it. It's. It's expensive, but I mean, like, we need it, though. So. It's expensive, but we need it. So let's do that. Uh, we should be able to fix this all up. I'll just hang out outside, and uh, the repairs are gonna take a minute, but. Hey, at least we're increasing our robotics. Oh my god, that one has so much. Jesus Christ. That thing's a huge repair kit. Wow. That's like really good. <laughs> That's crazy good, actually. It is, that is way, 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 way more durable. All right, so what do you guys think is next on the docket for Brittle? Because I'm thinking we've seen that Brittle's combat skills are still very not great. Uh, that's very not so great. Um, we could try going back to Squin, uh, which is probably the safe bet. Uh, hey, Pingy. How about we go back to Squin? Uh, they don't seem to be pissed at us, so, like, that's good. <laughs> so that's good, I guess. We just need to be on the lookout for, uh, we need to be on the lookout for bandits and fucking asshole dusties and god knows whatever else because they just they just seem to be all over the place are we running oh, i was about to ask if we we're running through squin wait a minute what is that holy nation outlaw kidnap what why would it be kidnap if he's dead All of his stuff is worth absolutely nothing. This guy, this guy is worth actually nothing. Oh my god. Wow. I guess maybe even like a dead Holy Nation dude is... I don't know. That's really strange. There are many ways. There are many ways to grow in the Kenshi. Unfortunately, our physical defense is still pretty pathetic, as is our melee attack and our martial arts. As a matter of fact, we might have been in a better spot if we had just punched... That dude, instead of swinging the katana stick, because I think 10 martial arts is going to be better than four in the katanas. Yeah, I'm not really sure how you kidnap a corpse either. That's just corpse robbing, so I, I don't know.
Oh, you have 13 points of wear damage. This attracts from your max health and can be fixed at a skelly bed. Okay, so we still need to... Still need to find a skelly bed. The problem of letting cannibals beat you up, though, is... Uh... Is that we had a situation a minute ago where we had to do an autosave and pull back because we died to rebooting, trying to repair, and then dying again. And I was like, wait a minute. Maybe his zombie relatives will pay for it. Alright, turbo speed it up. Let's see where this let's see where this leads us. And for those of you that missed the beginning of this, I highly recommend watching the start of the VOD because Brittle's journey has been pretty great so far. All things considered, and given how, given how like short it's been, relatively, it's been pretty damn good. Uh, I, I have high hopes for where Brittle's journey goes in the future. Okay, so nothing we have is currently stolen. Nothing. So we should be okay to just enter the city. Unless they get pissed from that one uh, med, that repair kit that we... Uh, here you go, man. <laughs> Acceptable. Go. Be gone. Well, the cool part is, like I said before, I lost so much knowledge since, like, the last time we played that, like, a lot of this, I'm kind of, like, learning, uh... <laughs> I'm kind of, like, learning all this stuff again, which is really cool to be able to do that. Like, I... I you know, like, you're always like, oh, I wish I could play that game again for the first time. Naturally, that's not gonna be the case with this, obviously, because, like, I'm, you know, I've played it before, but... Uh, in, in this instance, I think it's pretty cool just because... Holy shit, the bug master, you get 100k? Wanted for banditry, raiding, mass murder, cannibalism, genocide, extremely dangerous attack on sight. Uh, appears to have control of an army of spiders. Known residence is in the crater of Eric, southwest of the Stan Desert and Spire Plains. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna take that. Because... I mean, like, look... If we, if we just so happen to come across him later, that's a cool 100k. That's... <laughs> That sounds horrible. Let's do it. Let's. It sounds horrible. Let's do it. Oh my god. Okay, I probably shouldn't make any waves in in Squin. Uh, I also need to find some robot beds, but that's gonna be considerably harder to do. I think. What is this place? Okay, I know this is the backpack store, which we've been there before. We did unfortunately have to uh, have to borrow a repair kit uh, from the backpack store. Which sucks. What got to do with an army of spiders? I don't know, man. What would you do if you had an ar if you had an army of spiders that was under your command right now? No questions asked. They would do anything you wanted. What would you have them do? Make sweaters? Well, I guess we didn't. I guess we didn't cover what size the spiders were. I, su I suppose we didn't. I kind of want to test. I kind of want to test my lockpick. My lockpick. Uh, gumption on this. Protect me from other spiders and stay hidden. Uh, there's nobody in sight right now, so like we could we could test our lockpick for sure. Committing crime, committing crime, committing crime. Okay. I just need to level, I just need to level this up. Lockpicking is what, 17? How much do we get for a failed attempt on this? It's probably it's probably gonna be pretty beefy. Ooh, damn, that's pretty good. I just I just can't let anybody catch me. God, so much pick failed. So much pick failed, but it's gonna be worth it. I'm not probably not even gonna break into this place. I probably just want. I just want to level up my lockpick skills. Again, Brittle is very socially awkward. I don't really think they do things out of malice. I think they do things just because... <gasps> it's, up. it's almost daylight. Cheese it. Cheese it. They're going to find out. I wonder, if the, I wonder if the shop man is still, like, pissed at me from, like, 80 years ago. Do you think he is? He, he, he probably is. Then again, though, I'm not sure. Maybe he's, maybe he is just, maybe he's hitting the old, the old forgive and forget. Okay, so the bar, the bar is like, the bar is still closed. Um. 
open at the bar, the uh, the backpack store. Bar's open. Uh, oh, I guess it is like five. We could just go like west of Squin. I, I I don't know what waits out there for Brittle, but I do feel like I mean I do feel like they gotta keep going. They don't have to worry about food, so we don't have to prep that. <sighs> but they do have to worry about you know everything else and being all alone. Wow, they didn't even stop me. What a bunch of idiots. <laughs> Those fucking squinials are so stupid. Mm. That is a big, wide open space that feels like death. Maybe, maybe we could go. Oh, man. Um. God. I don't know where I forgot. I forgot how big and open Kenji was and how scary this was. Oh, I was supposed to check something in Discord. Hang on a second. Damn. I was all looking, uh, they all looking good. They, they all looking good. Kildred, stop baiting me. <laughs> stop, stop baiting me. Brittle's got to make a couple friends here soon. Can't he can't go on alone forever? It's too dangerous out here. I need someone with like insane run speed that can hang out with him that can just like pick him up and haul ass if something bad goes wrong. <laughs> Discovered the way station. Yeah, is that what this is? Oh, up there. Okay. Wait. Way station's not Holy Nation, is it? Oh God. Oh, God. Look at all this shit up here, man. I really should not have this sped up at all, because the amount of crap that just come flying out of nowhere. Just be like, hey, hey, who wants to get their ass eaten? That spindly thing just scared the hell out of me. Channels we think you'll like. Shows Nick is the first option. Ah, you have mighty fine taste, Twitch. They're like, you can go check this bitch out. They enabled ads. We had been hiding them because of the ads. Tinfoil hat. I don't know if it's like so much tinfoil hat if I like legitimately believe that they have some weird back end crap like that. <laughs> Bit bitter tinfoil win. Soon. We could put, we could make a, we could do bitter tinfoil about making bitter tinfoil. That'd be awesome. Uh, what the hell is that? What the fuck did that just mark? What is that? What's going on over there? That was like a transaction, I guess, because that was like 73 cats for something. Like, what was that? We're not getting those, uh, we're not getting those massive stutters like we used to. Yeah, what? What is this? Discovered an exile camp. What, uh, what kind of exiles are we talking about? <sighs> Holy nation exile? Like, what, what, what exiles are we talking about? Because this is a little scary. Brit Brittle was afraid. <laughs> and then Brittle was afraid. Oh, no, I think this is, I think this is chill. Oh, yeah, it's just like a, it's like a little vendor area. Oh, yeah, I think there's, okay, all right. Oh, my God. They might actually have, uh, they might actually have, like, robot repairs here. Maybe they, maybe they, uh, maybe they're friendly towards skeletons. Well, that would be, that would be a shock. Hmm. Lots of shady looking characters here, but. The, 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 the barkeep? Tell me what you got, barkeep. Like they have a skelly repair kit, which we're good on that for right now. We've got tools. Um, got decent first aid. There's the traders, uh, the traders backpack, which is, which we know is good. Uh, I know it like debuffs a lot of shit, but it does also allow for uh, stacking in the pack, if I remember correctly. But that maybe maybe isn't something that we actually need to do just yet. There's a map. Uh, for the map of United Cities Extended Territories. 
It's only 400, which might be worth it just to mark some stuff on the map, but wandering is part of the fun, in my opinion. And the map doesn't really solve anything for you, but, I mean... Who are these assholes? Best not be looking at me, man. Or I'll... Best not. Or you'll what? I'll take your... I'll take off your toes. Off, yeah. Clean off. Then I'll eat your heart, liver, too. Finally, I'll puke it all into your chest. Haha, ha, use your toes and sew it back up. What are you gonna do about that? Bro, I'm a... I'm a robot. What are you even fucking talking about? Try harder, do better, get lost. Damn. Mercenary captain. Look at hire some bodyguards, need some mercenaries to guard my outpost. There's also this dude over here, guild pacifier. Yeah, it seems like we got a couple we got a couple ragtag idiots out here. Who is Photo? Heading out the city. Need any recruits? <laughs> dude, how How much could you possibly cost? You are literally skin man. Also, well, he does have telekinesis because he's floating that bread, which is kind of scary. I'm going to tell him no for the time being because fuck that. What is this guy doing? That's another holy pacifier. Okay. Plastic surgeon. Mercenary, mercenary. There's another... There's, another, there's, a, there's an alarming number of naked men who appear to be mercenaries, and I feel like maybe they should probably be doing better than that. That just doesn't seem like that's going to do them a ton of favors. So, there's Flick. What does he do? Flick, what'd that booty do? Can I help you? Looking to hire some bodyguards. Okay, so, lots of, uh, lots of, lots of options here for to hire some people. I don't know if any of them, like, could be Come permanent party members? Uh, I have no idea. So, I mean, I'm trying to remember how we even got the bulk of our party members last time. Look at this guy. Oh, he's a construction dude. Oh, nice. So he's got a bunch of construction supplies. Interesting. Well, we need to remember that, I guess. He also sells skelly repair kits. Um, for slightly lower than they normally are. Mm, he's also got cotton and fuel and books. Cactus. Copper alloy plate. Yeah, so they got some, uh, they got some, this is definitely the place to come if we're trying to, you know, build. <laughs> if we're trying to, you know, build. Imagine that. So nothing too, like, super useful for us here. There's also no robo beds, which is a little sad. I thought that maybe, I thought maybe this way station would have robo beds, but unless we were unless we were looking to hire somebody, which I don't think Brittle's in the business of that currently. Uh, I, w I don't think I'd be opposed to it later, but we get at least I could get I could probably afford the naked people, um, and look the people I get I'm gonna name chat after so like. Or a name after people in chat. So like, I don't know. I don't know if like you guys want to be like Nakey Nen Nakey Nendrick. That's gonna be a little, that's gonna be a little difficult. Oh, Nakey Nendrick, what do you do in the off time? Oh, wait, there's another exile camp down here. Wait, didn't we? Did we just go to that? Oh no, we discovered the exile camp. Okay. Oh, buddy. Anytime I see open plane like this, I'm just like, oh my god. I'm like, oh boy, how fast until like some beak thing or something just comes up and just eats me. Because it is, it is almost guaranteed to happen. Rolling out an open desert over here. I thought, oh, I guess that was the exile camp. I'm not entirely going to sleep, but going to mobile. All right, well, that sounds good. As much as I am absolutely loving this, I don't know I don't know how long I can go tonight because I am pretty tired. So we had to take Erica's mom to the doctor and stuff earlier, so I'm, pre I'm, a, I'm definitely pretty turd. There's a big, big, fat copper vein there. Um, and the only people that we could really sell it to would be up over yonder way.
This is a fancy place. God, look at all the veins up here, though. Holy shit. The hell is that? Time to find out. Heading in that direction. Uh, it looks like it's something on the edge of... I can't remember if that's like some demon fog swamp shit. And there's like some fog bitches that'll try to eat my butt. Oh, it's... Oh! Uh-oh. Oh! What is this? Surrender yourself or die. Okay. Alright, I've got better things to do than deal with a bunch of goddamn assholes. Let's talk about this peacefully. We want your junk, your food, your gear, all of it. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say never I won't surrender to you that easy, you thieving assholes. Uh, these guys are probably pretty dangerous because, like, there's a lot of them. If it was, like, one or two dudes, I'd maybe give it a shot. But I think... I think what we're gonna do is answer and then just haul it. Don't even think about running, huh? Oh, I'm running. I'm way faster than you idiots, too. <laughs> I'm way faster than Clown Town over here. Wait, is he... Is he alone? I'm sorry, is the gang all turning back? Holy shit, they all left. Oh my god. Oh, and they're, oh, they're getting dust stormed. What a bunch of idiots. Uh-oh. All right. Oh, stop turning around. Okay. Uh, I, the closest I can think of that we, it was like safety was the exile camp. There's also a swamp village. Now these guys may break off at some point. I don't know if they will. If they do... Oh god, the whole camp. Oh shit. Well, the camp woke up, everybody. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. Oh, brittle. <laughs> oh, brittle, we've gotten ourselves into a pickle. They'll probably give up, right? Maybe? All we needed was a well-placed grenade. We could have handled that entire situation. We could have handled all of that seamlessly. <laughs> Look, I'm just, I'm just grateful that we're already very fast. Like, we're a good bit faster than them already. They are, they are still coming, though, dude. They are right behind us. Holy crap. Our athletics is 34, and it's only going up. So... That is good. Uh, they're they're still they're still coming. I, we legit might make it back to camp with these guys still in tow, which is going to be hilarious. Matter of fact, let me let me let them catch up a little bit. What is that? The band of bones. I don't even know what they do, but what happens if we run them through the band of bones? Oh shit. Uh, well. Oh, they're they're pissed too. Yeah, it seems like everybody over here is really nice. Like that dude's easy on at us to leave. Yep, we have Brittle now has two roving bandit bands coming after him. Are they gonna fight? Holy shit, they're gonna fight. Dude. Oh my god. We have to capitalize. I gotta get out of here, though. I gotta keep going. That dude's still chasing me, and some of those other guys are too, but we have to capitalize on this. I think I just started a war. This is amazing. This is the most Kenshi shit ever. I'm like, oh, oops. I accidentally ran these dudes into a group, a clump of enemies of the other faction. I wonder if I just keep running, and if I was able to run these guys into, like... Nah. I think these are, like, some of the dudes from earlier. Oh, shit. If they hit me, like, once, man, I'm in so much trouble. Ooh! about to do it okay uh oh no 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 oh god what what are you doing where are we i think 
I'm gonna have to juke and jive this one. <laughs> the autopathing is not doing me any favors. Uh, I mean, they are royally beating the shit out of each other, though. That's pretty sick. Oh, yep, there we go. We're turning around. I gotta... Yeah, I gotta be super careful here. I have to, I have to path this manually. Because, uh... The game, the game is not doing a good job of getting us up there. <laughs> normally. <gasps> okay. I do... I do want to go... I do want to go back and... Ch I do want to go back and check on this. Once, once that whole, once that whole situation has gone down, I do want to check it out. Cause like, depending on what happens, I'm gr granted the, wh the whatever faction defeats the other one is probably gonna capture everybody. But still, that's that's and that's good. That's some good shit. Like even if I can get back there like relatively quickly. Okay, it looks like the guards are coming to help. That'll also be free money. <sighs> okay, there they are. Nice. Oh, Brittle, what are you doing? Okay, I just wanted to... Oh my god, they just deleted them. Holy shit. No! Dodged it. Get goosed. Boy, they are... F they are fucking these dudes up. Unfortunately, they still just have garbage, uh, like most of these guys do. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Uh, anything, anything like higher, anything like the multiple, like hundreds, I'll hang on to. We could 1v1 this guy, but I don't really know if it's going to matter. Well, I'll, I'll take him on. He is a dust boss, though. What are his stats? Oh, God, he is considerably more powerful than us. I don't think that that's worth it. We are deep in, we are deep in shithole territory. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Look at him scrumbling. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Unfortunate. Wait. Are they? Oh, my God. I didn't know what they were doing. Committing crime. Oh, they are committing crime. That is stupid for you. Well, these these uh, tech hunter ninja guards are. They're uh, they're ruined. <laughs> Look at this, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. That's awesome. Let's go hit him. Damn, that sucks. Damn, that sucks. Damn, you should have never chased me, bitch. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? It wasn't, was it? All right, let's see. Oh, dude, that armor's armor's pretty pretty popping. That one's okay. Not not the greatest, but now where was the one they just bashed their brains in over here? Oh, it's over here. Okay. All right, any of that? Oh, that's actually worth a decent amount. Okay. Uh, that's that one's okay. Uh, what about? 318, that's good. 303. Uh, I might want to go... Before I go down there... To, before I go down there to go investigate the... Uh, investigate the, the... The annihilation of those, like, gigantic groups. I'm gonna run in here really quick, and I'm gonna sell this stuff, and then I'm gonna go back down there. Because I wanna make sure... I wanna make sure I still maintain turbo speed. Because, man, if I don't, I'm... I'm so fucked. This is free money. Look at that free money. Hot damn, dude. All right. Now, I guess we want to go back down here and go investigate. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. That band of bones, dude, is still running. Dude, they're still fighting. Holy shit. Wait a minute. Did the town's guard go down there? No, it's band of bones versus. Are there any tech hunters? Dude, what is going on? Holy shit. I would say until we're just, we're just gonna watch from afar and repair ourselves, because after the dust settles, if I mean, it depends. It depends on how many are left, because I mean that is a, that is a massacre down there. <laughs> Can I commit crime? They're all they're all in pretty bad shape. Uh, looks like they're now I guess like. Well, I don't know. A couple of them are. Oh, they're healing up. Um. I am curious, though, if I could, like, maybe sneak in. No, they're going to they're going to see us like right away. It might be worth it, though, because now since they're not distracted, I could lead them back to town.
I was trying to get that sweet stealth level up. I'm just kind of like, I'm curious, like, are there any? Oh, God, it's a berserker. A berserker? Was that like different than like the regular Band of Bones guys? I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to loot really quick. I'd be really careful though. Oh yeah, that stuff's that stuff's worth a good bit. Eh, that's all right. Okay, it, it, like the sword, the sword is worth like an okay amount. That's about it. Uh, what about this guy? <laughs> we gotta get opportunistic about this shit. I may as well grab it because like whatever, just just grab what we can while we're over here because. Hey! Nah, it's garbage. God, some of this stuff is worth nothing. That sword's worth, like, some. Uh, let's see. Now, granted, it is all, it is all free, like, free money. So, I mean, I can't really complain that much. I'm just trying to get stuff that's, like, decent for, like, the... I, this was, like, a legit... This was a legit bloodbath, like, the... The amount of the amount of fighting that went down over here is uh, pretty crazy. I mean, the dust bandits, unfortunately, they're not particularly good. Oh, my God. Oh, they're training dummies. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, like some of these dudes are like not in the best shape, but. Even then, like not, none of this is probably worth it because. Unless I caught like a unless I caught like a sick one. They don't seem to be interested in me anymore though. Which is which is kind of odd. Like I wonder if I just attempted the knockdown on that guy. Oh, it's zero on the stealth care. Like I kind I kinda wonder what would Like what happened up here? What what is going on? Oh these oh these dudes are in bad shape. That guy's in Tora the Fearless. He has a ten thousand bounty. Oh shit! What I mean, what what am I gonna do though? I mean, I could like. He, there's no way I could kite him back. I'm not gonna be able to like bash bash him, right? I mean, they they, they see us for sure. The only thing I could think of is like a really get like really lucky on like a stealth knockout, which I don't even think that's gonna work. Wait, any of that shit's gonna work? I hear you, Fanny. I mean, I could, I could try it, just piss him off. Oh god, we're getting close. Oh, imbecile tin man! Okay, we did piss him off though. Like, we, we definitely did that. <laughs> we, we definitely upset them. They, they are like imbecile fucking tin man. So, uh, tin man is definitely gonna leave. Bits. And I'm gonna see how many of them follow. They're they're coming. I mean, they're coming. The one the ones that are like not do, completely like, crippled at this point are, are definitely following. As a matter of fact, I think all of them are following. Hey, ghost, what's up? We're Kenshi, and what are you doing? How you been? Oh, there's blood stains everywhere over here. Now, brittle brittle cannot fight these people uh, one to one. No way. Brittle is not nearly strong enough yet. I do I do have to be very careful here though, because I do have to manually path this. Because if I don't, I know I hear you. I hear you, little creature. Wait, are we? Oh shit, we're heavy. Uh, that's actually probably okay. Uh, let me swap this. That might, this might help. No, ah, it's going to. Let me try. Let me try swapping this here, moving the hat over here. Okay, fine. Or don't. That's whatever. <laughs> or don't. Okay, that should that should fix some of our encumbrance penalty. Uh, oh shit! Don't turn. Do not do not turn and fight. Just run. <laughs> Just run. Do the smart thing and run. Which it looks like the rest of them, like, I guess, peeled out and left. Which is fine. God, what what a... What another moment, right? We come out of the desert. We get chased by fucking the turbo dustoids. Like, the higher level ones, obviously, right? We have to run to camp for safety. Because that's all we have. And then we, we get back to camp. They dunk all over their asses in the most majestic way. Oh, are they committing that crime? Oh, look at that. Ooh, you 
committing crime. Oh, God, they're not coming out to kill him, though. That's scary. Oh, God, what if they have, like, a pact with the, like, band of bones? That's not good. They are not coming to my aid. Oh, thank God, that dude's, that dude's Naruto running. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. All right, they're coming in the city. Oh, shit, look at that dude Naruto running. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh, they're just obliterating him. Oh, unfortunate. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, mm. oh, man. I was gonna. That was mine. That's okay, though. You guys did do the work. I can't be. I can't be too upset. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with that, though? You gonna do? You gonna do anything with that? Whoa! What? Why would you? Why would you do? Damn! He just threw him in the... Okay. Alright. Uh, that happened. So, cool. And, uh, I'm gonna take whatever he's got to sell. And, uh, I will be... Over here, selling his fat loots. And, uh... I'm pretty pissed, though, because we did find some good drifters leather pants. Even though, technically, these are high grade. These are shoddy grade. Whatever. Um, I'm gonna go sell all this guy's crap. Uh, I don't know what happened to the other dude. It looks like, I guess, he either gave up or got shot outside. I think the dude went on the turret and shot him. Like, I'm... I'm pretty positive that's the way that went down. I feel terrible for cheesing them, but fuck them, dude. That was two groups of people that tried to take my life. And you know, if, uh... <laughs> if... <laughs> if old Brittle has to get creative... Damn, the shopkeeper cannot even afford it. Unbelievable. Uh, well, um, we could pick up another robo repair kit or we could. We could pick up 21 building material and like use that for something, probably. I don't know exactly what, but it feels like that's something that we could use. There's also a hacksaw. I definitely thought that was going to be, say, be used to remove slave legs, and I'm like, what the fuck, game? <laughs> Thankfully, that was not the case. Uh, I mean, we're definitely going to need another skeleton repair kit, but, like... Fuck, I just buy it. Like, because that, that'll give them enough money so I can sell them. Because I, I gotta, I gotta come back to sell them more trash anyway, so... Um, we're definitely going to need more repair kits, and, uh, so that's going to be important. Um... I don't really remember what the deal with the books were. I, I think it had something to do with, like, base building stuff, but I don't really remember off the top of my head. Uh, okay. Okay, so that wasn't too terrible. Uh, they also have electronics, which is nice. Um, but that's probably all we should do for right now. I am curious what happened to that other guy, though. Uh, he had to have died, like, on the way out. There's no way that dude lived. Unless he did. I mean, even even baiting them though is like pretty dangerous, just because like it's a it's a it's a it's a pretty hefty run getting back up here. Okay, so that dude was manning a turret. That dude was manning a turret. Uh, I, I mean, shit, I figured, I figured the dude probably got shot out here somewhere. Oh wait, is that him? No, that's a shit he does, man. <laughs> Who is not even dead yet, by the way? This guy is still alive somehow. How the hell that happened? I have no idea. God, those are worth a lot. Jesus Christ, I let I let I let this dude just I just passed over that guy. He had fat loot. That that, that duty loot. That the duty the duty looties. Uh, yeah, I'm curious what's going on down here. Like, cause I, I obviously I can't get like their entire camp to follow. Um, there's not <laughs> there ain't that many of them left at this point. R repair him. What do you think, uh... What do you think, uh... What do you think we would get from repairing him? I keep forgetting there's a, we have that defense penalty from wearing this. I think? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have the... That's where the negative six comes in. I mean, we, we went for the... We went for the, the double-handed bonk. I'm kind of wondering what happened to some of these guys, though. Because, like, I feel like... Okay, so that dust bandit is unconscious. That band of bones is in a recovery coma. 
we could steal one of them. But there's no way that Brittle, Brittle, Brittle does not know how to, like, handle that kind of negotiation. Did we get all of his crap? That That is, for the, the weight, that is not worth it. Um. Now we're the band. What? No, we're not. We're not the banditos. Who was this, like, turbo guy that we were? Oh, yeah, Tora the Fearless. So Tora the Fearless lost a leg in that encounter. Um, the only problem is I don't have, I don't have the bounty for him, but he did lose a leg. So I like, I wonder, there's no way that we could really get him all the way back. But I mean, we could, we could get some of these other assholes. I just worry that Brittle's going to get murdered in the process. I guess it just depends on like what happens here. Cause if Brittle... Is Brittle just like getting like sneak sneak sauce for this, just standing here? Or do you have to be moving? <laughs> you have to be moving for it. Uh like I kinda wanna go for another like sneak bonk and uh just I just wanna see what happens. He will not regrow a leg. No, he will not do that. Go for it. Oh, it was a dead man! Okay. They're pissed. Naturally, they're pissed. But how many of them will follow? Okay, so he, this dude's like, he's, he's, oh my god, most of them are hobbling. Holy shit. God, this guy's in bad fucking shape. But you know what the funny part is? Even then, like, this guy is still way, way out of, like, he way outclasses us. The only way I probably could have taken, wait, does he not have a weapon? No, he does have a weapon. The only way I could have taken that guy is if, like, I mean, we could try, we could try martial artsing him. I, I do think that our martial arts at this point is better. But, like, I feel like we're just going to get annihilated if that's the case. Well, not unless we, I mean, we could, like, juke and jive him. Because he swing, he swing big stick. Oh. God, his attack speed's insane. You got this, Brittle. <gasps> this, this is mad dangerous. This is crazy as shit what I'm doing right now. <laughs> brittle, Brittle, like, going after, like, three of these people is just, just insane. And it would, t God, it would take an eternity to get them back up here. I do, I do kind of wonder, like, if he, like, slinky-dinked in there and just, like, punched him a couple times, because it is a little bit faster. I mean, Brittle, Brittle can just wait. His chest is also heavily damaged. Oh, they're staggered. Oh! No! Oh my god, that fucking hurt. Okay. Yep. That went exactly how I thought it would. And that was a that was a hit to our left leg. Bad news. Look, I I th I think I think we can bait him. They're just angry enough. It would be better if he was bleeding. The problem is he's not bleeding. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, he's going back. Interesting. We can go for another sneak strike. I don't know. That one's still hobbling after us, but I feel like he's in bad shape. Oh, well, we gave up on that. Wait. What? What the fuck is happening? Let me put him on passive. No. 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 I should pay close attention here. Because if he starts running back... This man, this man thinking he could just get away with the golf swing. And I mean, theoretically, he could. Like, he could ruin us.
I do, I do appreciate that they are exhausted. Oh shit! Like, they are struggling deeply to move. Which is the only reason they probably just didn't, like, lop Brittle's head off, like, right away. They, they probably also hate Brittle so much. Can you imagine getting kited by some stupid fucking robot? Like, just running back and forth, they're like, ah. Just be, just be, just fucking beeping at him. Oh shit. We're, we're almost there. Stop moving fast, let me hit you. Oh, you know, yeah, you know they're struggling. I don't know if that second one's gonna catch up. We gotta be really careful. We're almost there though. We're, we almost got him. These idiots, their fury, their fury is blindly leading them into a trap. Okay, I think that one's about to give up. What the hell is this? Shek warriors? Where the fuck did they come from? What? Oh my god. Now the Shek warriors are on their asses. He's running! <laughs> Holy shit, he's running! Ooh. It's okay, I can take the hit. Oh! I don't know if they're like aggressive towards us though, so that's a little scary. I know they don't, I don't know, they don't like, they don't like the Tin Man. Oh, I got a kick in. Nice. Nice, I got a little kick. Dude, look at how much health this guy has. Holy shit. Yeah, but if the Shek, if they come after me, they're they're gonna be in trouble because we'll just run we'll just run back into the town. So like that, that I don't think they're I don't think they're coming for me. Uh, I do want to claim this though, if you don't mind, because I feel like I feel like I earned this. <laughs> I feel like I earned this mercenary leather armor. N none of this was worth it. Like n none of this is like worth a goddamn like any of that any of that effort. He's not dead. <sighs> There's no way for me to like... I what happened to the other one? Did they just like... God, they just murdered them too? Holy shit. Oh, they blasted off this one's arm. Damn. They got a, they got a pretty, pretty fancy stick on their back, I think. Uh, I mean, it's alright. It ain't great. Uh, that's okay. Sure. I don't think I can grab that one. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So... Yeah, I mean, I... We should probably... Should we help them? I think Brittle should help them. Brittle, Brittle did not get the kill after all. And hey, it's free medical knowledge for Brittle. Because now Brittle will actually know, uh... Look at Brittle's field mag. Field medic is great. It's higher. It's almost higher than their damn robotics. That's impressive. Is that another band of bones dead? Wow. I don't know why. I'm, I don't know why I'm repairing these people. I guess. I guess Brittle just has a good heart. They'll be okay. They'll live. They ain't gonna be happy about it, but they'll live. I also need to repair ourselves. Repair. Nice. Okay. Uh, I think we can repair this one, too. Yeah, we can. Look at that. It's not gonna stop me from looting him. Which I will do. Nice. Mmm, I got some... They got some decent shit. Uh, 356. The Wii Upon's good, and that can fit. The rest of it's whatever. How many... Do you think the Sheck wiped out that camp? Okay, well, hang on a second. They did, they did, they, one of them did lose a limb. But it was before we got there. So it's okay. That wasn't, that wasn't our fault. It was before we got there, so it wasn't our fault. Oh, they just followed us. Damn. Well, I mean, the, the, realistically, the camp is getting thinner and thinner. The only problem is, a couple of these dudes are still very, very able-bodied. Um, it looks like the one guy, the one guy with the bounty. 
we would have to wait until nightfall. Uh, which we can do. We can wait until nightfall proper. And when they go to sleep, we might actually be able to sneak in there and uh, sneak in there and like maybe, I don't know, maybe like sneak attack that guy and just bonk him and then kidnap him. I don't know, though. Oh, I think uh, it looks like some of them went to sleep. God, our assassin, our assassination, <laughs> our assassination powers are very low. <laughs> they are not good. God, this game just sucks my soul out, dude. I'm just like, oh, it's cool. How much, how much stealth juice am I getting for that? Oh my god, we're getting a lot of stealth juice for this. I guess because it's near like high level enemies. This is worth sneaking around this camp. <laughs> Brittle is training their prowess. Unfortunately, this doesn't do much for their assassination, their assassination skills at all. That sucks, but you know, it's something. God, Brittle's also heavy as shit right now, I think. Because we're, th we're at 3x speed and we're just carrying all this crap. I was talking to Erica for a second. Um, so much clickities. It is. It's. It's actually not that bad. Um, I might. I might take. Uh, might take one other short break before we try to do the the finale of maybe kidnapping this dude. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go take the dog out really quick, and uh, then we're gonna see if we can somehow bash this dude over the head and get him out of here because I think that that would be a killer way to end the night. So I'll be right back. If you want to see the gripping finale of tonight's episode of Kenshi, stick around. I just realized you said so much clinking. Not clicking. Alright, so... I'm gonna see... I'm gonna see if we can somehow pull off an ambush on this dude. Which would be insane if we were able to do it. Um... 
brittle blast. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can brittle blast this ass. Um, carrying all this gear is definitely not gonna help, and it's a pretty low chance. Now, I guess the likelihood of them, I don't know if we should like systematically knock them out or if we should try like going around the side. Because I mean, get, getting to him is tough and it's a 28 percent. Oh, that's not even him. He is. Is he asleep? Oh, God, I don't even know where he is. Yeah, there he is. Uh, I guess he didn't lose his left leg, so he he's a zero percent on knockout anyway. Um, so that's no Buane. I don't know if this is worth, I mean, it's obviously not worth it, because, like, <laughs> Tora the Fearless, except for the demon robot who snuck in in the middle of the night and bonked. We, I mean, we could try, we could try a bonk, but, like, if it fails, I just, I gotta, I just gotta get the fuck out of here. Like, I gotta go. Boy, their sneak really has gotten good. Jesus Christ. What all they had? they have anything good here? Our, st our sneak got pretty good from stealthing around like really high level. Uh oh. Tora the Fearless is relaxing now. Again, our ambush attempt is zero. Fuck. Oh. Oh, oh, they got me on that leave. I'm going to go. Oh, shit. They have, they have multiples coming after us. No, it's still just the one. Weird. Oh, no, you don't. Nope. Oh, God, it's nighttime now. It's harder to see. Now, this this guy, this guy is still able bodied as shit. I mean, this, this dude's. <laughs> Now, we are a little bit slower, so we might actually be able to let this, like, auto-path. I just have to be really careful. Brittle needs, Brittle needs some sort of light source. That dude, that dude was ready to go. Like, holy shit. They were ready to rip my butt. I can click the map, but I'm afraid that the auto-pathing is going to, like, like whip me around in the other direction. I'm going to get whacked with their stick. It's not going to be good. It's going to be very bad. As a matter of fact, we're extremely slow right now, and they are one... That was a hit, dude. Oh my god, they almost sunk my battleship. That was a crit if I've ever seen one. God damn. Well, Br Brittle picked up the pace after that. Brittle's like, oh hell. We Br Brittle has got to find a, a fucking robo bed. The only redeeming thing is that Brittle is, <laughs> despite their name, relatively durable in some situations. Oh god. Oh god, I don't want to take another one of those hits! Ooh, are they chopping that leg? Oh, they chopping it real good. Oh shit, they're gonna slow me down too. Oh god. It's okay, we can get back. I mean, we we basically thinned this camp out to what? Like four people? <laughs> like we we could feasibly. Uh no, it's okay. I, I think we're okay on skeleton, but like we're not like dying, but like some of our core stats are definitely lower than they should be. Which is not great, but it's cool. Oh, put him in spotlight, put him in spotlight. Oh my god, stop turning to fight. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run in the bar where it is presumed to be safe. Except for I think everybody's asleep. Oh, holy hell. Nice. <laughs> I love seeing these dudes like turn around like, uh-oh. <laughs> They're like, uh-oh. Me and all my brittle pals. Why am I still the, the subject of attack? Get him, brittle. Nice. What? To take his ass out like the garbage. Oh my god. Holy dude, they're just gonna walk him outside, aren't they? What if we just kept bringing the bodies back and just stacking them outside their camp? They're like, what the hell is that? They're like, I don't know, that rust colored demon. Just keeps coming into our camp. Oh, he just threw his ass. Oh, damn. Oh, it's unfortunate. Oh, wow. Uh, he got them good samurai leg plates, which actually don't have a massive penalty on stealth. Oh, but a negative 10 to martial arts. Oof. Oof. 
That's rough. That is rough. We have, like, no room for any of this either, so, like, all I can think of is, like, I guess we'll just leave him for a second. Uh, hang on a second. I, I gotta go vendor some stuff. I'll be right back. I'm gonna loot you. I promise. I'm gonna... Br Brittle is going to steal your things. Guaranteed. Is there anybody in here who's actually, like, a vendor? Are they asleep? Oh, yeah, it's this guy. Oh, I'm sorry. Saint is his name. Just Saint. Uh, which we can do more robot kits. Um, he's got the Traveler's Pack, which is great. Um, also has all these, like... I feel like the tools and stuff are gonna... I don't know, like, some of this shit I feel like I need to be buying. But we don't really have a way to carry around some of these things yet, so... That map also might be useful. I mean, it would show us, like, locations and stuff, which, uh, which would be good, so... He's like, stolen goods from the Band of Bones? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> He's like, I don't give a shit, dude. I don't care. Hate them. Uh, all right. And look at that. We still have dad's. We still have dad's blade. And uh, I'm going to go and go loot this dude. I got to say, man, the amount of progress that we have made on Brittle in one night. Pretty impressive. Br Brittle has had to use their ingenuity since they don't have a gang to work with them yet. They've had to get, they've had to get cute. They have had to get cute with most of it. Why is it red? Oh, that's daylight. I, okay, before we, before we wrap up, I want to see... What the hell happened here? Are they... Are they still alive? Who was this? Oh my god, they're still alive. I shall aid them. I will repair. I will repair the biological. Yes. Biological repaired. Look at me. I'm a gracious, I'm a gracious robot. Now I shall repair myself. Okay. So, they're looking good. Oh, he's also, oh, oh, I'll repair him too. I think he is missing a limb. No, he almost is. I'll repair them all. Look at that. They'll wake up, you know, naked, but that's first aid. So whenever, whenever Brittle does get friends, whenever that happens, uh, they'll be good to go. Yeah, before we completely leave, I want to go and see how many of them are even left. Because, like, we've, we've kind of systematically... So this all started with stupid bandits. They'll wake up. That, that, that is true. They're going to wake up and probably get shot by a turret, which is going to be really good for them. Um, yeah, there, there really aren't many of them left. Oh shit, they're waking up. They even, they don't have anything on them anymore though, right? We get, oh, oh, good chance to, good chance to try to bonk. Go try. Real quick. Easy. No! Aw, oh, shit. Damn. He's in good, he's in good shape though. He is going to bed, which is understandable. This is the only guy that seems to be, like, stuck some, somehow. I, I don't know. They're just 17%. What's really odd to me, though, is that Tora the Fearless, their leg is healing, which is really unfortunate. Because I basically have no way of, like, stealth attacking them, which sucks. And I also don't think I can stealth attack this guy, because I think he's going to... He'll make it He'll make it to the bed first. I mean, we, could, we could go for the 17% on this dude. I just don't think it's going to work. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. The 17er. Wow. Brittle. Incredible. Slink away. Okay. What about the... Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. I can just pick up Tora the Fearless? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you... Are you telling me that I can literally just steal this person? I think... I'm just gonna try to grab him. Oh my god. 
They don't even know. They don't even know. They don't even know I'm here. Oh my god. Oh my god. They don't even know. Oh my god, Brittle. Oh my god. Wow. Wait, who the hell, who even wants this person? Who, who am I supposed to turn this into? <laughs> like, who the, who the fuck am I turning this into? Like, I don't, I don't even know where to go. Oh, the Sheck police? Oh, shit. Do you think I could take him back to Squin? Dude, Squin's really... Squin actually is not that far away. Oh my god, what a way to end the night, dude. The bounty pickup. Like, that's a... Wait, do we still have them? Yep, yeah, there's... Oh, it's... Oh, because they're malnourished! All right! Wow! That guy is... Dead. But you know what, though? We did try to repair. And that's all... That's all that counts. We tried. We tried to repair. And that is what counts. In my book, anyway. Uh, okay, so... I think what we should probably do is come in here. Did that guy ever get up? No, he never did. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to... I'm going to vendor what we have in our pack just so we're not moving so slow. Uh, so let me talk to... Let me talk to Saint. Okay, let's do business. Let me dump all this shit. Um, oh my god, I thought they were, I thought they were like stealing our, our catch. I was like, dude, what are you doing? Um, also, since they're malnourished, if we... Hang on a second. Th this is just in theory. In theory, could they be a punching bag? Okay. Because since, like, they can't move, like, if I were to throw, like, just throw them in a bed, right? It's cool. They're good. Oh. Man, I set them up. They're fine. They're, they're, they're going down fine. I'm, I'm, honestly, I might let them go. I don't know if the 10K is worth it. Like, what, an, what a unit. What an absolute unit. No, wait, that was mine. Thank you. Like, seriously, what what a unit. That was incredible. Now I'm just blown away. Wow. It's worth it. Ford's like, it's worth it. <laughs> Ford's, like, Ford's like, fuck that shit. No. Nope. Okay, let me let me sell let me sell whatever it is they had. But I gotta say, uh credit where credit is due. I mean they they were they were they were beefed out. Like they were insane. They were crazy. I will I will remember. Oh wait, really quick, I need to uh before they die, which hopefully they haven't. Oh, they're just unconscious. They have zero blood. Um they don't need it. I mean they don't need it. Uh, I'm gonna plop them down really quick because I need to. I need to. I need to. I need to heal them. So let's. Uh, I must. I must repair. Oh, cool. They have. They have a bandage already on them. Perfect. Perfect. That's great. That's. That's great. That's really good. Can I? Thank you. Yeah. Good, what do you mean out of looting range? What are you talking? About? Is it because they're goose goosing around? Oh, okay, fuck it, I guess. We'll just... We'll just first aid them. Alright, so we shall repair. Look at us repairing, man! Look, uh, Brittle's a good dude. Brittle's just a good boy. He's trying his best. Uh, I might... Oh. 
Am I at a Band-Aid? Uh-oh. Uh, I might need to get their Band-Aid from them. Uh-oh. Why does it say out of trading area? What does that even mean? <laughs> you have a bandage to save your life. What are you doing? I don't have med kit. This is ridiculous. I need to probably get like a better med kit. So hang on a second. Hang on a second. Let me go get a better one. I, th I think there was a better one inside. Maybe. Let's do business. Uh, yeah, they had like an actual good standard first aid kit. So let's go, uh, let's, let's go repair them. At least, at least the arms. I'm, I'm not, I may not do much with the legs. Oh, did they just lose one? What the hell just happened? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them, I'll let them arms pop back up, but then I'm gonna leave that there. Yeah, we'll get the arms and then stop. Okay. All right, now let's grab them. And, uh, what just, did they just like explode in blood? Like, what the fuck was that? Okay, apparently we can take them back to Squin, so I guess that's where that will be the finale of the evening. <laughs> Prey secured. <laughs> Prey secured. They couldn't handle the healing, it was too strong. That's true, it's probably, it's probably exactly how it was. Now, where they're going, I don't think they need legs, so... I think it'll be cool. I think it'll be cool to uh, just kind of let, let it go. And if they if their legs does if their leg leg does explode, I mean, it's cool because like we can just fix it. We're we're pretty I mean, they're pretty good at repair now. I mean, their field medic is fifteen. Like for a robot that does not do the biological, I mean, holy crap, that's that's pretty solid, man. I do have to say though, Tora the Fearless, uh, they lived up to their name. They were uh, they were pretty damn powerful. They indeed they indeed stood their ground and just bashed bashed faces. Which was very impressive. I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. I should also probably be sneaking and just increase speed because we we always need the sneaks. I don't know if it's like letting us level up sneak because we're carrying somebody or what. I'm not really I'm not really sure exactly how that works. Why is this game so good? It's fucking 3:30. Why is this game so good? I knew this was gonna happen. We we're gonna start streaming Kenshi again, and this shit was gonna go down. I mean, fucking oh, here it's 3:30. Oopsie poopsie. Oopsie poopsie, I made a fucky wucky. Ugh. Uh oh. What is that? What the fuck? What is that? Oh, it, it's Sheck Warriors. Oh shit. Man, if only they could have seen me. Right? If only they could have seen me. They could have seen the the rusted murder bot, the kind rusted murder bot, carrying this creature, Tora the Fearless, into their city. Now here's the question: Do we have any contraband on us? No, we have the same shit we had last time. No, it's it's exactly like RimWorld. You will absolutely lose forty hours of your life. Oh, I hope their leg doesn't pop off. That's gonna be really embarrassing. Smuggling checks. Shed your gear. Uh, show them your gear. Uh, acceptable go. I like how no questions about the half dead Sheck that we're carrying, but by God, if we had had a stolen packet of Skittles, it would have been the end of the goddamn world. Oh, is that one of our own kind bleeding and you're carrying? The oh, a wanted person? Whatever. I don't care. Where do you turn these guys in? Where, where far art thou? Is that like a local map? I can't remember. I think you turn them in at the, uh, this building, right? The tower with like the weird symbol on it. You're not gonna lose a leg just yet, are you? They're getting, they're getting pretty close, man. That leg probably about to blast off here in like two seconds. Oh, blood loss knockout. That's okay. This will still do. Hey, gamers. I have a gift. They eye the body on your shoulders. Here for the reward? Yeah. <laughs> no, I was just showing off. Wow, 10,000 bucks, dude. Oh my God. Wait, where are you going with them? Wait. So what's what's going to happen? Oh my God, I thought I just got escorted out. I was like, what the fuck's going on, dude? Uh, holy shit. Ho! 
Holy shit! Y'all, she about to lose a leg. Oh, wait. Y'all might want to... Y'all might want to fix that leg. Like, Jesus Christ. Wow. Dude, 10,000... 10,000 buckaroonies, though. Man, they really are... What, what are they even doing? <laughs> what, what are they even... Oh, they're they're going on, like... They're going to ham on Medic, because they're trying to, like, I guess, save them. They're not doing very good, because that leg about to blow up. Oh my god, they finally got the leg. Holy shit. Wow. Dude, how many more people need to do this? Are they not gonna feed? I'm gonna be honest. I feel... I feel a little bad. I don't even... I don't even know if I could... I mean, I could... I could... I just wanted the money. Like, I mean, we could we could break her out. And then, like, she could kind of, like, go her own way. Go her own way. What do you guys think? She she did. She was a beast. I mean, like. All it would take would be to sneak into the tower at night. All we, all we have to do is sneak into the tower at night. And all we have to do is, like, lockpick. That's it. So you know her bounty is still there, right? What are you talking about? Oh, like, in the... Wait, what? Would it be worth angering the Sheck? I don't know. I kind of feel like... I kind of feel like... Uh, I don't, like, I feel like maybe... Like, Brittle would feel responsible for this and see what happened and be like, damn... This is worse than I thought it was because it's pretty. That's pretty shit. I mean, that's 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 crappy for sure. Um, God, they have a lot of robotic repair stuff here. There's really no no like sneaky armor that's actually good though. I don't even remember if there is like sneaky armor that's actually good. You could not turn it in a second time. Oh, that's okay. I'm not I'm not trying to do that. I'm just saying I'm just thinking about busting her out. I mean, she did, she did fight like an absolute beast. So I mean, like, she would, she just, if she does deserve it, I think she deserves a second chance. Worst case, worst case scenario, I would say that what would happen is we they get pissed at us for uh, maybe like breaking in because we'll probably get caught before. I would say we'd probably get caught before like I don't know. I don't know exactly how that, that would work, but there's a shit ton of guards in there at night. But if, if all I did was break her locks, right? You know what I'm saying? So if like if all I did was like just basically remove the chains and free them, I mean, that's a whole different ball game, right? Why is our defense debuffed? Is there a reason for that? Total equipment bonuses. Is it because of this shit? Oh, it's, it's probably this godforsaken thing over here. I thought it was the backpack that was causing it, but I think the backpack just uh, lowers it by like a little bit. It doesn't mess with our stealth skill, though, which is nice. This is her origin story. Let her be the architect of her own freedom. Well, I mean, like, if I bust him out? I don't know, man. Like, I feel like I feel like Brittle. Brittle got the money, which is the main thing that Brittle wanted. Now, if we are in here after dark, I do have to be careful because I'm pretty sure they get really, really pissy uh, or they like whatever. She's also the only one here. So like. But I would want her to have like I would want her to have like a fighting chance. She's hungry. She's not in the best shape right now. I mean, she's a monster like she could fuck some shit up, but she would need weapons. I would need to get her a weapon. And I guess I could like put it in her inventory. Or something? I, I don't know. I'd have to, like, steal it, I think, from, like... I'd have to, like, steal it from, like, one of these dudes, I guess. If she's, if she's conscious when you open her lock, she will try and fight you. That's so stupid. But I can help her. I can help her. <laughs> I love you strength. It's like, okay, whatever the hell that means. 
Um, I'm just going to stay sneaky sneak right here because the next floor, I don't think anybody sleeps up here. So I think this might actually be a good spot to like. Um, might be a good spot to actually like pull this off. <laughs> just stealth around a little bit. Just unjul unjul gunjul. Just noodle noodle canoodle. So the lock pick is 19%. Uh, we are currently in the light. I don't know how the hell we can turn these out. Un unfortunately, I don't know if you can. Can you turn out lights? No, that's really weird that you can. Maybe you can. Nope. Uh, maybe you can like. There's like a state over here you can click. Nope. <sighs> OK, uh, I'm thinking since she is she is conscious and her legs are healing. Uh, her hunger is, like, fluctuating really weirdly. I don't know what's up with that. It's lock level 40, and she can't run very fast because she does have whatever. So we would be able to get away, uh, should we need to. Um, okay, we're in the, we're in the shadows, at least a little bit over here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get into a spot where we're not, like, completely visible. Okay. To lock me in that greasy hutch. Okay, uh, she's she's running. Okay, yeah, so she's leaving. She's just walking away though. No, no, no! Why would you do this? You guys warned me. Oh my god! And there she goes, and I am. I'm not stuck in here though. I can run. It's okay. Hopefully, oh, I am now committing a crime. Apparently. The bounty will never expire. The character has been caught committing escaping prison. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's that's them. Never mind. So, but I'm I'm guilty of trespassing currently, but I could probably run upstairs and just evade everything. Like, realistically, I could, I could just run upstairs. And then I could probably sneak. Uh, Please stop trying to fight. Like, what is going on? Thank you. Stop. What are you doing? Is there a way to get them to stop doing this? It, like, I thought passive would do this. Maybe hold? Yes, hold Hold means they won't run off the fight enemies. Okay. Okay, so she's she's bitching. And she's, she's just going downstairs. Swatting insects is beneath a real warrior. I have no time for it. Oh my god, she's straight up about to walk out this bitch. Now we just let it play out. The only thing I could think I could I could do to help her would be to like stealth KO this dude. I I don't have. Oh no! Oh, the whole team is coming. Oh, oh. A val a valiant attempt though. Wait, what? <laughs> They're literally just taking her back. <laughs> God. Man, that is fucked up. Uh, here's the deal, though. If if we could somehow. This, this is an, this is for another day. But I'm kind of into the idea of busting them out of here because like they're 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 badass, right? Um, I don't know if I, I could carry her out, but I know for a fact they'd probably see me because we got to walk through like lights and shit. But if we gave her time to heal, if we gave her time to heal and we could some, I don't know if we can like, are we, can we like put like uh, equipment in her inventory? Like if we tried to loot right here, we we could like we could equip them with armor uh like we could we could put like some armor on them we could give them like whatever give them give them a weapon give them armor and like get them like fully healed and then maybe like pick them up and carry them out in the middle of the just as a test and again this is this is like a we're going to call this theories okay can I repair them? They already repaired her. 
This is just out of curiosity. I want to see what happens. Because I want to see... This, this is just a test. I want to see how this can go down. Because if I could somehow... Okay, so the pick was success. She's not moving yet. Because I think she's because she's unconscious. Okay. I'm just going to pick them up. Okay. So they are now marked as escape prisoner. We are, of course, committing a crime. The question is... <laughs> give her father's sword? Oh, God. I don't think we're giving up dad's sword. The question is, can I get down and, like, pass this guy without them noticing? Because if I can just set her down outside, like, she's free, right? But I think getting out of here is going to be tough. Okay. Uh, we need to take this, like, really slow and just stick to, like, the edges. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Dude, is there... Do you, oh, my God. Do you think... Holy shit, they can't see me. Oh my god, are you tripping? Okay. We don't have anything stolen. I wonder if we can just sneak past the guards at the gate. It's still it's still shaded outside. Oh my god. Oh. Cut the corner, cut the corner, cut the corner. Shit. Does that, count, does that count as a crime? No. It doesn't. <gasps> Shit. Uh, maybe if I just... Just walk past him? Oh. My. God. Holy. Shit. <laughs> we just collected a 10,000 bounty felt guilty about this person being like an unrelenting badass let them repair her is there oh my god is there no way to recruit this person like this is just this is just awesome like that shit is that, the, is that guy stealing the prisoner yep is that against the law nope the fact that I think probably like a couple of them saw me and then just gave up they're like, well, we've done all we can do. Now we, we would just need to find her. Oh, my God. If we're carrying somebody, uh, does it stay saved like that? Because uh, I'm going to call this one prison break. But I kept the money. <laughs> I, I almost wrote commission. <laughs> like, um... The only place I can think to take her that would be safe would be, like... And she's not, like, mortally wounded, so she's gonna get up and just try to kill us. But... The only place I can think to take her would be the hub. I don't know if they'd attack her there. Um, This character broke out of prison. If he gets spotted by any guards, he is in trouble. Leave town to clear the status. Expires in 99,000 hours. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, well... Their bounty is back. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk them to the hub. That's where we're going. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can like maybe get them some equipment or something, and like they just get the hell out of there. I I mean, oh no, if I take them back to the hub, they're pretty strong. They might actually kill everybody there. Turn them back in. I was thinking about just giving them a spot to, like, recuperate until they're, like, not dead. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, until they're, like, at least, like, their leg is healed. Maybe, like, uh, I, maybe, like, the rebel base, if I can, like, put them down in a bed and then just leave. That's the only thing I can think of, maybe. Uh, because I, I feel like if we do the hub, rebel base is tricky, too, though, because the rebel base means that that's going to be... That's going to be the ninja boys and I don't know I don't know what to do this is crazy that this even worked and this is like the most Kenshi bullshit ever it's like we turned into prisoner and whoa what the hell is this oh it's dusties and bandits just beating the shit out of each other oh shit I was going to say, if she was at full power, I would say, like, oh, my God, this is actually dangerous. Uh, 
fuck, they are coming for us. And those guys, those guys are locked and loaded. Um. Okay, so... Uh, the town is up that way. But I'd have to cut, like, I'd have to, like, cut back around. Oh, God. No! Oh, oh, my God. I, I don't know. What, I, I, we're fucked. Um... Unless we, unless we dropped them, we're fucked. Shit. And if I, and if I leave them... I mean, they may not be able to, like, gain on me. Oh no, they're, they're all over me. Wait. Kind of? Yeah, I remember, I do remember we reinstalled, we installed like the, the like recruit prisoners mod or whatever, because it was really weird that you can't do that. I'm just going to haul it and just hope for the best. Ooh, we, we can take some hits. We can take some hits, just keep going. Just keep going. We can do it. We can just go. You can take a hit. Brittle, you're made, you're made of, you're made of steel, just go. You can do this! God, they're gaining on us. If they get... If they get in too deep... If they get in too deep and we get, like, really whatever... Yeah, if we get, if we get in too deep, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to drop her and, then like, come back. But I'm just scared that they're gonna try to grab her. I mean, they're all... They're all over us. Like, this is... This is terrifying. But I don't think that they can technically... We're close, dude. I can I can probably take a few more hits. And if we can get close enough to the base. I do. I, I love it. I love that Brittle is so determined that he's just going. Brittle, just go, dude. Oh, no, he stopped because he hit the point. Go. You got it, Brittle. You can take the hit. You can take the hit. This This absolute unit of a warrior has earned it. Just go. <laughs> the the guilt that Brittle felt, because <laughs> they they just admired their warrior prowess. They're like, oh my god, go Brittle, go Brittle, go. I hate that this is happening so late. This is my this might be my favorite moment of the night. Well, the city will just save me in general because the dust bandits are enemies with them. I'm just worried that we're gonna get like sacked right here because one of them is gonna turn, probably hit us like in Capus, and then we're fucking dead. They kind of look like they're running with us, which is not the case. Oh, here come the city guards. Oh, shit. Get up there. Oh, my God. We made it. I, ca I can't believe it. I, 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 I absolutely cannot believe it. The, the fact that we even made it is just... This is bonkers. <laughs> like, that is just bonkers. <laughs> Looks like the city guard is handling that, hopefully. Uh, hopefully, I don't get overrun. Oh, fuck. I can't fight them one-handed. Shit. Um, where are we going? Uh, we're going to, we're going to the ninja, the ninja tower, which is way back here. Brittle, Brittle's still hanging in there, man. I'm actually a little bit worried about the city guard. I, I hope they don't get too damaged. Cause that's a, that was a lot of them. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Right, he's going to stop the swing here in a second. Ooh. God, those stomach hits are brutal. Okay, here we go. The gang's here. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. Nice. The boys are handling it. Okay, I'm gonna repair myself while these guys just... Oh my god, just sack them. Eat shit. Oh my god. Fucking Brittle's family. He made it home. I'm so proud of him. He made it all the way home. And look, they're still safe too. Hot diggity dang. Um, I don't know what to do as far as, like, a safe place for them, though, because if I set them down, they're gonna go crazy. Um, that dude's shit is probably not even worth it. You know what, though? I will show him kindness. I will, I will, I will, I will repair him. I will repair him. I have repaired him. Told you. He's a saint. <laughs> brittle, brittle the saint. Or at least the morally questionable character. 
Okay. No, this is not the adventures of Skinjamin. This is the adventures of Brittle. To the title. Also, welcome, Kombucha. We're about to wrap up here in a second, because I've got to stop. It's almost 4 a.m., because this is what Kenji fucking does. And, uh, yeah. They be safe with the Skinjamins? Well, I'm just curious what happened out here, like... I wonder, oh, did they just, like, eradicate? Oh my god, they really did just, like, eradicate the whole group. Damn! Like, all of them. Oh, that's unfortunate. I will, I will cure them. I will repair. I will repair. That one, that one is in desperate need of repair. Did we do good? Yeah, you did great, jackass. Uh, this one... He's good. He's gonna make it. I have repaired. Brittle has repaired all. Brittle will also attack. You sorry sack of shit. You think you're somebody? Oh god, he's got a stick. It's okay, Brit <laughs> Brittle gotta learn to fight with one hand. Repair him. Show him compassion. Show him the compassion. That guy, he's not dead. He's just unconscious. Like, he's gonna get up. That dude, that one dude is squinging around over there, too. Nice. I will now repair. I, I will now repair. Look at all that, man. What a kind, what a kind person Brittle is. A lot of money to be made over here from these guys with selling all their crap, but uh, I'm actually not going to. I'm going to stack it up out here because we did make some considerable money. Uh, I don't know exactly what happens if I, I let me check and see what happens if I save. Oh, OK, we're going to call this made it home. And uh, I don't know what to do, because if I save while carrying her, does that like break? Anything? Like, will she just be gone when we reload? Or what? How does that work? How does that work? The Skinjamins don't deal in Shag Skin? Oh, that's a good point, I guess. No, Brittle's ha Brittle is defending himself, and then he is repairing. There's nothing wrong with that. See, they're all good. They're all in recovery cup. Wow. They just, they, just got, they just got pilfered, but like, it should be fine as long as you don't export the save. Okay. I am going to, out of curiosity, reload this, uh, which was what? Made it home? Okay, we're going to reload this. And we'll double check to see if it saves that variable of us carrying them around. I really hope so. <laughs> Man, what a chronicle it has been tonight. If you missed this and you came in late, I would highly suggest watching the VOD for this, because this is this is a hoot and a half. Um, two hoots. Two hoots and a half. This is the this is the beginning of the adventure of Brittle. Little Brittle. Uh, he is a... I've, I've, got, I've got the whole starting story at the beginning of the stream, so I would highly suggest uh, listening to that. And um, this entire chronicle here of this person is also crazy, because, like, the gist of this one... I'm not even telling you the gist. Just go watch it. It was nuts. Basically, a fearsome warrior who Brittle was able to do some shit, and it, it's a, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's nuts. But anyway, that is gonna be it for me. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and um, I'm gonna wrap up there. If you guys wanna, you know, words, I have no idea what words I've been saying. Anyway, <laughs> um, I decided recently, as we're as we're heading out, uh, that I will not really be using Twitter anymore. I'm gonna put up a thing there that says like, hey, you can still message me here for any indie devs and stuff like that trying to contact me, but. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try using like blue sky and threads uh, and I'll maybe decide on one of those after a certain amount of time depending on like what the followership looks like so um, but if you want to check those out if you uh, if you want to see that stuff it's just the sky and then we also have the threads uh, so if you want to go follow there if you already have like an Instagram thing you need to do the threads thing pretty easy but uh, blue sky is its own thing I actually like it a lot it's got a nice clean interface it doesn't seem super scummy or anything like that so it actually just seems kind of like what Twitter used to be a while ago which is nice because that's kind of what I just missed 
Uh, also Discord, great place to get notifications when the stream goes li streams go live, and the VODs channel is where you can find all of the VODs that we do. So if that's something that you're interested in, you can uh, you can go do that. But it is almost 4 a.m., so I need to definitely stop. But I'm gonna wrap up there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will be back tomorrow with more stuff. But that's it for me. Oh, it's all open now, Kombucha. You can just you can just get in. Yeah, Blue Sky is like completely open. You don't have to uh, do anything now. It's just a new platform. So, uh, but anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the Kenshi thing. Take it easy. See you next time. Goodbye. I forgot the buttons don't work.